are here live in beautiful downtown Tempe, Arizona, uh, presenting our Arizona Robotic Combat's Robo Rumble. We have over 50 teams in attendance today. They are feverishly working to get this uh, party started here. This L presentation is brought to you on behalf of the Sin Shop, a maker hacker space in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. Now, the shop is open to all of our members, so make sure you head on over to sinshop.org forward slash discord. If you happen to be in the Vegas area, we'll stop by and check out the shop, or hey, even become a member yourself. Okay, and then, uh, I'll, of course, throughout the day, if you have any more questions, feel free to talk to me or any of our judges who have volunteered here. We have Kelly Small, John Kittlesrud. <laughs> and then our wonderful uh, arena cleanup crew. Ah, the broom Tracy crew. and his wonderful wife. Absolutely. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. That's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, New Mexico just started a combat robotics club. They're having their first event in January. I believe that would be January the 13th. January you, 13th. Do you know where you'll be able to watch that? Ooh, that's a good question. Why, as a matter of fact, at twitch.tv forward slash sin shop. Can you believe that? Wow, that's amazing. We are we are indeed going to be doing that show uh, down in uh, in fabulous, uh, beautiful downtown Las Cruces, Excellent. New Mexico. You know, I'll be there as a competitor. Outstanding. We'll see you there. Oh, and I'll see you there. And we'll see, and we'll see all you there. That's right. There you go. You and be all there. you there. You're be all there, going, right? Be square, like the state of New Mexico. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. All right, and then a quick shout out to all of our wonderful sponsors. So the entire half decade we've been doing ARC, FingerTech Robotics has sponsored every single event. They are our number one place to purchase combat robotics parts. Anything you need for a fighting robot, a winning fighting robot. My uh, NHRL Golden Dumpster Champion, Puka, runs plenty of FingerTech Mega Sparks and all sorts of FingerTech goodies. They are an excellent company and they're here to make your robot as great as possible. Our nice. other sponsors include Danny Dental. Do you have teeth problems? Would you like to not have teeth problems? Go see a dentist. <laughs> Which dentist? Danny Dental. Danny Dental, of course. And then of course we have Combat Ready Robotics. They are the club that let us use this space so graciously. If you are an ASU student and you think combat robotics are cool, you need to join this club. If you want to fight, you want to build, you want to learn how to do this sort of thing, it's the best place to do it. Absolutely. Last but certainly not least is Team Small Robots. Oh, wait, that's me. Hey, that's me. Oh. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> David, you're sponsoring your own event. What are you doing? <laughs> so we're giving out some prizes, some Team Small Robots swag to people who place in the tournament today. Then also anybody here or anybody watching at home, you can go on teamsmallrobots.com and get 20% off your entire purchase with the code ARC20, that's A-R-C-20 for 20% off. So with that, it looks like we are ready to go. We have Piano versus Brick with his classic and iconic conductors uh, overalls. Absolutely. Morgan's got the bot and the style to go with it. There you go. Then we got Brick. There is Brick right there. All right, now, this is our first fight of the day, everybody. Let's put your Let's hands together. make some together. noise. There we go. Freaking fight, robots, fight. Piano oh. goes face first into the wall. Oh, oh that's a powerful spinner there on Brick. Huge hit from Brick, absolutely. Piano not, not feeling so great. You could say Piano isn't feeling so sharp. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thank Whoa. you, thank you. Yeah. If they don't if they don't watch out, they'll be flat. Oh yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that is, that, I think that's a broken drive motor on uh, the right side of the piano. E either broken or it might be smushed in just a smidge in there. The the size frame might be a little smushy there. Oh. The wind up and the pitch from Brick. It's a little wild, it's a crazy little guy. A little bit. Piano trying to hang in there though. Crab, crab walking over. Oh, oh my goodness! Hit. Piano has been eviscerated. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's a lot more parts of piano right now. Piano, are you are you still alive? I think that might be a tap out. Your winner, Brick. Absolutely. Wow, what a first match of the day to start things off. Well, that was fantastic. Okay, here, let's go back to the instant replay, of course. Right. right. Oh, so close. 
Oh, come on. It's teasing me. There, there it is. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's one part, and then there's multiple parts. Jeez. Oh, the driver of double or nothing back there. <laughs> I feel the exact yeah, same way. Yeah, yeah. I feel the exact same way as him right there. <laughs> what Whoa. a hit. Oh, yeah. That's guacamole in the arena. Oh, guacamole. Okay. Nice beefy wedge in the front. Finger tech beater bar, it seems to be. Looks very tough, very strong. Man, how about that close-up? Look at that close-up. Yeah, excellent camera I'm like, work I'm by like, uh, I'm cameraman Tim here. Absolutely. Tape Tech Tim doing, doing the Lord's work over here. Man, I'm like inside the robot there. Then we have Valinor. Valinor has won multiple times here at ARC, if I'm remembering correctly. It is a force to be reckoned with, a four-wheel drive beater bar, and it hits hard. There we go. Everybody's ready. All right. Time for another fight. Some beater-on-beater fight. Beater action. And off they trot. Curious to see how that wedge works. Oh. oh. Looks like the so, forks of Valinor are able to get under that wedge, no problem. Uh-oh. Valinor is stuck on itself. There we go. Fix the problem. <laughs> oh, oh man. by Valinor sending guacamole flying into the ceiling. Hitting the roof. Jeez, after these mini hits, we might get a guacamole smoothie after all. Yeah, we just might. We just might, absolutely. But yeah, uh, props to uh, guacamole. It's still going after all these hits. Very impressive showing so far. Yeah, there we go. Guacamole cannot catch a break with the ground game. Valinor just cannot. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It, it looks like Guacamole is uh -oh. kind of hung up. Uh oh. Guacamole, can you free yourself? We might have to count you out. Is it the chips? Is it the salsa? Oh, and yeah, Valinor. Free. Valinor sets it free. Free guac. Ooh, another two, huge hit. Two roof shots, several wall shots. If that guacamole was smooth, was chunky before, it's smooth now. That's oh, for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh oh, is Valinor hung up? No, Valinor's Valinor, not hung he's, up. He's doing a cool little pose, you know. He's, he's he, he has stance, as they say. Yeah. Pull yeah. up, style on him. That's right. Uh oh, guacamole, can you move? Uh oh. Oh, that's a tap out. And Your winner is, is Valinor. Out. And Valinor takes the win. Excellent showing by guacamole, though. Uh, let me come back over to this. What do we got? So we got a little chewed up right here. This part of the chassis is Yeah, not, here, you're gonna need one of those. We got a little chewed up uh, over here. This part of the chassis is not super happy. Oh, yeah. Uh, and all of the spots where my bolts go in cracked. But other than that, I think it's reusable. Uh, but other than that, it's fine. The electronics are fine, despite so, getting hit. So it was the uh, the wheel, the, the side here got caved in. That's what, what stopped your wheel at first, I, right? I think it pulled the wheel off, Ooh. and then this back wheel, yeah. and that jammed up at the whole side. Okay. Um, but other than that, everything's functional. Awesome. Uh, just got to put things back together. Put it back together, you'll be ready for your next one? Yeah, it's time for uh, time for some 3D pen. Outstanding. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Thank you for showing us that. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like Piano is definitely in the running still. There you go. All right, yeah. what's going on with Leech and Draco? Looks like we're readying up. Uh, we're going to need uh, that one right there. And then we need to do... And they're there off. Go. Just in time. Boom. The drum of Draco versus the hammer saw of Leech. Man, so listen to those going to try to pin his opponent against the wall, then spin up that saw and try to slice into Draco. For lucky, we'll get to see it, but uh, that, that drum on Draco is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that drum ain't no joke. That thing is loud. Loud and proud. Absolutely. And also upside down. Loud, proud, and upside down. That's how I spend my, like, what? Never mind. Tuesday night? Hey, Tuesdays, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mondays, I got the show to do, so, you know. Boom. Another huge hit from Draco. That drum, again, no joke. Another big hit. Leech seems to be holding off oh. well. Oh, right when I say that. Across the arena. Something broke. Right directly against the glass. Dang it. I didn't think it would happen that soon, but I'm gonna, that's, a, that's a thing. And Ooh, a still, thing is happening. A that's thing exciting. has happened, yeah. 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 All right. Ooh, another huge hit. Oh, oh that goodness. is a fork ripped off of Leech. That's a tap out. Yeah. There it is. Your winner, Draco. Draco. That is a contender for oh, sure. Good grief. Wow. Okay. Stop the match, first of all. The drum was Draco, right? 
That's right. Okay, Draco, I'm going to need to see you over here. Where's Draco at? Yep, Draco, oh, when you get your robot, please come to the announcer yeah, table. Yeah, you're going to need to come on over here. I didn't think it would happen that early. Oh, gee, there's a fire. Oh, well, wait a minute. Dang it. All right, in the sand. Now we'll take it out. That's a different thing. Though. All right, clear the way, guys. Clear the way. Let him out. All right, we'll do this one then. All right. Perfect textbook example of how to handle a battery fire. Yeah, that's good, right. Good thing that happened after the match and not, right? not in yeah. the middle of it. it makes me no wonder kidding. if Leach didn't tap out if he would have won that. <laughs> but, Dude, uh, that's one of those things. Anything can happen in this oh, thing. Yeah. Anything can happen. You know, you never tap. I, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a strategy to it, I'm sure. Sometimes it's best to tap out. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of times, anything can happen. You can't see the future. You don't right. know that your opponent is going to spontaneously combust for no reason. That's right. <laughs> I guess I guess he just ended up giving it a hot supper, and it was just like I can't do it anymore, boss. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm too done. much, too much, too much angry drum things. Too many in my angry day. I need cool. a break. Yeah. All right. So what does what does that do for us here? Draco takes the win over Leech. He's going to go on to fight the winner between Supreme Ruler and Brick. But next up, we have Square Up and Noisy Boy. All right. Looks like we have a Noisy Boy and we have a Square Up. Competitors, go ahead and hit your ready buttons. Noisy Boy, when you are ready. Closest to the camera is Noisy Boy. Yep, the yellow drum spinner on Noisy Boy. Square up is the metal tank in the red. It's the speedy brick. All right, I'm excited for this one. I am pumped. Let's do this. Here we go. And fight the robots fight. And the match begins. Square up showing that same speed we saw earlier. <laughs> Listen to that, my goodness. But Noisy Boy, very intimidating weapon. Absolutely. Very loud, very scary. Yeah. But look, look at Square Up taking these hits. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're a solid welded steel cage, you can take a lot of damage. I don't know about the wheels, but let's find out. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, uh, all four seem to be attached still. Boom. Takes a good hit there. But that robot is solid, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That is a brick if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Not to be confused with the robot brick. Right, exactly. The welded steel chassis. I think it's, is Noisy Boy out a drive side? Uh, I think it might be. We got a little crab, walking. crab walking. Yeah. I, I do see a screw there. You can see it there on the stream. I'm sure it's not important. As long as yeah, as long as it's not an important screw, then I guess we're okay. This might come down to a war of attrition. Well, and I and I think that's exactly uh, that's exactly the game. Exactly. Square up is here to square up. It just does not care. You can hit this thing all day. Oh, okay, now it kind of cares. It, kind of, it cares a little. It is now three wheels versus three wheels, maybe three versus two. It might be three, two. Yeah, three versus two. Yeah, I think so. We got a minute 30 left in the match, halfway through. Uh oh. At one minute, the pit will drop. That might play a part in this match. I have a feeling it just might. Very yeah, durable robots. Oh, this might a, be our first judge's decision. I think it might be. But, but then uh, again, I don't want to call it too early. Absolutely not. Anything can still happen. We all know that. We're going to have a pit in five, four, three, two, one. And down, down goes the pit. Down goes the pit. The pit is down. Oh, Ooh, careful, oh, square up. Don't want to fall in there. Square up. At least you go, oh, hey. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to be so zippy now. You want yeah, to yeah. be nice, controlled, and cool. Nice, control. Keep it uh -oh, cool. Oh, it's a weapon spinning down on Noisy Boy. Uh oh. Oh, there's a pin. There's a pin. You're going to have to release him in five, four, three, two, one. Release that pin. But don't drive in the Noisy Boy's kind of moving. Uh oh. Not feeling great, though. He might have a dead battery here. Uh oh. That's a pin in five. Four, three, two, one, release. We only have 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Can Noisy Boy move? He's kind of struggling there. Uh-oh, he's going to have to show movement. We're You're counting him soon. down. He's going to have to move a little bit more than that. Are the judges going to count him down? Looks like it. Will it be in time? Because we've only got that six on the clock. That is a knockout. That Your is. winner, square up. What an impressive, durable wow. robot. Round of applause for this competitor. That is amazing. Hey, Draco, yeah, if you're Draco, here. please come to the commentary desk. Uh, we have a, a little thing for you. We do have a thing for you. 
All right, looks like we have Draco coming up to the table here. Oh, there's Draco. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, so go ahead and do your thing. I'm going to do my thing real quick here. Uh, come on over here. Okay, so I don't know if you heard the announcement earlier, but we do have achievables, right? So the first person that does a certain thing gets an award. Now, you almost had another one. I can't say what that one is, but this one seemed more appropriate. You are the first one to uh, release the magic smoke. So this is the official Sin Shop live stream Magic Smoke Liberator Award. Round of applause for Draco so, for being the first to have a Magic Smoke release. There you go. Excellent. You, you may not have a working battery, but you have that thing. Treasure it forever. All right, I, I see a roadkill and an action surge in the oh, area. Oh, roadkill and action surge have entered the chat. Roadkill drove here all the way from Utah. Is he the farthest? He's not the farthest, though, is he? I don't think so. We have someone here from Colorado, right? I don't know. That's something we should find out. We Who should. prefer this person? Yeah. Competitors, go ahead and hit your ready buttons when you are ready. Action surge in the blue, the D&D &D themed vertical spinner. I absolutely love that. That's a, that's a neat bot. Oh, fantastic and sure. And the match begins. All right, both of these weapons up to speed. We have a classic horizontal versus vertical fight. The battle for the ages. Action surge gets a little nip at, uh, at roadkill and another one. Roadkill rising up in anger. Or a mating display, I'm not sure. I, I love the lights on Action Surge. It's such a pretty robot. It is nice. It I, is be nice. I believe it won best looking robot at the last event. I can certainly see that. And yeah. rightfully so. Yeah, rightfully so, absolutely. I see chunks of blue going everywhere. Ooh, nice hit by Action Surge. This is a nice little back and forth. I see a belt on the ground in the corner there, but doesn't seem to be important. Both, <laughs> both, both weapons are working. Just extra parts, you know. Yeah. Redundancy is always a good idea in this That's sport. right. Two Road, minutes remaining. Roadkill circling his prey. Two minutes remaining on the clock. Action surge. Lots of blue bits getting bitten off. I'm sure eventually Action Surge will run out of blue bits. That might spell trouble for him. It might. It might. Uh-oh. Nice solid hit there. Solid hit on the part of Action Surge. Sending Roadkill across the arena. Uh-oh. Roadkill, is your weapon gone? Oh, no. The belt looks like it slipped off. Uh -oh. I kind of see it floating around there. Uh-oh. Action Surge. Actually, both weapons might be down. Is it possible to pin in the middle of an arena? I don't know. The answer just might surprise It might, it might. We've got 20 seconds until the pit drops. Since this has turned into a pusher bot fight, that might be crucial. Absolutely. Let's see, 15 on the clock. Action surge. Still trucking with that weapon in the front. Yeah, it looks Road. like uh, action surge is spinning again. Road kill, however, is not. Down goes the pit. And down goes the pit. Roadkill desperately wanting to get that pit shot, I would assume. Roadkill staying on the other side of the arena, rightfully so. But action surge, getting a couple of uh, hits to the back. 35 seconds remaining. Action surge definitely rolled a high AC check <laughs> and is inflicting all sorts oh. of damage rolls. Almost lost a dexterity check, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Luckily, he barely pulled it out. Absolutely. He's got, he's got like, two or three discs, so maybe he does, like, three D6s worth of damage. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're, you're playing with death there, Roadkill. You don't want to get too close to that pit. Yeah. We've got eight seconds left, though. Can we see a pitting in that amount of time? I... Five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. The answer to that is unfortunately Round no. Round of applause for these competitors. And it's time for our first judge's decision. The judges at arena side have voted for Action Surge. Congratulations. There you go. So does this, does this finally, for once and for all, settle the battle between horizontal and vertical? Oh, that'll be a never-ending battle. <laughs> it's like Mac versus PC, I think. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. A, a fight for the ages till the end of time. Tech, which text editor do you like? Ooh, for coding? No, please don't answer that. <laughs> don't answer that. Oh, hey, I'm joined by the world-famous award-winning Art Ninja. So it looks like Kill Cake and Puka might be a little bit delayed. Is that that's who's next? Ragnarok and Crescendo. Crescendo. Yeah. Oh wait, I need to go over to this camera so we can see what we're talking about. There's uh, there's a little Ragnarok right there. Maybe a little, but man, 
That, that, uh, I, I don't want to fight it. Not barehanded, at least. And that would be Crescendo right there. The horizontal spinner of Crescendo and the vertical spinner of little, little Ragnarok. And it looks like we are about to kick the tires and light the fires. Three, two, one, and fight. And off they go. Oh my goodness, huge hit from Little Ragnarok. Another huge hit from Little Ragnarok, knocking Crescendo all around the, the, uh, the arena. Starting out with some big hits. Absolutely. I think that would be uh, Largo, I think. Another good hit there oh, from. Uh, the belt. Yeah, somebody's lost a belt. Who is it? Oh, it looks like it might be Crescendo. They've suddenly gone Fortissimo. No, that's a different robot. Oh, oh, that's right. That is a different robot. Yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, he's got him cornered, and yeah, it went. Yeah, you'd expect. Up in the air goes goes oh, Crescendo. Okay. Lining up for another hit. Here comes Ragnarok again. Another little tap to the front. Will he find purchase? Will he get under it? The answer will probably not surprise you. There it is again. Two minutes remaining on the clock. Yeah, you definitely want to stay away from that spinner. Absolutely. Throwing it up against the glass right here. Front row seat. Lucky me, I guess. Just chewing up the bottom of Crescendo right there. Little Ragnarok. And oh. there's the roof. Yeah, yeah. There's the roof Huge we've been waiting hit. for. In a mere 25 seconds, we're going to be dropping that pit. Really impressive that Crescendo is able to continue functioning. Absolutely, yeah. Ragnarok is upside down, seems to be uh, able to drive. flip back over. That's the question. That is the question, indeed. I agree with that a little more. My goodness, that's loud. Got a nice pin. Here it comes. And the pit has dropped. The pit has dropped. So, Lil Ragnarok, unfortunately, upside down. This is still anybody's game. It really is. It Crescendo's really is. Crescendo's doing a really nice job of uh, acting as a pusher bot, essentially. He's keeping the boat afloat, and that's really all you can do now. Can he float in 30 seconds to the other side of that arena? That's the question. <laughs> We're going to find out. We're going to find out here. If he's going to do it, he better get a wriggle on, because we've only got 20 seconds left in this thing. Ragnarok doing everything it can to stay away from the pit. Smart move. It looks like Crescendo is able to uh, pin him, but maybe not able to push him around. Not able to push it, yeah. Arena. Two, one, and that is the match right there. Wow. That was a very fun match. That was. So, little Ragnarok. Pushing around Crescendo the whole time with some absolutely enormous hits right out of the gate. You're seeing that there on the instant replay. Absolutely huge hits right out of the gate. Okay, it looks like we have a winner. You want to announce? Go ahead. Yeah, our winner is Lil Ragnarok. Congratulations. There it is. Absolutely. Lil Ragnarok is the winner of that last match. And you can see it right there on the on the replay. Why? Let's cut on over to the main cam. There we go. We got Icky Mouse over there versus, uh, who's the other one? Wicked Twister. Wicked Twister. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Wicked Twister heading across the arena. Oh, huge hit. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, there it is. Well, I think we took out a little bit of the arena uh, there. He took out a lot of bit of the arena there. And, and that's a tap out. Tap out. A tap out. Wow, yep, okay. That. Yep, that's the one. That was short but insane. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that chunk. Look yeah, look at that chunk. My goodness. I I he must have caught that just right. He caught that right on the edge. That is insane. So that was David Rush's hit, right? 
I believe so. You do have an instant replay. I, I, I do have an instant replay. Yeah, I do. Look at that. It's still running, actually. I think we're going to need a replay. We actually have a controversy here on, on what is quite possibly the least important thing of this whole entire match. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh what do we got that. here? Look at that. Good grief. Okay, let's let's watch the replay here. That's when it that's when it happened right there. Let's go back. Okay, so who done it? Okay, so Wicked Twister. That was that was Wicked Twister. All right, Wicked Twister, where you at? Where's Wicked Twister? We need a Wicked Twister. Where'd he go? I see it. He was here a second ago. He left. You see him over there? We need a Wicked Twister. Something awful. The driver for Wicked Twister, please. Because that's the moment right there. Actually, that's not the moment. That's the moment it started. And right there is the moment that I kind of peed a little. Because <laughs> that's literally right in front of me. Uh, Wicked Twister did. Wicked Twister was the, was the one that did the damage that launched it. So we need Wicked Twister to come to the uh, announcer desk, please. Okay, heading back on over to the uh, top-down cam. Looks like we got a Puka versus... Who is that over there? This is uh, Puka versus Kill Cake. Kill Cake, that's right. And three, two, one, fight. Boom. Ooh, right out of the game. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap. Some huge hits coming off of Kill Cake. Wow, throwing, throwing Puka across the arena. A kill cake, of course, is a full body spinner. And it means business, guys. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, some more huge hits. Oh, Puka has a little bit of damage there on the side. Couple more sparks. Puka's not out yet. Puka is out. Yeah, Puka is out. A little unexpected. I know uh, wow. Puka was a robot a lot of people are scared of. A scared of. of Puka. I, I, I would be a scared of Puka if I had to fight it. That is a uh, kill grief. cake beast. Kill cake right here. I think it was the second one. There it is. I think it hit two different walls simultaneously. Like like one, you know, bing, bing, right, off the, right in the pocket, corner pocket there. Uh, Wicked Twister, Wicked Twister, if you're in the uh, in the area, we would like to speak to you at the announcer's booth. Please make your way. There is the guy. There he is. Come on over here, there dang he it. Is. I was really hoping. Here. I was really hoping I wouldn't be giving this award out so soon. Okay. okay. But you are the winner of the I'm in Danger Award. This is given to people that make me personally feel in danger. My test box has metal uh, bumpers on it. Yeah, there you go. Here, have, yeah. a, have a mic. Yeah, my, my test box at home has metal bumpers on it, which might be a good upgrade. I don't know. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you. And, th and thank you for making me question my, uh, my health plan. Looks like we're getting ready to start this thing. Everybody's ready up. Ready to up. Uh, three, two, one, and fight, off and they off go. they go. Some fairy weight action. First fairy weight fight of the day. First fairy weight of the day. Red Rocket. And low tide. And low tide. Very unusual robots. Uh oh. If I'm being oh no. Here. Is Red Rocket going to oh, do no. the thing? Rocket, are you thinking already? Don't As do the we're thing. Starting a countdown. Don't do the thing. It's doing the thing. Oh no. Aww. It's doing no, the thing. That's a tap out. Very unfortunate loss oh. for Red Rocket. Your winner, though, is Low Tide. There you go. Put your hands together for your winner, Low Tide. Congratulations, Nick Dobrikov. All right, we're looking for Bricklet and Warpath. Bricklet and Warpath. Hey, while we're waiting for Bricklet and Warpath, let's see where uh, let's see where we're at then. Uh, this, coming up next, we have Bricklet and Warpath. Three, two, one, and let's do this. All right, we've got Bricklet, the adorable little dual knife wielding thing, uh -huh. versus the giant foam brick of Warpath. Warpath. That's a lot more foam than I would expect to see on a Warpath, but That's there it is. That's a lot more robot than I would expect in a fairy weight. That's a fair point. That thing is gigantic. It is. That's a pin. Five, four, three, uh, two, one, release. Smothering them with, with kindness. 
and like 30 pounds of foam. And 30 pounds of foam, that's Roughly. True. Give or take. I, I imagine fairy weights can't be 30 pounds, but that's a five, four, three, two. Oh, oh and released. Released. There we go. Density right. is, a, is a wondrous thing. These two robots weigh exactly the same amount. Five, four, three, two, one. Another pin. Release. Oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. Warpath. Uh -oh. Warpath. Oh, Warpath is off the Warpath. Might have to start a timer here. Yep. Yep, I think we might. Hey, you okay, buddy? Hey, buddy. Come on, man. Oh, I guess uh, the Warpath might end here. Yeah. The fight's not That's over yet. Oh, that is a knockout. Your oh. winner, Bricklet. Oh, man. Who lives to stab another day. <laughs> lives to stab another day. The adorable titanium knives of Bricklet will get to go on. And Warpath drops down into, uh, <laughs> not the knife, yes, the knife. Looking for Parmesan knife in Gimli. There you go. We, we are readying up here. Three, two, one, and off they trot. Battle of the little guys. Parmesan knife in black. Gimli in red and white. Gimli turned over on its back. Here comes Parmesan knife. With a couple extra toppings. Uh-oh. There we go. Gimli flips back over. We've got the Parmesan, we've got the knife. Oh, flipped on its head. Can he turn back over? Gimli tried to help, is now turned over too. So they're twins. It's adorable. We got Gimli in the foreground. We got Parmesan knife in the background. Flipped over on its head. Battle of the torquey motors, I guess. Is there enough torque? Gimli, Gimli's got the torque. Oh, uh-oh. But does Parmesan knife. A, a helpful nudge there from Gimli. A minute and 50 remaining on the clock. Are we doing it? Again, Gimli's, yep, yep, yep. Parmesan knife has tapped out. Gimli is your winner. There it is. All right, who do we got next? We got, uh, let's see. Looking for Shuffle Go Squee and Red Baron. Shuffle Go Squee? Shuffle Go Squee and Red Baron. Go ahead and hit your ready up buttons if you are ready. That's right, everybody's moving, nobody's standing still. Red Baron on the left side of your screen there. Yep, Red Baron in the blue square. In the we, blue uh, square. We probably should have done something about that, but oh well. And oh, yeah. Shuffle Go Squee. Everybody's ready. Three, right, two, off one, we go. off they go. Shuffle go squee, armed with nothing but a shuffler and a Santa hat, apparently. Oh. Then the magic of Christmas. Oh, not, not even a Santa oh, hat anymore. No. Shuffle go squee has been disarmed. The magic of Christmas has fallen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Christmas is canceled, everybody. Christmas is ruined. Oh. Every, yeah, boo that man. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, you're gonna have to take Santa's job this year. That's right. Shuffle goes squeeze, shuffling along. Squeeing along even. Yeah, that too. I can hear the shuffling noises. Hey, let's, let's listen to them shuffles. Oh man. Ooh, that tingles my ears a it little does, bit. It yeah. does, it does. Ooh, little, yeah. Little shuffle ASMR there. I see a wheel on the ground. Oh, yep, I see a wheel missing. Right in front of the judges. Yep. It's kind of hard to see the robots when there's a big wheel in the way. Big old wheel, there think, it is. Oh, this guy's been damaged. Uh-oh. I, I mean, between that and the fact there's only one wheel on, uh, on the other bot there. Also, since Shuffle Go Squee doesn't have a weapon, I'm curious how that wheel fell off. The magic of Christmas. That's Santa how. Santa strikes back. Santa strikes back, absolutely, yeah. Red Baron got oh, a lump no! of... It's oh, no! Wheel. There's two wheels gone. All right. Do so count this as controlled motion. Does, is, is he now a multi-brain? I don't know. He is moving. He's moving. Uh, I got to give him that. All right. 
I guess, uh, yeah, judges, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if this, if this counts. I'm, 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 up, I'm up for either. Red Baron still hanging on. Right, but looks like we're counting it as movement. Looks like we're counting it as movement. Okay, he's still engaging. Mostly against his own wheel. But Throwing I'll... his own wheel into Shuffle Go Squeeze. Yeah. Incredible. Projectile. Four seconds until that pit drops, by the way. Yeah. Projectile motion. Oh my god, wait, is this gonna happen again? Uh -oh. This isn't gonna happen again. Uh -oh. We're getting a little closer. There's to no pit. way. There's no goes. way. Oh, oh my That's god. Right. Chanting shuffle. Here we go again. Could it be? No, it couldn't. <laughs> Dang it. Actually showing very good control. I, I saw that little swing around he did with the weapon. Absolutely. Um, it's crazy what you can do just with a throttle. Look at that. He, he's doing like little swing attacks there. That's awesome. And, and Red Baron, he's working it, I got to admit. Oh, uh, here comes Shuffle again. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Is that enough time? Oh, oh. expertly driven. And Red Baron. Here. Red Baron squiggles out of it. Very impressive, evasive maneuvers. Oh, but then again, then again, oh. they're getting closer. Could it be? Could it be? Oh, oh so close. Oh, oh my. Pain. We were robbed. Oh, <laughs> oh no. With only seven seconds five, remaining. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Match over. And this goes the distance. Fantastic fight. And the crowd once again loves Shuffle Go Squeeze. Oh Sweet. my goodness, how can you not? How tiny, can you not? The adorable little shuffling feet. How can you not love this tiny little thing? Oh. Your winner by a unanimous judge's decision is... Shuffle Go Squee. There it is. Shuffle Go Squee, ladies and gentlemen. Takes the win as well they should. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Shuffle Go Squee now goes on to fight Gimli. Ah, Shuffle Go Squee versus, versus Gimli. Everyone, I mean, how, how do you do that fight? You know, I, I either lose or I lose everyone's love because uh, I, I broke Shuffle Go Squee. Yeah, pretty much. That's how that works. Yeah. It's a tough spot to be in. Oh, yeah. It's a tough spot. All right, we're going oh, back man. to uh, Beetleweights. We actually never should have left Beetleweights. That was, that was my bad. Oh, whoopsie. But we've got Double or Nothing and Valinor coming up here. In the arena now, I see we have Valinor loading up in again. We'll get to see them. This is their second fight. They're coming against the Las Vegas locals, uh, Double or Nothing. Ah, One of the uh, youngest drivers we have. Absolutely. Really goes to show that uh, age is not a limit on whether or not you can do this. Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, I mean, it's basically a video game, right? So yeah, pretty much, yeah. Replace the Xbox controller with a you know a Radio Master or a yeah. Turnigy or whatever yeah. suits you or Spectrum, and uh, hey, yeah. your your kid's a robot pilot now. And you're off to the races, absolutely. Yeah. All right, here we Looks go. Looks like we are ready to rumble. Off we go. And off they go. All right, will the wedge of Double or Nothing be uh, durable enough to take out Valinor? Now, he's got one fork up. I don't know if that's on purpose, if that's to try to jam up Valinor. Ooh. If it was, I don't think it did. Yeah, it's still moving. It's still moving, though. He's still going, that's right. Valinor. Working that stance. Oh, I see. It's it's an uh, it's actuated. That's an electric lifter arm in the front. Yeah, yeah, cool. right, right. On double or nothing. Yeah, right. Ooh, oh no! Yeah, that's, there's uh, a lot there's, less wheel than there used to be. There's a much less wheel. But yes. I've seen, uh, big was, hit. I've seen double or nothing come back from worse though. They it's can do okay. it. Yeah, you, you got three wheels still. Who cares? You still you got know? three wheels. That's plenty, right. Plenty of wheels. That's why you came up with four. Yeah. You know. The last match was won by someone without any. So, I mean, hey. Yep, I actually shuffled. Oh, you're, you're right. You're they right. You're shuffled, totally huh? right. You're huh? totally right. Huh? Yep. All right, All two right. minutes left. Double or nothing. Working on getting Valinor. Valinor does seem to have a lead here, but, uh, you know, two thirds of the fight remaining. Anything can happen. But they also do seem to not have very great motion on one side. Yeah, something this might be a little, uh, you know, Self-destructive there. He might have hurt himself a little bit. Those are some massive And the hits. sparks go flying. Beautiful sparks. They were, those were awesome. Uh-oh, Valinor. Valinor. He's uh -oh. moving, kind of. Is he moving? Yeah, a little I don't, bit. I don't know. I don't know if that counts. Let's see what the judges the think The wheels are it. spinning, but no one's home. He might be high-centered on something. All right. Well, now he's being pinned, so we can't really tell. And he's being pinned. Five, four, three, two, one. Release that pin. He may have oh, just hey. saved him. Yeah, I yeah, think he, he just uh, saved him. He hit the on button. Yep. Valinor is working again. Okay. Double or nothing. 
Another frontal attack on Valinor. We got the pit dropping now. The pit is down. Double or nothing, probably desperately trying to get Valinor over there. Five, yep. four, three, two, one, release. Yeah, Valinor definitely showing some movement struggles. Yeah. But now can Double or Nothing get around the other side and get Valinor into the pit? That's the question. Oh, yeah. Because I think that's the, that's the only way, unless one of these bots dies, I think that's the only way. we got 30 seconds for an answer to that question. That's right. 30 seconds remaining. Now 20. Ooh, Valinor, Valinor very intermittent with its drive. Yep. Double, Double or nothing, nothing getting yet another pin. Throwing him up no, against no, the glass. Pin, but still some good control. Ten seconds left in this match. Eight. Uh-oh. Seven. Okay. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. That's the match. And that's the match. And this has gone the distance. My right. goodness. What will the judges say? I don't know. Damage, obviously, in Valinor's favor. But control and aggression, I could see Double or Nothing get a lot of those. I could see that, too. Absolutely. You know what they say, damage control and aggression are in the eye of the beholder. So is holding from what I understand. Oh, yeah. yeah. So is aggressive talk. The, uh, yeah, so uh, there's the, there's the uh, instant replay there. Double or nothing. Trying to break, uh, break, his, break Valinor's fist with its face. Your winner by judge's decision is Valinor. Oh, and they were unsuccessful. It goes to Valinor. Very close match. That could have gone either way. That was, yeah, that was a long judge's decision. They had to deliberate a lot on that. Up next, we're looking for a Supreme oh, Ruler a good and point. Brick. All right. Hey, Pong, who is that in the red square? Uh, let's see. In the red square, that would be uh, the winner of the most innovative award for a recent robot comp uh, competition. Uh, that would be the one and only Supreme Ruler. Wow, Supreme Ruler. Yeah. Versus Brick, horizontal spinner. Versus Brick. We are, we are on the, oh, we're on the wrong camera. Look at me. There we go. I'm go ahead nice. and hit your ready buttons when you are ready. There's Brick. So we got uh, Supreme Ruler here. It's very innovative uh, cam lifter. Those little ruler-like things out in front will get under you and then scoop you up. Then we have a horizontal spinner in Brick. Blue and red square are both ready. Now, I'm not a gambling man, but I'd be willing to wager we're going to see a pitting. Oh, yeah. Let's see what happens. And off they go. Three, Ruler. two, one, fight. Oh, <laughs> Brick blasts out of the gate. Blasting out the gate, but... There's and here comes Supreme Ruler with a lift. Oh. Here comes Supreme Ruler with arms so wide open. with 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, there he goes. Oh, hit by brick there. But Ruler is just so durable. Absolutely. And is able to keep himself away from the damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, but will he be able to now? Ruler has lost a ruler. He lost a ruler. Can one ruler rule them all? He's only half ruling, like a Napoleon, basically. Was Napoleon even short? I don't know. I don't, but even I don't think I've ever seen. Ruler lose uh, an entire thing like this before. Uh, yeah, that's a new one. That is a new one. Do it, he's still got one of them, right? Yeah, he's got one of them. Okay. Okay. But still able to cradle Brick in his loving arm. Oh, look at that hold. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, Schnee in the chat says, I've never seen him lose a fork. Absolutely. No, neither have I. Another solid hold there. Thrown up against the glass. Supreme Ruler doing its Supreme Ruler thing. Yeah, showing fantastic control. Ooh, they both robots stuck together. Seem to be stuck together. Hey, oh, okay, in, I was going to say, can you guys free yourselves, but it seems that way. In a mere 30 seconds, we're going to see the pit drop. Ooh, I'm excited for that. Oh, me too. Supreme Ruler gets thrown across the arena by Brick. Brick is not taking this laying down. Oh. Ooh, ruler sending uh, Brick flying all over the arena, sending his weapon into the floor. Yep. 10 seconds until that pit drops. And that pit is coming down at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down goes that pit. Okay, now, now the game has changed. Now the turntables have turned. Tables. Oh, uh oh. 
wonderful corralling by Supreme Ruler. Absolutely. Will it be enough? Can he get this oh, cow he's into got the stable? Him, got him mostly boxed in, but he squiggles out of it. And oh, 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 oh my goodness. Uh -oh, uh -oh. He's close, though. Brick is doing everything he can, trying not to get in that pit. Being lifted a half into the air couldn't be more deadly than this. I'm telling you, absolutely. Uh-oh, oh, and that's goodness. exactly what's happening. Oh, okay, he's got... Supreme Ruler literally has him right where he wants him. 16 seconds left. 16 seconds. And there he goes. There he goes. Fantastic Boom. driving, as always, by Jeff Waters oh, and Supreme my Ruler. Goodness. That is our first pit of the day. Wow. First pitting of the day. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are here for the very first time, uh, this is uh, presented on behalf of The Sin Shop. Uh, we're a maker hackerspace in Las Vegas, Nevada that has the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. So if you'd like to find out more about the shop, especially if you're in the Vegas area, stop on by. Check us out. Sinshop.org forward slash discord is the place to go for that. All right. Loading up into the arena, we have Action Surge and Square Up. All right. Square Up with the welded steel chassis. That's square up right there. And Action Surge in the Technicolor Rainbow here, uh, very close to us. I have no idea how this is gonna, gonna go. There's, it's it's, uh, it's gonna be a good back and forth, I think. It'll I be think a total so. slugfest. Absolutely. All right, teams are readying up. Blue is ready. Off we go. The Three, weapon of Action Surge spinning up. Three, two, one, fight. Here we go. Nice. Action, action Surge, Surge with a huge hit. But Square Up does what Square Up does, and it uh, doesn't break. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do one more game for you. Action Surge versus Square Up. Square Up looking for the place to to run its face into Action Surge's fist. It's a very, very strong face. It is, it really is. Circling each other, looking for the right hit. And Action Surge has found one. But the brick keeps on bricking. In a good way. Takes a licking and keeps on bricking, you could say. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Square up, squaring up against Action Surge. Action Surge surging his actions against Square Up. Apropos names today. Got 30 seconds left until the pit drops. A lot of pushing, shoving. The pit is always the uh, you know the best friend of the wedge bot. Yeah, Push exactly. Your bot, I guess, is I, more accurate. I think uh, that is going to be the, the the friend of uh, of Square Up. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we're going to find out exactly what happens here in 10 seconds. Because that pit's dropping. And the, the clock has stopped, by the way. Uh, sometimes it lags out a little bit. Yep, looks like we lost the timer. What happened there? We have lost the timer. I'm not keeping time. Uh-oh. So is this going to the death, or does somebody have a stopwatch? We're, we're going to get the system rebooted. Okay, the pit has dropped. Pit. We're going to say 30 seconds remain here. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. Release that oh. pin. 21. You have 21 20, seconds on the clock. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, one match over. And that is the match. Look at that. A wheel has been ripped off at the last second. 
Wow. Hey, fight's over, guys. Fight's over. Yeah, fight is over. Fight is over. Fight is over. All right. What a match. Wow. That was a fantastic hit at the end indeed. Absolutely. Our judges at Arena Side will now deliberate over the winner. I, I bet that wheel plays a big part in their decision at the last second here. It probably will, that yeah. It might be crucial. Because for the whole entire match, it was pretty much neck and neck, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your winner by unanimous judges' decision is Action Surge. And there it is. Action Surge takes the win. Put your hands together for Action Surge, everybody. The winner of a very, very hard-fought match. Hard-fought match, absolutely. So let's see, we, this is Wicked Twister versus Little Ragnarok, right? Uh, correct. Yeah. We got Little Ragnarok in red, Wicked Twister in blue. Showing the uh, safety clamp there on Wicked Twister. And over there we got Little Ragnarok. Competitors, go ahead and hit your ready buttons when you're ready. And please be gentle on the glass. And on the buttons. And on the buttons. They go. Both of these deadly weapons up to speed. Already we have a massive hit. Yeah, a hit from Wicked Twister there on Will Ragnarok. This Will. is going to be an absolute slugfest. Both of these weapons are just insanely powerful. Absolutely. Pretty sparks, too. We had a little lesson about that on the show once. We'll come back to that. The little Ragnarok over there. Oh, with a huge hit on Wicked Twister. Oh, my All goodness. Right. Ragnarok seems to be winning the majority of these engagements. Absolutely. Wicked Twister will not be counted out so easily. No, not at all. Whoa! Ooh, massive hit! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh Ragnarok, is that your receiver? No, no, he just hit my he just hit the, the camera. We'll come back to it. It's fine. Yeah, I see light. And then, oh, hopefully those are oh. just lights hanging out. Uh oh, that yeah, that's important. Those do appear to be important. Wicked Twister's gonna try to get that for him though. If you lose some lights, that's no big deal. You know, your robot doesn't look as cool, but... Okay, wheels, on the other hand, that's a little bit more important. Yeah. Wheels are definitely needed there. Uh-oh, is Ragnarok stuck upside down? It appears that way. We might have to start a knockout timer oh, for no. him. Oh, no. All right, we're counting him down. Can you move, Ragnarok? It looks like Ragnarok cannot move. Is that the case? Ragnarok, he's stuck. He tapped. He tapped. He tapped. All right, your he winner. Tapped. Wicked Twister, what a match. What a match indeed, my goodness. Who do we got over here? We got uh, we got Roadkill and Guacamole. Roadkill and Guacamole. I believe we have a lunch break soon, so uh, it's only appropriate Guacamole starts to the fight. There you go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Goes. And Guacamole. Roadkill doing a little funny dance. Absolutely. Guacamole using that wedge to great effect. Definitely controlling the engagements here. Oh, okay. there we go. Road kill with a couple more hits. On the glass there. Guacamole is the uh, weapon down on Roadkill. Yeah, I see a belt hanging off like a necklace around oh. the uh, weapon shaft there. Yeah, yeah. No, those are supposed to be on the weapon, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It is kind of stylish, though. It is, it is. Oh, can, can Guacamole get under Roadkill? Oh, absolutely. That wedge has been working wonders for them so far in this match, and it has. will continue to do so. It has, but they weren't able to get a bite on that on the, uh, the bottom of Roadkill there. Oh, now they're both oh, upside now down. Now they're both upside down, absolutely, yeah. The uh, playing field has been leveled, <laughs> or, or maybe inverted, I should say. <laughs> inverted, there you go. Okay, Guacamole back on its feet. All right. Oh, that's my problem. There you go. Guacamole back up on its feet. Chewing at the side of the arena. Yummy, yummy. You could go after that guacamole. It's probably easier to chew on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that weapon oh. is angry. Oh, looks like it's hitting the floor. That's the problem. 15 seconds until the pit drops. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down a little bit there. Good grief.
Gets, gets a flip on uh, on Rogue Kill, puts it back on his head. The uh, pitch should have dropped by now. I'm not the sure pitch, what's going on there. The pitch should have dropped already. If it had, guacamole would be in the drink, there but there's the pit. Okay. Let's see. Uh -oh. oh, no. He has Rogue. the entire weapon gone. Rogue Kill has lost its head. Rogue Kill, you need that. Ooh. Oh, so oh, oh, no. Our second pitting of the day. Guacamole slam oh. dunking Roadkill into the pit. What a shot. All right, who do we got here? We got uh, Piano versus Icky Mouse. Okay. Let's head back in over there. David Rush oh. of Team Malice. <laughs> One of the most vicious drivers we have here. How about that close up? That's awesome. That was a close up. There, there we go. Piano, Piano has that awesome four bar lifter. I am a sucker for four bar mechanisms. They look awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this uh, deadly blade of Icky Mouse, uh, Icky Mouse is going to be quite the opponent for Piano. All Three, right, two, one. A fight. And they are off. There they go. Piano and Icky Mouse. Icky Mouse looking for a good spot to hit. Circling around. Oh, there's one. You could hit that, I guess. You could hit that, too. Icky yeah, Mouse that beating the crap out of these walls. Uh, you know, I would I would go after Piano personally, but that's just me. Yeah, and he did. It. There we go. First, and it looks like it works. Yeah, no, that, see? I'm, I'm their new coach. Yeah, you're doing great. Thanks. Right, but but Piano's not giving up, though, despite nope. losing a lot of his keys. A lot of his keys. There you go. Yep, yep. Just play a song without those notes. You'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Lining up. Oh, another hit from Icky Mouse. That's a pretty brutal hit. And another one. All right. Piano There's a lot feet. of parts coming out of that thing. We're back on his legs, as it were. Oh, oh it sounds oh, angry. Piano, can he move? Looks like he's asking for another hit. And if he's here to deliver, he was. Oh, yep. All right, there's a tap out. Your winner, Icky Mouse. Yep, Icky Mouse. What an impressive and destructive performance. That was. And raising uh, an OTG to the desk, please. Raising an OTG. And Morgan, if you would be so kind, uh, uh, can you go around and, and come over here when you get a chance, once you get your bot out of the, out of the arena? Right, once you get, get, take care of the bot first and then come over. Morgan, thank you so much. Now, now, you have another award coming because so far this one, this one is what I would call pretty damn disassembled between that one and what you did earlier. Yeah. Okay. So you are now the official winner of unintentional disassembly. Yeah. Once a marvel of complexity, now a scattered heap of parts. Awesome. There you go. What do you have That's to so say about this, Morg? This is very cool. I'm very excited. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. I think if you and Exit the day with a working robot, you failed. Absolutely. Uh, and I think it might still work, so I'll be back. Very cool, very cool, excellent. Wise words, wise words. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? OTG versus Brazen. Uh, I would love to talk about Brazen here in the red square. So that, that looks like a lifter, right? You'd look at that and say that's a lifter. I would look at that and say that's probably a lifter, but I'll bet it's not. It is a lifter, but underneath the lifter is a heat element. Oh, really? So it'll try to bite you and burn you when the lifter comes back down. Oh, okay. Which is extremely cool. We do not allow fire at ARC events, but okay. heating elements totally allowed. Heat elements allowed? Yep. Okay, open fire, no. Correct. Heat, yes. Okay. Oh. All right, we are readying up. On your market set, fight. Your robots fight. All right. OTG showing uh, pretty good control. All right. It's a uh, OTG boomerang esque design. Oh, boomerang. I thought you said something else. He <laughs> <laughs> was complaining about avocado toast or something. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, oh, almost, Ooh. almost had the capture that, there. That heat element's getting nice and warm. That looks like a printed shell on uh, OTG, so yeah. that could be a fatal bite if that heat element melts through the top armor. Oh, that would be hilarious. And or bottom armor. Okay, no less dose. Let's see, let's see if we can have dose. Let's see oh. if we can have Uno, I don't know. Yeah, All right. yeah. OTG kind of giving Brazen for a ride. Little tour of the arena, here's this corner, here's that corner, yeah, take that... some pictures, make some see, memories. See this over here, that's, that's where Pong had to change pants. There's that's... a nice little flip by Brazen. Yeah. Come on. 
OTG is a very maneuverable oh. bot. It's been very squirrely and hard to pin down by Brazen. Almost got him there. He's a, he's a slippery little thing there. That arm is up there. <laughs> Later. Hi. <laughs> He'd like some more biscuits, I think. Bite, bite. Uh. <laughs> bite, robot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What do we got on the clock there? We got a minute and 35 seconds remaining. In a mere 30 seconds, you're going to see that pit drop. And then again, as now, anybody's game. This is a very close match. Both robots getting pins here and there, showing some control. Brazen got a few flips in. OTG got a few decent, decent uh, pins almost. But we have a pit in six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh oh, down goes, down goes the, the pit. But, uh, but Brazen, Brazen has seemed to have, seems to have wedged themselves. Uh oh, no! If they can't get out, we're gonna have to start a knockout timer. Oh, OTG trying to save them, maybe. Wow, that is in there. Hey, hey there he is. Back in the fight with 40 seconds remaining. Oh, nice uh, pin by OTG. Now he's Five. pinned. Four. Oh, okay. now he's back out. Go back again. Uh, Come down, on. up, down, uh -oh. leaning up against the thing. Now he's not. Now he's down. He's up. Wow, he's, that, that giant hole in the arena really doing work here. <laughs> this is Pavlov's Five, <laughs> robot match. Four. Oh, okay, there's a release. Good pin. Good pin by OTG. Not Pavlov. Schrodinger's there. It is. Schrodinger's. We got 14 seconds left in this match. No yeah. GG freeing Brazen from the wall with six seconds left. Six seconds left on the clock. Four, three, two, one. That's the match. That is indeed the match, and that's it. Round of applause for these two competitors. Absolutely. What a great back and forth. All right, here's the match again. Your winner by unanimous judge's decision is OTG. OTG takes the win. All right, All right. everybody's ready. We've got Bad Doctor and Lemon Pound Cake. Bad Lem Doctor in the red square there, that is a spring-powered spear in the front. What? He oh. will retract that spear and then shove it into you as hard as he can. And I can't wait to see it. Oh, boy. And away we go. Oh, look at that thing moving. Oh. So <laughs> oh, boy. What? Wow, slow down, bad doctor. What's the hurry? I'm not sure I can show that on Twitch. <laughs> Boom, into the side of the arena. All right, Smush Bread getting a nice pin right off the bat. <laughs> Just slamming back and forth into bad doctor. Smush. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if bad doctor might have celiac. Uh, you know, can he have wheat? I don't know. Because he's getting a bunch of Smush Bread right now. That's the thing. He's moving. He's, he's, he is moving. Oh, no, so much bread is now stuck in the wall. Oh, no. There it goes. There okay, he goes. there we go. <laughs> All right, so much, oh. sorry, sorry, not so much bread. Lemon pound cake. Le oh, lemon pound cake. Thank That's you. That's right. Thank you. Uh, maybe going for a pin? If you pin someone who barely moves, is it really a pin? Good question. Oh, I see that spear retracting. It is locked and loaded. Oh, he's ready to strike. Ready to strike at a moment's notice. Lemon pound cake getting stuck in every seam the arena has to offer. That's right. He tried the other wall. There he goes. There we go. He's steady. All right, let's get a pin. Five. Oh, nope. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that spear <laughs> shooting out, launching him back. All right. In a mere oh, 30. To the other side of the arena. 38 seconds, or 30 something seconds, and we will see the pit drop. Lemon pound cake pounding bad doctor? Bad doctor. Bad doctor. Pounding bad doctor against the wall there. I'm not sure this man has a medical degree. Yep, I don't think so. I don't think so. Lemon pound cake is not going to take that copay anymore. He's like, what do you right, mean I'm not covered? Five. I don't know. <laughs> what I, I, I love the slow march. You know, it's not good yep. for robots, but it looks so cool. Just the. Uh, it, it does. Creeping death as it marches onward ever so slowly. A little uh, ominous. A little, uh, you know, metaphor as death eventually comes from us all. Uh. <laughs> it uh -oh. is inevitable. <laughs> the pit is open. No matter how slow it approaches. It's, it's still coming either way. Just like the end of this match. Oh, the suspense is palpable. 
I could palp it all day. In like three minutes when Bad Doctor aims at Lemon Pound Cake. Oh, there's a nice oh. shot. I think that was a hit. Was that a hit? Oh. Lemon Pound Cake. Through the clever use of attacking not the left. weapon. Oh, the spear is retracting. Oh, he's ready to strike again. We got 20 seconds remaining on the clock. And this thing is making its way downtown. Walking fast. No, not really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, speed is relative. Speed is relative. That's true. That's true. All right. Are you stuck in the corner there? Uh, pound cake do indeed be pounding. We've got four seconds left in this match. Three, two, one. And that's the match. That is indeed. All right. We're going to go to the judges. All right. Judges have some deliberation to do. And the deliberation uh, It is a unanimous judge's decision for lemon pound cake. Put your hands together for lemon pound cake, everybody. Lemon Pound Cake does take the victory. But let's give it up for Bad Doctor also for coming up with something really cool and unusual. It and really is. It out to show us something neat. Yeah, that is a really clever design. I, that was really cool. We're so back. We are so back right now. Arizona Robotic Combat Arc Robo Rumble December 2023 is back in session. Let's see what we have on the menu. We've got some one pounders and then some plastic ants. Now we're looking for Trash Talker and Meanie Mouse. Trash Talker, and there's a Meanie Mouse, Looks and there's like a Trash ready. Talker right there. We've got Meanie Mouse in the blue square, Trash Talker in the red. Absolutely, yes. J uh, January the 13th, we will be live. And uh, if you're not anywhere close to Las Cruces, like I am, uh, you'll be able to watch it live on uh, twitch.tv forward slash sin shop. It looks like we're getting ready to get back in this fight. They are ready to go. Both competitors are ready to go. Our first post lunch fight. Three, two, one, go. Here goes Meanie Mouse and Trash Talker. Trash Talker has a really cool diagonal spinner. You know, it is a horizontal technically, but with that angle, it makes it pretty unique looking. He's like, hard. oh and boy. It's working. Wow, Meanie Mouse sending himself flying all over the arena. That's doing a fine job. Yeah, horizontal, vertical, porque no los dos, you know? Yeah. Flinging it across the arena there, flinging the mouse around. Uh oh, is the weapon down on Meanie Mouse? I don't know. No, I don't think it is. They say sticks and stones can't break your bones, but uh, trash talking is really starting to get to rush. <laughs> oh, the weapon's back. Is it? Oh, I don't know. It's getting quiet in there. Oh, maybe. Maybe he's just hitting really hard and that made it spin for a while. Uh, maybe. Oh, the mouse is not giving up. I think some of the guts are hanging out of the back. Yeah. Trash Talker is just that's ripping a, that this is a thing tap. apart. That's a Your tap Your winner, Brandon, with Trash Talker. Trash Talker takes the win. Absolutely. What a destructive robot. Wow. That light reflection looks awesome on the blade in the middle there. <laughs> it really does. Looks like it's lit up. Okay, now we're looking for our first round of Plastic Ants. We've got Ooh. Sharp and Nobody. It's a tie. Huh. So we already know the the winner? Seems that way. Oh. Well, I guess both winners. Everyone's a winner, really. I, I really hope they win so we can say the, the funny thing, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, we'll be saying the funny thing all night, I'm sure. We've got a Banshee team member, Caleb Hecht, loading in with uh, Half Sharp. This is a very unusual robot, oh. and it appears to be even more unusual in its current state since something's flopping around. Uh oh. Is it flopping? Oh, that's oh, no, this. That's, that's just the weapon lock. Okay, okay false there. alarm. False alarm. But still, it's very unusual. It is a wheel, and it's a horizontal spinner. So it's kind of Red Rocket-ish in the, in the one single wheel to help steer. Yeah, but instead of relying on air propulsion, it relies on pure chaos. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. And these, this is a plant. These are plants, yep, plastic, Good Lord. only 3D printed. A uh, list of uh, 3D printed filaments are allowed, no metal weapons or anything like that. Gotcha. This makes things break a lot easier, but it's also easier for beginners to get into. There you go. Well, let's see what happens here. Nobody hits a tie versus half sharp. Three, two, one, fight. Here they go, half right. sharp. 
<laughs> Swing it out of the gate. Um, I'm sure this is all intentional. He is in complete control of his robot. He meant to jump into that area. Totally no doubt in my mind. Whoa! Oh, something is not attached. Um, wow, is that part of nothing at the tie? I can't tell. I think I think that yeah that came off of nothing. Uh, yeah, no, like no. half the robot came out on the back there. Yeah, lost the front the front part and there's oh, the other there's one. The other part. Jeez. I was gonna say half of the front. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! The chaos oh. giveth and the the chaos taketh away. Yeah. And right now it has taketh away uh, Caleb's weapon. That's a tap out. And that's a tap out. Guess oh what? man! Your winner is nobody. It's a it's tie. A tie. Served its purpose. Oh wait a minute, was it was it nobody it's a tie's first fight? Yes. We got two awards. Ooh, should I call uh, nobody it's a tie over? Well, we need both of them. Oh okay. So Caleb and the uh, nobody it's a tie team, please come to the commentary desk. Nobody it's a tie. Outstanding. Okay. Well, we have got several different achievements. I don't know if you heard that earlier or not. But we have achievements that you can win for different things that happen throughout the thing, right? And you two both won. This is the first time we've had both teams win. You, this is your first fight, right? No, not my first. In the competition. With, with that robot, is it the first fight today? I'll take it. Okay, with that one, <laughs> that'll work. Okay, this is the official Mighty Pong Announcer Award, and uh, it is the First Blood Award. So there you go. Your first bot, first time that bot's been fighting. Congratulations. Your first win, you've got the achievable. And our master of chaos. This is not most destructive. That's going to be coming later. But for being complete chaos in the arena. Master of chaos. There you go. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. All right. We got to ask a lot of questions in Goober. We are all greased up and ready to wrestle there. Ask a lot of questions and Goober. Goober's got some googly eyes. Oh, look at this. Look at the end of the eyes. The eyes of death. Once that weapon gets up to speed, those eyes are going to be all over the place. Googling like nobody's business. Oh, yeah. Ask a lot of questions. Is asking exactly zero questions. He's jumping out of the arena, knocking over Goober. Ask a lot of questions is one of the most vicious plastic ants in the entire Southwest. Absolutely. And uh, this fight seems to be no exception so far. But Goober is holding strong so far. Got Goober up against the wall there. Axelot questions, doing a little bit of grinding on the side of it, chasing. Oh, yeah. Axelot is just all over the place. Very fast and zippy drive. Cool lights underneath also. Absolutely. Got uh -oh. Goober up against the wall. Done the thing, but hey, releases him. Nice sportsmanship. There you go. Oh, look at those eyes go. <laughs> those googly eyes are googling like a keyboard warrior about to lose an internet argument. Oh, no. <laughs> Flipping them up in the air. Props to uh, both of these robots. No matter how many hits they dish out and receive, uh, drive and weapon are both fully operational. Absolutely. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the top fell off. Oh, no, Goober. Goober has lost its its primary weapon. Oh no, he's not giving up though, what a trooper. Not at all. Because at any minute now, in, in 30 seconds actually, the pit is going to drop. That's right, that could turn the tides. Absolutely, anything can still happen here. Oh, oh that's just, now that's just cold. Very mean, attacking <laughs> the uh, ripped off weapon of Goober. He's already dead. You never know when uh, Goober might reattach itself to the weapon, so you yeah, gotta make well, sure it's, dis it's fully disabled. That's true, that's true. Goober is a wily one. We got a pit in three, two, one. Down goes the pit. Down goes the pit. Axelotl's right. got Goober up against the wall, grinding a little bit away. He didn't need that part anyway. Axelotl questions. Making a lot of answers. Running Goober back into the wall. Asking one question, it seems, and that is, would you like some more? Over and over and over again. <laughs> but Goober's saying yes. Yeah, and Goober's willing to participate. Willing to participate. Just over 30 seconds left to go. So far, this has been all axolotl, but uh, hey, you never know when someone might accidentally drop into the pit. <laughs> accidentally? 
Accidentally. Very good. Very good. Very clever. I, I do what I can. I do what that I can. That looks to be a little spicy. Oh. I saw some smoke. Oh, smoking. Someone tapped out. Someone did tap out. Is it just a little bit of smoke? Was that just a burnt ESC? It might be. I don't, I don't see batteries. Battery issues. Yeah. Make sure you lick it. Oh, and into the tub it goes. All right. Bucket Hero Tracy on the case. It has been done. All right. Make way for Morgan. Let him uh, get out of there. All right. Wow, look at that. Look at the, look at the condition of that, of that freaking drum. Wow. Oh, That's my goodness. seen some action. It has. Now, now see, these are plastic amps, so what you're telling me is what, what we're looking at right now. That's a plastic drum. Yeah, that's uh, that doesn't look like plastic. How in the world does it put up with that kind of punishment? It looks like metal. I don't, well, I don't think so. You Did would Brandon see. sneak a metal weapon into plastic amps? Wait a minute. Is that why he's so successful? No. He would I don't never. buy it. I don't buy it. There's no way. I'm going to ask him anyway. Bring that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brandon. Hey, bring, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Brandon. Bring that over here. Bring that thing over here. I want to get a look at your weapon here. So what's this? Uh, okay, okay. Now that this is. Uh, what, what's this printed out of? Uh, Duramic PLA Plus. Okay. It is PLA. That is a legal material. It is not metal. We uh, falsely accused Brandon of cheating. Disqualified. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. We only did it ironically. <laughs> yeah, that was only ironic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, how, how does that win make you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> that's that's the what second or third time we fought Morgan. Sixth. Sixth time. These two have fought a lot. Okay. <laughs> so you ask a lot of questions. I'm going to ask you one question. Yeah. Do you think Axolotl can take it all today? I hope so. He hopes so. You heard it here first, folks. All right. There you go. We're going to get ready for our next fight. Mr. Grimm versus Cognito Hazard. Loading in. We got Toby from uh, Team Borgerbots, I believe. That's right. With a Cognito Hazard. Ah. Uh, Four bar lifter, kind of like Biohazard. I think that is part of the reason it's named that way. His opponent, uh, across the way in the red square, we have Mr. Grimm, one of the, oh, uh, not Ohio, Utah <laughs> citizens. Came all the way down here by car just to partake in our event. Oh, that's a good point. It's always uh, a nice feeling when people drive so far to come to these events. All right, both of our competitors are ready to rock and roll. Everybody's ready. It is a lifter versus a horizontal. Who will come on top? And who will be sent to the loser's bracket? Cognito Hazard. Ooh, nice little shove there. Cognito Hazard shoving Mr. Grimm into the wall of the arena using its arena against, or its uh, weapon against itself. Mr. Grimm. Spinning around, taking a couple bites out of Cognito Hazard. A full, you're turning itself into a full body spinner there. That's like a double spinner. Oh, double spinners all the way down. Combine the horizontal spin with the horizontal spinner, you get a double spinner. Wow. That's how Horizon works. That's like four spinners. Yeah. Wow. You basically just get disintegrated. Pretty much. <laughs> Too much force. Yeah, you turn into pure energy. <laughs> just vaporized into atoms. Trans achieve uh, total consciousness. Become one with the singularity. Oh, dang. Or you just kind of rip off pieces of your opponent's front wedge. You know, we're going to list those. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cogno Nito Hazard trying to get a lift on. What's going on here against Mr. Grimm? Mr. Grimm trying to get a piece of Cognito Hazard. I would love to see a, a nice lift or a flip even from Cognito Hazard. Oh, oh that's my ASCII G shall receive right yeah. there. There you go. That was a close one. A couple of parts have flown. Are they purple? Are they black? I believe most of them seem to be purple. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. But that doesn't seem to be slowing anybody down. But what might is in, tw in 19 seconds and counting. That pit will drop. It will drop. Looks like Cognito Hazard has shifted into clamp mode. Oh, and look at that. Uh -oh. What a grab. Oh, boy. Ooh, yeah. Do -do, toss your well, partner if, to and fro. If he can hold that for about six seconds, I think. I think this might. Oh, oh good. There we go. Just in time. Just down comes the pit. Down. But if that happens again, that's not looking good for Mr. Grimm. Not looking good for Mr. Grimm. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Oh, oh my God. There, there 
there's a wheel in there for wow. a little bit. Wow. Wow. Mr. Grimm dancing with death. Absolutely. Oh, wow. There's a clamp. Oh, he's got the clamp. Now, right, can right. he walk it over? Oh, but at what cost? Uh, oh. <laughs> Can't seem to move. Can't there's seem a to move. Nope. 30 so, seconds remaining on the clock. Despite not, you know, getting that pit, he is still showing excellent control, racking up those control points. Absolutely. Ooh, we're getting a little close. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I, I think Cognito Hazard was second to fall in. We might have to watch the instant replay in slow-mo for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, wow, a double pitting. I'm on the edge of my seat here. Literally. Right. Okay, so there we go. We're going to walk it forward a little bit. He's got him up. Oh, yeah. And down nope. they down both down go. Goes. So who is that then? That's definitely uh, Mr. Grimm that went into the pit fully first. Mr. Grimm went in um, first. I mean, no matter how you look at it, he uh, Cognito Hazard initiated the pitting. Mr. Grimm fell in first. Uh, he was also the first to go in completely. Okay. All signs point to uh, Cognito Hazard winning. There we go. But, 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 both of you two come over here. Ooh, we have another achievable, you, it sounds like. You both got achievables. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem. One of our achievables was that both spots go into the pit. But unfortunately, we only have one award. Uh, that kind of seems like poor hindsight. <laughs> well, is it though? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. The Gemini Award for both of you going into the pit simultaneously. Thank you. The, uh, the biblical story of uh, Pongamon instead of Solomon splitting this award in half. There you go. To share amongst the two competitors. <laughs> Wow, biblically correct <laughs> comedy. I love it. Let's you get it all here. You do, absolutely. Wow, all what right. a fight. That is one for the memory banks. So that also gives Cognito Hazard a uh, chance to run for the most pittings award. He is tied with Ruler and Guacamole, all three at one pitting each. Oh, I see a Ruler getting, on, uh, getting ready to come back here, though. Oh, yeah. So it looks like we have the wheeled thing versus Smurf Beater. Smurf. This is Smurf Peter uh, closest to the camera. That's right. In the blue square and then red square, we have the wheeled thing. There we go. Wheeled thing is not in the in the red square. Wheeled thing is in the red square. He's not in the red square. Oh, he's he's adjacent to the red square. He's red square adjacent. <laughs> Close enough, yeah. Oh, okay. All right then. All right. We got a drum so there we go. bird battle now. All right. Here comes Smurf Peter. Oh, we got some more googly eyes. Look at him go. He's he's getting ready to smurf him up over here. Yeah, the wheel thing having a little bit of drive trouble. To be fair, this team has the majority of its, of its uh, experience building shufflers. So you ask them to build a, a wheeled robot, and it's like, how do I do this? How do I, I don't understand. These yeah. are too round. I don't, how, how, I don't how, how do the wheel, though, they just turn? They don't, like, articulate? That's weird. Oh, uh, boring. But uh, wheel thing has been flipped over. And uh, Smurf Eater doesn't seem to know which way the Smurf is smurfing. Man. Yeah, I guess. Uh, no, he's a He's backing in. He's Back in, lead with your best side sometimes, you know? Uh, hey, you know, that's what I always do. Smurf beater getting uh, the wheeled thing in the corner right where he wants it. Smurf beater is really good at making right turns over and over again, but uh, can it drive into this opponent? Almost. Here we go. Come on. Almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's it. Yeah, we're getting there. You want to lead with the weapon, Smurf beater. You know, they're saving it for later. Smurf Beater. Look at the uh, wedges on the front of Smurf Beater there, up yep. and down. Like, uh, have you seen that cat that's like hitting the bongos really fast? <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's what I'm getting out of there this. There it is. Oh, hey, uh -oh. hey, there we go. Wheeled thing? Wheeled thing, can you wheel yourself out of that? I'm not seeing any movement. I don't. The judges have started a knockout timer. Uh-oh. The counting. It might be dead. It might be dead. It might be all smurfed out. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a knockout. Your that winner. That is a knockout. Smurf beater. There we go. Team Tanto's own low tide Manta creator, Nick Dobrikov. Go ahead and hit your ready buttons if that uh, status applies to you. It applies to both of them. There you go. Bricklet versus low tide. 
All right, Low Tide has a massive vertical disc on it. Bricklet is armed with two knives and a vengeance. Two knives and a smile. That's all he wears. It's a monstrous, <laughs> deceiving smile. Oh no! Oh, uh oh. I think I think Bricklet just got hammered into the, <laughs> into uh -oh. the sieve even harder. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, Wait, oh you, man! Now yeah, Brickley is trash talker. Uh, just, oh. oh, that's a tap out. That is a tap out. Oh. your winner by being deeply embedded into a wall <laughs> is Low Tide. Yeah. Looks like we have Warpath and Red Rocket loading into the arena. I think this is going to be one exciting match. We're going to see a lot of foam chunks flying around. Oh boy! Ready. Yeah, we are. All right, competitors, go ahead and hit your ready buttons. Blue square and red square, both ready. And off they go. All right, Red Rocket has that deadly propeller weapon up to speed. Oh. Flies across the arena, not in the direction they wanted to. Oh, flying directly over Warpath. Ooh, there's some nice chunks of foam. Red Rocket achieving air superiority. Maybe even terminal velocity. Maybe. I imagine Red Rocket is extremely difficult to drive. Drive? Oh, no. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, Jeff Waters, always the good sport. Always the good opponent. sport. Always the good sport. Everyone comes up to me and says, where he wasn't. Yeah, no, me neither. Boom. Oh, that, <laughs> that was a legitimate flight. <laughs> that was. That was legit flight. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love watching this thing. <laughs> Pure chaos. Oh, it looks like the, uh, I've been, I was told those are coat hangers in the front of Warpath. Well, they seem to be hanging him up quite uh, quite nicely. <laughs> oh, that is correct. All right, edging, edging closer. I don't know about that. Getting closer, Red Rocket takes a couple more chunks of foam out of there. Yep, another hit, another chunk removed, another uh, coat hanger bent. Oh. Oh. oh! Stood Warpath up and knocked it right on back down. You know, if you squint at Warpath, it kind of looks like a big footsie roll. It really does, the, you're uh, right. paper twisted on the side, yeah. Huh, yeah. I, I sure it could go for a, you know, a eight inch long log tootsie roll. <laughs> nope, mm -mm. nope. Oh no, Rocket! Oh no! Did you dead? What happened? He deaded. No! Oh. Oh. Jeff has achieved the big funny and has Oh, man. Oh, poor Jeff. Hold Looks like on. we're starting a countdown. Oh, we've had a countdown for a while. Yep, All right, that's a knockout. Your winner, Warpath. Sometimes the match doesn't go down to who does the most damage. It goes down to who dies the least. <laughs> and that uh, that's exactly what happened right and there. that's Warpath. Shout out to the uh, MILF shirt Jeff is wearing, which of course stands for Man I Love Forks. Man I Love Forks. I don't know what else it would stand for. Oh. Uh, you can pick these up at robotsruinmylife.com. Speaking of, uh, of getting your life ruined, what? Uh, we are going to need to speak to Jeff, because we do have an achievable for him. Oh, that's glad to, uh, glad to hear that. Uh, yep. Jeff, make sure you make your way towards the commentary booth. Yep. Looks like I'm up with Gimli, so I'm going to hand off the mic to the world famous Art Ninja. We have, uh, we have certain achievables that, that you get for, for different things, right? Okay. Now, throughout that match, you were about to win. You were so close to winning. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you didn't. No. Nope. And I would say that someone needs to call the sheriff because you were robbed. Because uh... if you hadn't lost, you would have won. Right. <laughs> Here's the camera. <laughs> uh, it's right there. Right there. There it is. There you go. Yeah, I think it just browned out. I've been having issues with losing bind on this all day. So. Is that right? It, I should have tried to rebind it. I had 10 seconds, but yeah. Yeah. You know, 20, you 20 hindsight, you know? Exactly, exactly. What are you going to do? Anything can happen, exactly. right? Exactly. Now I can focus on the other robots. So. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. I can take that for you there. There you go. Thank you so much. And of course, as always, disqualified. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what? I don't. Uh, here, let me, let me get to that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what you're even talking about. Who are you? I don't know. All right, we move over to here, over to the arena. We've got yeah, Gimli yep. versus Shuffle Go Squee. There it is. In the red square, we got Gimli. And in the blue square, Shuffle Go Squee. 
Three, two, one, and let's go. Here comes Gimli. Gimli flipping over, shuffle goes Squee. Oh no! Dang, a tap out from Shuffle Go Squee. So unfortunately, that does mean that, uh, let's see, Shuffle Go Squee, I believe drops down to the uh, to the loser's bracket there. What do we got coming up next? Or do you do you know on that? Or Next up we have Parmesan Knife and Red Baron. Parmesan Knife and Red Baron. Red Baron is, oh, and Parmesan Knife is in there. Okay, great. Old Parmesan, they call it. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Here comes Parmesan Knife. Red Baron coming by to say hi. Parmesan Knife. Has, oh, there he goes. It's a huge hit on, uh, on Red Baron. Parmesan Knife knocks Red Baron across the arena. Almost roofed it, I'm not sure it did. But dang close. High enough to not really matter. Out of camera. Out of camera, that's the important bit there. But yeah, Parmesan knife with the hold. I hope someone's counting, because I'm not. All right, Parmesan knife, let's let it go. Backed off. Give Red Baron a little bit of room there. He's going into full body spinner mode. Yeah, Red Baron seems to have some uh, mobility issues. A little bit, that's, that's me in the morning. <laughs> but that's, that's unfortunately Red Baron right now. And uh, Parmesan Knife holding uh, Red Baron up against the wall, a little bit of another, another little bit of a pin there. Parmesan Knife lining up his shot. Oh, nice, nice hold. Nice hold there. Counting down himself, because no one else is counting down. This is an honor system referee. <laughs> <laughs> Which always works great, never causes any problems. Another hold from Parmesan Knife. Gotta say, Red, Red Baron doing what he can with that mobility. Holding kind on. Impressive. To what he am. Pretending he's a Superman. Looks like Parmesan Knife is trying to get that thing spinning, or it may have just been hit by uh, Red Baron. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure oh, if the, he uh, still has his weapon. And, and, you know, meanwhile, while we're over here in this corner, in the other corner, the pit is down. The pit is down, so, and they are getting dangerously close to that. Now, can Red Baron push Parmesan Knife into the pit? The answer so far, not really. Oh, but he's he's getting his way over there. Um, um, oh. Why? A self pitting. That was a self pitting. Yeah, yeah. Toby self self pit. Why? But but why? <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna have the tail of the tape here in just a second. Here, let's see what's going on. We got that. We got to turn that down for a second. We're gonna go ahead and scroll through this fairly quickly. I don't believe that he was. I'm I'm calling shenanigans on this. Wait a second. Yeah, no, that was not close. What are, what are we? I mean, so okay, we. What? He was he was headed right for us, huh? Is that it? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Hey, hi. So we've been debating if uh, that pit point should go towards Red Baron for pitting himself or to Parmesan for getting a win because his opponent oh. pitted himself. We're thinking of giving the point to Parmesan. But, but uh, why would you get a point for pitting yourself? You, everyone would just drive into the pit. No, Red Baron pitted themselves. That's why Parmesan gets the point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, All right. So, yeah. Because, I mean, first one in the pit. I mean, them's the rules right there. <laughs> So now we have Ruler, Guacamole, Cognito Hazard, and Parmesan, all with one point for the uh, Slam Dunk Award at the end of the day. I am still super confused on that. <laughs> that was, like, that took work. It took work for him to get that far. My goodness. Okay. Oh, 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 there you go. 
That is that is super strange. Opponent pitting themselves should be no point. Well, I don't know. That isn't it. Well, so what was the? So you 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 said that you were you were kind of torn between two different things, right? Yeah. What was the other? The argument? other option is uh, Red Baron gets a point for pitting himself. Yeah, no. But uh, I don't like that. Yet. I don't like that. Yeah. Either. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, because in the chat they were saying opponent putting, pitting themselves should be no point. I think for for now, just to keep it simple, it's just victory via pitting yes. is what the uh, qualifier is for a point. That's, yeah, I so, would go along with that. Yeah. 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 All right, so All right. Uh, we're switching back to Beatles. We're looking for Valinor and Kill Cake. Going back over to Beatles, we need Valinor and Kill Cake. Oh, boy, that is going to be... Oh, my God. <laughs> Valinor versus Kill Cake. Oh. So I believe Puka, uh, my robot, after fighting uh, Double or Nothing, whoever wins between me and Double or Nothing fights the loser of this fight. Right. So I'm sure neither of us are very excited to fight either of these. Oh, They're both yeah. very terrifying. Oh, that's a great point. Oof. Okay, uh, Nick Dobrikov with Kill Cake in the blue, Valinor in the red. Once I get on the right camera, there we go. You got Valinor right there. These are two titans of the Arizona combat scene. Yeah, this is going to be, oh, brother. And they are about to clash. Oh, they are about to clash hard. If I hadn't already given away that Scare Pong award. All right, both of them have readied up. Three, two, one, fight. There they go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be brutal. Yep. Kill Kick getting spun up. Valinor runs across. Oh, Valinor actually gyro. Oh, oh, my God. Holy crap. Kill Kick bouncing all over the place, but it's still going. Wow. It is still going. Oh, my goodness. That, I felt that one in my soul. Wow. I felt it in your soul, too. Yeah. Thank you. Whew. Valinor versus Kill Cake. Valinor, huge hit. Oh, they are not slowing down at all. That could very well happen again. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and there it goes. I'm glad I take that camera down. Yeah, My say, goodness. I'm glad that's still there. Uh-oh, oh, but wait a minute. Kill Cake might be dead. Valinor is upside down, but still moving. Where's, where's Kill Cake? Oh, that's a tap. That's a tap from Kill Cake. Your winner, Valinor. Wow, what a match. <sighs> Luckily, the Ark Arena is sturdy. Amen to that. And uh, Tim and Pong are still alive. Wow. Oh my God. I'm glad we were recording at a higher frame rate on this. There's one. That was, that was, you know, that woke me up. That one there was like, yeah, okay, that's standard issue. Think, you know, stuff is getting real here, but, but it wasn't anywhere near like the next one. And it looks like here, like Kill Cake, Hard to tell if he's standing still or going 90 miles to nothing. I'm pretty sure it's the it's the latter. Couple of little, you know, just a little little kissy kiss there, and Ooh, that's, that's that's the, the one, one right there. Yeah, that one's gonna be. We're definitely switching to the other camera when we do the YouTube video. That's for sure. Like, we gotta get the the because I think that one actually hit my uh, my camera, the one that's uh, the eye in the sky. Yeah. So let's see if we go back. Oh yeah, that's one to watch with your 3D glasses. Boom. Look at that. Now we're shooting we're shooting at 60 frames per second. Look at how fast that thing, look at how many inches that thing has moved in 1 60th of a second. In a 60th of a second, dang near a dang near a foot. Yeah, that is that is some speed. He's moving is what I'm saying. Look at that. I love how he bounces off the wall and then hits Valinor and knocks him over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you're right. Boom. Whoa, look at that. Flips him off. over. Off the top rope. Oh, man. If he didn't lose, he could have won. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So uh, up next, we have Supreme Ruler and oh, Draco. Man. All right. Supreme Ruler versus Draco. Hopefully both forks are securely mounted this time. Right. But uh, Draco is one tough cookie. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, you left it in the oven for an extra 30 minutes. Tough. Oh, that's no good. Three, two, one, fight. There they go. Oh, okay. Draco, Draco just already kinda, just sits on ruler and says, hey, you can control me. That's fine. You can control me. No, nope, I'm not doing that one. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, but no, no. Uh, ruler practicing his pitting uh, approach. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's, that's, a, that's a dry run for the pit later. Yep, once that's down, that'll be uh, very bad for Draco. It will. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, that uh -oh. was a solid hit. 
Are they stuck together? They may be. I think they might be, yeah. Can, oh, no, no, they're, they're good. Free, they're they're free. good. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I love it when I don't have to do stuff. There you go. <laughs> I love sitting down. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Really recommend. Oh, totally. That fork isn't looking too good on Supreme Ruler. It's a little bent up. There's oh, a nice that, hold. That's a very good hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, no, he's released anyway. Hey, look at that. That's one thing everybody always says about him. He always releases. Boom. Up in the air, another hit by Draco on Draco, kind of. There's a nice pin against the wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Release that pin. Oh, again, practicing that pit technique. Yep, yep. I 30, can't wait to see the real deal. That's right. 30 seconds a little, a little bit early, but in 30 seconds, that pit's going to drop. Yeah, you never have too much practice, you know? That's right. Ooh, that left fork is not looking good. <laughs> not ideal for ground game. It is really not. Yeah, Dra definitely Draco losing that ground game taking there. Taking plenty of bites out of it. We got eight seconds until the pit drops. Six, five, four, three, two, oh, one. Oh, no. Oh, what? no. What? Oh, oh, he's alive. He's alive. Oh, there he, he goes. goes. Oh, 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 a volcano of foam. Wow, at what cost, though? Look at Ruler's forks. Oh, my goodness. He won the match, but wow. But at what cost? He's got some work to do. Wow. What a finish for that. My goodness. Well, the good news is now uh, Supreme Ruler has two pitting points. Two pitting points. Putting him in the lead to win the Slam Dunk Award at the Two end. points? Wait a minute. Yep. Can I give him just... Oh, wait, that's something oh, else. Yeah, yeah, Never yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are, all that's, right. That's a different P word. That's a, that's a whole different thing. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Leech versus Brick. Brick is a very hard hitting horizontal spinner. Mm. Leech with the hammer saw over there. I think we have, uh, unless I missed it, I haven't seen a really good cut yet. Yeah, me neither. Okay, hopefully this fight is the fight. So, red square ready, blue square ready. All right, both teams are ready. This and the match good one. Yeah, we've got a brutal horizontal spinner and a hammer saw. Very cool weapon type. Maybe an articulated saw is the proper term. Ooh. Uh oh, that wedge is not looking happy. Oh, no, it is not. A gyroscopic procession going on there with Brick. Finally managed to calm that down. Yeah, that wedge ain't looking so good. Uh -oh. oh, all right, now well, she's gone. I mean, it looks better on the arena floor, apparently. Oh, maybe he just wanted to protect our wall. Oh, sorry? He just wanted to protect our wall, you know? Oh, well, that was very nice of him. This area could use some more protection. Yeah. I'll donate my wedge to the arena. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Protecting the judges. Thank you, Chad. That's very nice of you. I'm sorry? I said thank you, Chad. That's really nice of you. That's very nice of him. Absolutely. But, oh, no, the oh. saw. <laughs> oh, the saw goes flying. All right. Um... I guess he's like a lifter whacker now. Lift, lift, wow. <laughs> no. But uh, Leech is not giving up. He's hanging in there. Oof. Huge hit on the part of Brig. Knocks, knocks oh, Leech up against the wall no. two, three times. Leech is very quickly running out of robot, and I don't know if there's enough left for a minute 40. But I'll tell you, he's still going. And Brick. Okay, all right. Brick is still running. Yeah, I don't, I don't see Brick stopping anytime soon. Wow, the top plate of Leech is off. Is that off, off? Okay, never mind. There okay, it is. There yeah, it goes. There it goes. <laughs> There's the tap out. There's wow. the tap out. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Your yeah. winner is, of course, Brick, the horizontal spinner of death. All right, so let's see. What are, what are we looking like in the brackets? Let's let's find out here real quick. Uh, that was uh, just that was three pounds, right? Yep, three pounds. Three pounds, okay. In the three pound Beatles, we've got, uh, let's see, we got Crescendo and Icky Mouse is coming up. Puka or Double or Nothing, that's our next fight. Noisy Boy and Go Wakamoli. Uh, yeah, and, and the winner between Puka and Double or Nothing is going to go on to fight Draco. Oh boy. Noisy Boy and Guacamole, the winner is going to go on to fight Lil Ragnarok. Crescendo and Icky Mouse, they get to go and fight up against Square Up. 
Still up in the uh, winner's bracket, of course, we got Supreme Ruler in versus Action Surge. That's coming up in round four. Uh, and Valinor and Wicked Twister as well. There we go. We got double or nothing in the blue square. And in the red square, we got Puka. Everyone is ready. Three, two, one, and the fight begins. Box rush by Double or Nothing up against Puka. Puka circling his prey. Oh, a huge hit by Puka. Throwing Double or Nothing up against the wall. Double or Nothing getting under him. Oof. Couple of exchanges there, double or nothing ramming through Puka. Again, trying to break break Puka's fist with uh, double or nothing's face. Sparks and whatnot. That is still on, I'll turn it off. Though. Let me know when you want it on. Okay. Oh, a huge hit there. Double or nothing tire going flying. Uh-oh. How many tires we got left? We got two tires, le uh, three tires left on double or nothing. There's the, so there's the fourth one. So we have all four tires. So just, yeah. Not on the robot. All right. Now, if, the, if we can last another 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds rather, then we're going to see the pit drop. And that's when everything changes. That's when, that's when Double or Nothing really shines. But in between here and there is 20 seconds worth of Puka. And you can see how that goes. Puka slamming, or throwing, throwing Double or Nothing up in the air. Landing with a thud. Here comes Puka again. A push and a shove. And in four seconds, that pit's gonna drop. And there goes the pit. All right. It is still anybody's game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful. Double or nothing, Puka. Wisely staying away from the pit. Absolutely giving Double or Nothing a hot supper on the other side. But, but Double or Nothing, uh-oh. Things just got quiet, but we've only got 25 seconds left in this match. So, who's going in the pit? Someone's going in that pit. And Puka is back alive. Okay. Puka Smear's back alive. Who's going in the pit? We got 10 seconds to figure it out. Looks like this one's gonna go the distance. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Woo. Woo. Oh my goodness! Oh! Wow! 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 That finish. How about that? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Puka. Dropping off double or nothing in the blue square. Oh, it looks like we're loaded up here. We got Noisy are. Boy and Wakamole. Go, Wakamole. Oh, Wakamole. Oh, Waka Wakamole. I'll work on my pronunciation. Yeah, no, you really need to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sure. We are ready to. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, and off they go. Noisy boy, taking his time getting over there. Guacamole, wasting no time to get over there. Noisy boy, living up to its name for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Right you are. Both of them playing the ground game so well that neither of the two can reach each other. <laughs> but when they do, there it is. A little flip. Uh, guacamole gets thrown up in the air by Noisy Boy. Noisy Boy. Oh, there's my problem. There we go. Oh. Let's see. Another big hit from Noisy Boy on Guacamole. There we go. My goodness, that is loud. 
Guacamole got himself turned over. That's nice. Good job. Another hit from Noisy Boy. Lining up and, oh, tips Guacamole oh. up on its front. Oh, so, that is a full stick. That is the least likely bot I would ever think to do the thing, but do the thing it has. Now the question is, will Noisy Boy release it? Or, or, ah, uh, that is the match. Noisy it. Boy will not be doing any such thing. That one goes to Noisy Boy. That one goes to Noisy Boy, there it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, back over here, we've got uh, David Rush with uh, which which Icky mouse? mouse? That would be Icky Mouse. That would be Icky Mouse. Thank and you so much. And Crescendo. Icky Mouse versus Crescendo. Okay. And here we go. Oh boy! Oh, a huge hit! Huge hit between Icky Mouse and Crescendo. Oh, Ow -ho! Oh, oh and no. Things suddenly got quiet. Is Icky still functioning? Is Icky Mouse still going? Okay, he's we've got a little still, bit of mobility. Still kind of going. Working up to it. Oh no, right. here comes Crescendo again. Another, another smack. Oh. oh. And now it's really quiet. Uh oh. So we got one mouse, one, well, Icky Mouse is still moving. We may have a, a, a self knockout here. Oh, no. no! Down goes Crescendo. And Icky Mouse moves forward. Congratulations, Icky Mouse. We've got uh, Ant Hyde versus Litigation Jackson. Litigation Jackson. Litigation Jackson. Yeah, the probably system. home star runner. Fan. There you go. Fans. It's Vegas versus Utah. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. So far, Utah's winning. <laughs> well, I but mean, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. judge a fight by one hit, though. Oh, you can't. You can't. Unless it's a really big hit. Oh, this is a really good one. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. There's a couple. I think Jackpot versus Tombstone. I think you could judge in one hit. Uh oh. It's not working. Uh-oh. The system is down. Uh-oh. Litigation Jackson. Oh, it's spinning, though. Come on, buddy. Spin, spin. Spin. Now make the wheels spin. Oh, we have suffered a legal breakdown. All right. We might have to start a knockout timer here. It looks like we already have a while ago. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, man. That's a knockout. Lady Justice may be blind, but the refs are not. Your winner, anti -ed. Your winner is anti -ed. Dang. I always want to say anticide. Goodness. That's uh when ants kill other ants, I think? Yeah, but it's also a uh, 150 gram flipper in the UK. Oh, oh well that's a lot to hear. It's got a pretty good pneumatic system in it. Oh really? I think it was the best uh, UK uh, ferry weight like ever. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Flipped other bots inches into the air. Oh yeah, oh, no, no. It was, uh, <laughs> It would roof at least half a foot. <laughs> at least half a foot. There you yeah. go. There you go. Um, and that, that's only because of the UK's uh, pressure rules. If he was allowed to do more pressure, right, um, he could have been bouncing people off the roof. Absolutely, yeah. But ant aside, yeah, definitely one of my favorite fairy weights. We had, I guess technically they're called ants over there, but you know what I mean. We had the good fortune to see uh, uh, robot extreme robots over there. What used to be robot wars. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw it in Cheltenham, and uh, which looks like Cheltenham, but isn't. It's Cheltenham. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just say but, it really fast. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we got to see, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Tom, I think it was. We got to see Tom from uh, Team Monsoon over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome host. Mr. Thank Brewster. You so yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely so, wonderful host over there. What do we got going on over here? Oh, we got Antide winning this fight. Now okay. he moves on to fight Trash Talker. That'll that, be a good one. That was in the uh, fairy. Ant -weights. Oh, Antweights. Yeah, well, oh, Antweights. There you go. Now we've got White Fang and OTG. OTG. I wonder what that stands for. Me too. I'm going to say Orange Tough Guy. Guy. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Entering the arena now is Orange Tough Guy. Orange Tough Guy. And I'm going to continue calling it Is that it what that. it stands for? Oh, I thought I was right. On the go? 
It is on the go. I, that's what I guessed earlier. Oh, okay, nice. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I like orange tough guy. <laughs> I like orange tough guy better. <laughs> on the butt. Okay, so. Versus White Fang. White Fang over there. Farther us Another away. staple in Arizona robotic combat. The Fangs 101 team has been participating in ARC since the beginning, basically. Oh, wow. And uh, they've won many an event. And I'm sure they're aiming to add another event to their collection of wins. They're off to, they're not off to a bad start, that's for sure. A couple of, a uh, couple of good hits on Osc on Orange the Grouch. Yep, yep. Uh, ostrich Taco Gang. Ostrich Taco Gang, yep. Would you, would you eat an ostrich taco? I mean, if the gang is all there, I'm going to do whatever they <laughs> say, the I guess. Do, you know? A whole gang of ostriches, what am I going to do? Yeah. Probably yeah, get kicked, that's what I'm going to do. I'm always down to try some weird food. Yeah? I got to try uh, shark tacos when Ooh. I was in old Mexico. Oh, wow. Huh. What was it like? Really good. <laughs> huh. Oh, but, hey, you know what? There's a robot fight here. There is. <laughs> a couple of really good hits there. White Fang. White Look Fang. Look at that drift wow. around the ball. Excellent driving. He has practiced that a lot. Crank up the Euro beat. Now it's driving with the weapon. Wow. Okay. I think it drives better with the wheels, though. Yeah. O Ostrich Tango Gang is like, hey, you know, hey, I'm, I'm over here, you know. Ooh. Oh, nice. Huge you flip. From White Fang. Claws digging in deep. <laughs> Another nice pop. I'm always down to try weird food. David with the understatement of the year. Okay, All right. that's, that's what chat says. I don't know. Who said that in chat? Uh, that would be uh, that would be Joy Nodos. Yep, yep, that would be Aaron. There we go. I've seen some of my cooking. Ah, I see. All right, well, so what's cooking over here is we've got uh, White Fang. Delivering blow after blow, massive hits everywhere, <laughs> specifically from White Fang. Oh. We also have eight <laughs> seconds until the pit drops. Uh-oh. So, of course, as always, it is still anybody's game in three. Ooh, we're getting close two, to the pit. It's about to one. open. And there Down goes, it goes the pit. Will it be White Fang? Will it be Orange Tango Groove? Will it be over the game? Or maybe he'll get lucky and often take gold. Ooh, very nice, very nice. 35 seconds remain. 35 seconds on the clock. Everybody's doing really good to stay away from the pit. I've been impressed with uh, OTG's durability. That's true. All these hits and uh, still going. Yeah. Oh, oh, another one. Flung into the wall, but again, like we were saying, still trucking. 15 seconds left. And it looks as though this may go the distance. The distance it shall. And that is a five, four, three, two, one. And that's the end of the match. All right. After three minutes, we will go to our judges at arena side. They will decide on a victor based off damage, control, and aggression. And how, and, uh, how far away they're from. Yeah. yeah. And quality of puns. Mm. Your winner by unanimous judge's decision is White Fang. Is White Fang. There it is. Congratulations, Team Fang 101. Lemon Pound Cake, built and driven by Toby of Team Border Bots. Wow, look at that gash right there in front of my camera. <laughs> You know, I don't think I've ever had pound cake. Am I missing huh. out? No. Oh, okay. No, you're not. No, you're really, you're really not. <laughs> All right, there he goes. Lemon pound cake with the box rush versus flower on. Doing a great job. Wow, what a pin! Five, four, three, two, one. Let him go. Excellent driving by Toby. That was incredible. That was really good. But Glaurong won't go down without a fight. Absolutely not. Uh -oh, oh, oh, no. Stuck the wall again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He is he's wiggling his way wiggle, out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, we're going to need some faster wiggles. Are we stuck? Oh, we're pinning. Four, three, two, one. Release. All right. They're both free. There we go. Lemon pound cake getting the upper hand, going in for another pin. Four, three, two, one. Release. 
saying, hey, you know, give your give your weapon a, ray, uh, a rest for a second. <laughs> Let me just push you into the side of the room. Save some battery. Give me some points. It's a win-win, kind of, yeah. if you think about it. Yeah. I'm helping you, you know? Yeah. Let me have another. Both bots over in the corner there. Oh, there's another pin. Five, Lemon pound four, cake. three, two, one. Release. Lemon pound cake backing Glaurung into the corner. And using their own weapon against them, sending him flying through the air. Mm -hmm. Lemon pound cake is just a pinning machine today. Absolutely. Here comes another Bam, one. <laughs> right into the corner nice again. Shove. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Glaurung was like, I bet I can get higher if I do it myself. And he'd be right. He would be correct. Another pin. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let him go. Dangerously close to that pit that's opening in four seconds. Three, two, one. And down, down goes the pit. Goes the pit. Cognito Hazard has been racking up control point after control point with all these pins. It may have, but this one is, uh, this one here is Lemon Pound Cake. What did I say? You said Cognito Hazard. Oh, whoops. I'm sure I've done that 20, 20, like 20 times here. Blau Ron. Toby robots. <laughs> I mean, Red Baron isn't even red. What are you going to do with that? Five. Up on its side. Oh, no, no, we're good. Oh, no. Oh, uh -oh. Okay. Don't again, do free. that. Don't do that. We're getting close to the pit. Don't do any of that. Careful. We have 20 seconds remaining in this match, but of course, still anybody's game. Will both robots remain on this same Z level of <laughs> relative space? The answer Five, is probably four, yes. Three. And we have 10 seconds left in this match. We are coming in. Five, four, three, two, one, release. And two, one, zero. And that the match. is the end of the match. All right, so this has gone the distance. It's going over to the judges. That was a fast uh, decision. That was a fast decision. <laughs> Your winner by unanimous judge's decision is Lemon Pound Cake. There we go. Phenomenal driving. Absolutely. Toby giving us a crash course in Control Bot 101. There it is. Now we're going to switch to some plastic ants. We're looking for Shuffle Go Burr and nobody. It's a tie. Shuffle Go Burr. I see Shuffle Go Burr. No. But where shuffle. is nobody? It's a tie. Shuffle oh, go. there we go. That's a different Shuffle Go Burr than, uh, than we saw last year. Yeah, it's a lot less green. It is a lot less green. This is, this is the Shuffle Go Burr business class right here. This yeah. Is, this, is, this is it went away to school, you know, had a couple wild years, but then got, got serious about studies and came back ready like if for... If you look at a McDonald's from, like, you know, 1980 and a McDonald's now. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, no googly eyes. How does that even work? It's okay. The team shirt still has googly eyes. Oh, there you go. Needs to be updated to a black shirt, I suppose. But All right. So there's Shuffle Go Burr right there versus Nobody It's a Tie right there. Three, two, one, and the Up match has go. begun. Wow, Shuffle Go Burr is just giddy with excitement. <laughs> Ready to charge into battle. Yee! But uh, Nobody It's a Tie ripping pieces off. Wow. Or uh, those pieces of uh, Nobody that got ripped off. I'm not sure. But, you know... That's the one shirt. Oh, oh no, that, that's that was piece a piece of, of nobody. That was a piece of nobody. Yep. That is one sure way to kick off uh, Shuffle Go uh, Shuffle Go Burr. And it's burning. But it is burning something fierce. Here it comes. Shuffling, burring, charging like an excited hamster. Absolutely. <laughs> it really is. Oh, this is There's a lot of pieces. Everywhere. Yeah, our pieces flying off of that sucker. Yep. Shuffle absolutely. Shuffle Go Burr is brutal this year. Yep. I told you, it went away. Got it. Started, started drinking protein shakes. Now here it is. Bigger and badder than ever. Absolutely. <coughs> Shuffling and burring its little heart out. One minute remaining. Uh, it's nobody, or nobody to tie is a lot less of a robot than it was when it started. It really is. But uh, it's still anyone's game. Trying to get to the last little antenna there. I Did believe it. in the lone antenna. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't. Oh, it doesn't look very uh, good. That's, that's not a safe belief there. Yeah, I don't know if I believe <laughs> there it. There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's oh, going. Oh, that's yeah. not just the antenna. That's the entire top. <laughs> and then the top fell off. Yeah, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh-oh. 
As a reminder, if a lipo gets ejected from the robot, we end the match immediately. Oh, yeah, that's true. We'll have to uh, see if that happens. We don't want to cause any unnecessary fires. The necessary ones, we gotta, you know, yep, they're necessary. Gotta keep those. Gotta keep those. But the unnecessary ones, no. Ooh, there's a pin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release your pin, and down goes the pit. Uh-oh. Here goes the pit. Will we see a pitting? The great equalizer. Oh, I don't know. This is now this is where Shuffle Go Burr really shines. But uh, it, nobody, it's a tie. It's showing some great control. Oh, uh, it's also oh, showing I innards. I think that wire should be attached. Yeah, uh -oh. that's, that is a tap out. There it is. All right. Oh. Your winner by knockout, Shuffle Go Burr. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle Go Burr takes the win. There it is. And we got the air horn. Look Excellent. At look at that. Does that the, look like the face of mercy? Uh, no, oh, it does not. not. That, is the, that is the face of a fearsome warrior. I would not want to run into that in a dark alley. Absolutely not. I or mean, a lit alley. At least you could hear it coming. Yeah. <laughs> shuffle, 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 shuffle. What is that? Ooh, I'd, I'd watch the Shuffle Go Burr horror movie <laughs> where you just hear like faint shuffling steps in the dark. <laughs> what was that? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Uh, shuffle. Did you hear that? <laughs> the shuffling is coming from inside the house. What? You've got to get out now. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> All right. We've got uh, Half Sharp, built by Banshee team member Caleb Hecht. Woo! And this bot is Caleb Hectic. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm proud of it. I'm not you know backing what? off on that. No, no, don't, don't. You got, you got to play that one through. Wow, that's that's magical looking. Uh, All right. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just how uh, half sharp runs. That is that is how half sharp do right there. All so right. You can direct some of that energy into its opponent instead of the arena in itself. Can he do such a thing? The answer will probably surprise all of us. Wheel thing getting his drum up to speed. Both the robots kind of having a hard time for, you know, different reasons, of course. Yeah. Like her robots to attack the other person. Wow. Oh. That was a great gymnastics. Oh, my ride. God. Oh, and there goes the weapon. <laughs> all right. Um, Wheel thing, you're doing a great job. You're doing great, man. You're doing great. Top notch. All right. Was that a tap out? Are we still going? Uh, how? That's a tap out, That's yeah. Tap out. That okay. is a tap out. Well, your winner, without doing literally anything, the wheel thing. <laughs> that was definitely a Caleb Hectic fight. That was, you know what? Take it. That was a Caleb Hectic fight. Absolutely. I'll even join you on that one. Yeah. Welcome to Team Hectic. <laughs> oh, goodness. But uh, let's see. We're going to fast forward a little bit. We're Unfortunately, fast. that is the end of the road for Half Sharp. Yeah. The thing will advance on to fight Mr. Grimm in our next loser's bracket match. There was a lot of staring uh, meaningfully uh, at each other between the bots there. Sometimes all you have to do is lay low. That's exactly right. Yep, yep. It was all part of his plan. Um, well, I mean, if that was his plan, then <laughs> it sure. Worked. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it's out of frame. It's back in frame. We start spinning up again, and it stands up. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Wait a minute. Look at this. Look at the gyroscopic procession on that. It's spinning. And then it becomes like a full-body hammer saw. Yeah, on the floor. Bam. And then, bam. It, <laughs> wow. Look at that. So we were talking about, like, because we're shooting this at 60 frames per second, right? So as soon as this touches, there's one frame. It's already shot back the other direction, right? And so compare between there and there, that was two frames. So what would that be? Whatever. That's a 60th of a second is what I'm getting at between there and there. And that weapon has traveled a foot already. <laughs> a 60th of a second. Crazy what these robots can do. Absolutely. What so do we got here? We're looking for Cognito Hazard and Smurf Beater. Cognito Hazard and Smurf Beater are next. And then Meanie Mouse and Brazen, followed by Low Tide and Gimli. Oh, they're readying up. Let me get out of yeah, this Cognito here. Cognito Hazard and Smurf Beater are ready to go. Let's roll. Here we go. All right. 
Cognito Hazard playing the ground game uh, pretty well. Yep. Getting under Smurf Beater, preventing a beating himself. That's right. But that's only going to make Papa angry. Papa. I thought you said Popeye. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Maybe yeah. Popeye's a Cognito Hazard fan. A may or, uh, maybe. A uh, Smurf Beater fan. <laughs> I can't do it. That was more <laughs> quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, uh, that was a pretty nice lift by Cognito Hazard. Throw, we're raising the roof. There you go. Toby is having the worst luck with these wall seams. Putting his hand in the air, waving him like he just doesn't want to continue with the match. Yep. He's um, trying to get himself pushed away there. Yeah, we might be forced to do a knockout counter, which is very unfortunate. Is there, Unless we, uh, Smurf Peter wants to free him, but that doesn't, doesn't seem like the he case. Doesn't, he doesn't got to, but he could. He doesn't got to. Uh, yep, yeah, might have to start a knockout timer here. Off it goes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. That's a knockout. That is a Your knockout. Your winner by very unfortunate stuck robot. <laughs> Yeah, that was very His unfortunate. Smurf beater. We need an award for the most unfortunate loss. The the bright news though is this was a winner's bracket match, so uh, Toby is still in it. Cognito Hazard still has another chance. Oh, there you go. Okay, well there we go. We're looking at the bright side. Our here. day has improved. Here we go. We got Warpath versus Shuffle, Shuffle goes squee. Goes squee. And away they go. There it goes, squeeing. Warpath is on his warpath. Oh, oh my look god. At the googly eyes. <laughs> look at this. Oh wow. <laughs> That is the face of death and destruction. Oh, they're staring at each other. It's a stare-down contest. Oh, wow. Who's going to blink first? Uh, I don't think any of them. No oh. eyelids. Yeah, that makes it too easy. Yep. <laughs> Lack of eyelids is OP. You're all disqualified. No, you're not. Keep going. <laughs> all right, this is definitely one of the fights of all time. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look uh -oh. at this pushing by uh, uh, Warpath. Oh, well, on, on a Warpath. There they are. Yeah. Uh, pushing, pushing their little hearts out. <laughs> the uh, the funny thing is, I, I believe Shuffler Go Squee weighs more than yeah. Warpath. Uh, right. 50% more. I was just thinking that, yeah. Do what? Density is something magic. 225? 200? 225? It'd be, uh, whatever, 150 divided by 2. I don't number. 75. Yeah, 225. Okay, yeah. There we go. 75 plus 150, yeah. Quick maths. Look at me go. Math expert over here. That's what I am. <laughs> we just had Tape Tech Tim audibly, audibly groan. At <laughs> 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 All right, Warpath getting another scoop there. Putting those uh, coat hanger bars to work. We're uh, halfway through this fight. Can you believe it? 20 seconds. We're going to have that pit drop. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Oh, boy. Is Warpath bigger than the pit? No. Maybe? Could I don't you, know. We're going to sit on the edge and just let it drop on you. <laughs> just I for know science. I don't want to risk it, but I kind of want to see. It's for science. So that pit's going to drop in three, two, one. Now we have a pit. Oh, the pit has been opened. And they are staring each other down. Ooh, oh, close. Careful, Warpath. Shuffler. You're playing with fire. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Anything can happen. Okay, here we go. David oh, and Goliath. No, oh, no. oh. Oh, no. Don't do it. Oh, listen to those feet. Chugga, 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 chugga. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Squee, squee. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So Squee has got got Warpath back into the corner. Twenty seconds remaining on the clock. Still anybody's game, of course. Warpath, dangerously close to that pit, but ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's, that's the match. match. And now that goes the distance. So now have fun, judges. Yeah, have fun with that. Yeah. That, so uh, in the chat, they're saying tough call on that one. I think it is going to be a tough call. They are definitely uh, doing some deliberation here. Okay, we have a winner announced. Here we go. Your winner by unanimous judges' decision is Warpath. Warpath. Those mini pushes must okay. have been putting in work. 
Okay, Warpath takes the win. We there hate we to see uh, Shuffle Go Squee go, but we still have the memories we made along the way. Aww. All right, in the blue square, we've got Gimli. Red square, we've got Low Tide. This should be a good one. Three, two, one, and off they go. Gimli comes screaming out, <laughs> and Low Tide is like, get out of my box, get out of here. What are you doing? Oh, doing a little head spin there on the part of Low Tide. Low Tide gonna, gonna back off, regroup for a little bit, <laughs> consider its life choices. Swing and a miss on, on Gimli. Gimli's just, you know, bot stuff. <laughs> I like that they look so mismatched, even though you know they're not. That's right, that's right. Get a little bit there. Wait, that should be better. All right, low tide, lining up the shot. It looks like the shot it belongs to Gimli, if I'm not mistaken. Gimli, give him a little tappy tap there to low tide. Another hit from Gimli. Low Tide taking a breather there. And he's back, refreshed, ready to go. <laughs> they do look completely <laughs> like different weight classes. Don't yeah, they? they don't look like they should be competing in the same weight class. Not at all. But you know what I gotta say, Gimli's holding his own there. Absolutely. Gimli is absolutely holding its own. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. His own self up. He's holding his own self up, absolutely. Oh, hey, there we go. Fantastic. Uh, Self-writing ability there. Just remind, just remember, the winner of the headstand contest is the loser of the robot contest. <laughs> and, uh, I think, I think Lotide gave a little, a little assistance there. That was nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, going head-to-head -head here. A little bit. Oh! The pit Into goes the down pit. and in goes Gimli. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. Low Tide is our winner. Absolutely. Low Tide takes the win. There we go. That is, in fact, the uh, the voice of the uh, one and only world-famous award-winning Art Ninja. <laughs> they were asking in the chat. Mwah. Mwah. All right, we'll get, we'll get a little instant replay here. Let's uh, scroll through here, see if we can get over to... I, I almost wonder if it's a relief for David since he's doing quadruple duty here. That's he's true. He's tracking scores, he's, he's fighting bots, he's co-hosting. He Julianne's fries, wafer thin. Absolutely, it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. People come up to me all the time, tears in their eyes and say, sir... That man can Julianne some robots. <laughs> can Julianne some robot fries. Okay, right there. Yeah, they, so here's, it was all evenly matched right here until, uh, yeah, until Low Tide just kind of helped, helped Gimli off into the sunset there. So polite. Very, very polite. Let me help you out, friend. All right, well, they're, well, they're working all that out. We're working out who's coming up next. Uh, I want to take a second and uh, remind you guys, number one, that this here uh, is all brought to you on behalf of the Sin Shop. Sin Shop is a maker hackerspace in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. Uh, the shop is open to all of our members, so hey, if you're ever in the Vegas area, stop by and check out the shop. Head over to sinshop.org forward slash discord, and you can find out all that and much, much more. Also want to let you know that we are live uh, on our live stream here, uh, twitch.tv forward slash sinshop every Monday and Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Also want to take a second to uh, thank this event sponsors. We've got Combat Ready Robotics. They're responsible for the uh, space that we are currently in. Finger Tech Robotics uh, has uh, sponsored some of the prizes that uh, we'll be receiving tonight. Team Small Robots uh, also supporting some of the prizes. And I uh, want to let you know also, if you go to teamsmallrobots.com and use the code ARC20 on all your purchases, you'll get 20% off. So. It's a bargain at half the price, but you don't get half the price. You get 20% off if you use the code ARC20. Three, two, one, and the match begins. Here they go. Parmesan knife versus bricklet. Oh, hey, hey there you go. Okay. Yeah, welcome back, David. It's good to be back. Yeah. All right, so yeah, Parmesan knife versus bricklet. 
a mighty vertical spinner. And Bricklet. Bricklet. Which has two knives. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Two is knives. It, is but it dead or is it stuck? I can't tell from the angle. Zero moving wheels. Let's see, can we get a top down? What do we got there? Parmesan desperately trying to free him. We started a KO timer. Oh, there oh, we go. Freedom. Freedom, there we go. That's good. Yeah, Brickley. No, no unfortunate loss this time. There oh, we no, go. Pin as a thank you present. <laughs> Thanks for freeing me. Here's the wall. Thanks for freeing Exactly, yep. Parmesan, able to, Parmesan knife able to uh, right itself. There's a pin. Got a pin from Bricklet. He escapes so. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. A little little bump and a nudge there from uh, Parmesan knife. Ooh. Oh, no. Did we lose a knife? Uh oh. Bricklet is only half armed now. Uh oh. At 50% power, will that be enough? The There's answer. a pin. Oh, no, wait, we have both of the knives. Oh, what was that then? I don't know. The answer just makes surprises. <laughs> Maybe a back plate from Bricklet? Maybe. Well, it doesn't look like it's naked back there. I don't know. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Looks like a broken weapon. Uh-oh. Is Parmesan... Parmesan knife, can you move? Parmesan, can Aww. you hear me? Bricklet trying oh. to return the favor from the generosity he received earlier. Looks like we're doing a KO timer, though. There's one of those. Can you magically come back to life? Uh-oh. And in three, two, one. Nope. All oh. right, that is a knockout. Your oh, winner, he... Bricklet. Oh, I was hoping you guys were going to gonna pit, drop the pit. They would have both gone into the pit. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Missed an opportunity, but that's all right. That's Maybe all next right. time. Maybe next time. All right, so your winner is Bricklet, right? That's right. Bricklet takes the win. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is the face of a champion right there. So Bricklet moves on to fight Warpath, and then the winner of that fight takes on Gimli. All right, that is, uh, what do we got there? Trash, a trash locker. There you go. And Antide? No. Uh, trash talker and Antide, yep. It is Antide, okay. Off they go. And the match begins. Anhai just does that in the first three seconds. Very wow. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Okay. Wow. Trash Talker taking some chunks out of Anhai, but, uh, oh, he might have ripped the uh, drive side. Uh oh. It's, oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. That is a tap out. That is a tap out. Trash Talker wins an awfully brutal match there. Wow. That was fast. What on earth just happened? <laughs> All right, well, Anthide kind of set itself up as uh -huh. a sitting duck, to which uh, Trash Talker took full advantage of. That's a nice direct hit to the left side drive, which is now down. And from there, I guess, uh, the folks from Utah decided that was that. Yeah, it looks like he, m he might have knocked something loose, because I didn't see Anthide moving under its own power much there. Let me come back a little bit here. Okay, still moving, still moving, no longer moving. Trash Talker advances, and Antide is now sent to the oh. loser's bracket. All right, Lemon Pound Cake closest to the camera in the blue square, and in the red square we've got... White Fang. White Fang, there you go. Three, two, one, and off they go. It's robot rumbling time. Coming on out. Nice hit the, by White Fang. It was a great ro box rush, too, by Lemon Pound Cake. Yeah. Both bots doing pretty well. There you go. Pound Cake showing some fantastic control and agility. Look at that. Zigzagging all over the place, trying yep. to find position. Bobbing and or weaving. Oh, in the face. nice hit by White Fang. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Are we stuck in the wall? Again. Not again. Toby. Toby. Why is it you? Toby. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. There we go. Graciously freed by White Fang. Lemon pound cake corralling White Fang. Yeah. Hurting him like a uh, uh -oh. like a sheepdog. Oh, okay. oh hung up for a second dead. there. Yeah. I thought it was dead. 
I don't know if they got high centered or what, but yeah, yeah back in action now. Nice solid ram there by uh, Lemon Pound Cake. Yeah, absolutely. Putting the pound in pound cake for sure. <laughs> Look at this, being oh. really careful not to uh, release the grip. Wow. Go out wearing White Fang as a hat. Five, four, three, two, oh, look at that bolt. one, release. Hope that bolt holds. Maybe a little Loctite on that bad boy. Very dangerous hat. <laughs> very dangerous, yes. The forbidden hat. We got 20 seconds until the pit drops. That might spice things up. Yeah. Just might. A little bit of drifting there from White Fang. Cue the Euro beat. Uh-oh. Right. Lemon Pound Cake, are you alive? You're twitching uh -oh. a little bit, but he's twitching. not movement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's twitching, uh -oh. but he we might have to start a knockout timer. Oh, uh, I think that's coming. All right, we have a knockout in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knockout. Your winner by KO, there it White is. Fang. All right. On the left of your screen, we've got uh, axolotl questions. On the right, we've got the uh, the world famous Shuffle Go Burr. This is a rematch. This is a rematch from when? From June. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is a rematch. Serves axolotl one in June. I believe we'll see that's if right. Things change this time. I don't know. Or Brandon makes it uh, clear that that first time was not a mistake. Oh, here we go. Not a fluke. We shall see. And off they go. We've got shufflers going burr. We've got drums going burr. We've got questions being axolotled in the month of December. <laughs> wow. It just, just keeps going. Oh, yeah. A lot of burr going on. It's oh, also yeah. Cold, out. <laughs> cold for Arizona, so you know, like <laughs> low 70s. Low 70s, 70s exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. Very frigid weather. Oh, burr. I need a coat. Um, hey, I have one. Saw a piece of something fly off. That might have just been debris from the last fight. As well, question shoving around Shuffle Go Burr. Shuffle Go Burr not really taking it lying down, though. Shuffle Go Burr pushing back. Absolutely not. This is, uh, this is a pretty close cool fight. No, no big hits yet. No, not yet. Next law of questions. Trying to get up to that spinner there. Maybe trying to get a pin as well. Getting Shuffler Go Burr into a corner. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Being pumped up on its, uh, on its side there. Oh. Okay, I thought it was dead. I was worried there. Axe Law questions. Spinning up their, their uh, spinner. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. A bolt from something just ejected itself. Oh, that's probably something that they needed. Looks like Axolotl's weapon is down. Uh-oh. He's going to be Axolotling uh, uh, questions about uh, tightening the bolts. Shuffle Go Burr has him right where she wants him. Oh, boy. Oh, but then again, Axolotl. Okay, what's going to happen? Stand still. Looks like we're getting a pin. Question still. mark. And then we've got six Five, seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release your pin. And down, also, down goes the pit. Down goes the pit. Okay, here we go. What do we got? We got ask a lot of questions. Putting himself in front of the pit, in between the pit and Shuffle Go Burr, but then Shuffle Go Burr getting the heck away from that pit. Is Axolotl going to push Shuffle Go Burr into the pit? Shuffle Go Burr is a heavy robot, and it's uh, quite a long distance away. I'm not so sure, but Axolotl sure is trying. 30 seconds remaining. And as we count down. There's another pin. Five, four, three. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Shuffle Go Burr escapes <laughs> the pin. Uh-oh. Ooh, Shuffle there's a nice hit. Shuffle Go Burr takes a piece of Axolotl questions off. Shuffle Go Burr is not here to mess around this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. This month, I should say. Here to shuffle and burr. We've got five seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one. That's the match. And that is the match. There it is. Wow. 
A very tough judge's decision coming up there. Going to be some serious deliberation going on there. Absolutely. Luckily, this is a winner's bracket fight, so it isn't over for the loser. Oh, that's right. So this was at the uh, at the start of the match. Okay. Oh, it looks like we have a winner. Really? Wow. All right, you're a winner by split decision. Oh. Axolotl questions. Huh. Okay, Axolotl questions. Winner of that last match. Axolotl questions takes the win there. Oh, we are ready here in the arena. Mr. Grimm versus the wheeled thing. There you go. All right, and off we go. Get both of these weapons up to speed. See if we can get a nice big weapon on weapon shot. That drum on uh, wheeled thing seems to be really uh, low to the ground, hitting the floor sometimes. That's what it sounds like, yeah. But uh, Mr. Grimm coming in with that horizontal blade, trying to get some hits where he can. I was talking to these guys yesterday, and I learned that uh, when they first designed the robot, Mr. Grimm was so underweight that they switched to uh, Beetle Drive to put in the robot. Oh, wow. they like, oh, we have all this extra weight. Let's make the drive just as crazy as possible. Oh, nice. Okay. And uh, it's really paying off. It's a nice, zippy, pushy robot. It really is. Literally driving circles around Wheeled Thing. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. Wheeled uh -oh. Thing, are you alive? Wheeled Thing. If the wheels aren't turning, then they're just kind of part of the body, you know? Now it's just a thing. Now it's What's just a thing. What is a wheel that does not spin? Oh, wow. We're getting deep over here. Oh, right, it's too deep. Tap. He got Your out of it. winner, Mr. Grimm. Mr. Corbin, right this way, sir. Ooh, I wonder what wacky thing he just won. All right. So, this is, I actually kind of won it a long time ago. Now, this is an award for the farthest driven distance. Yeah. Now, there were others that came from further, but they flew. You drove. How long did you, how far did you, how long did you drive? Uh, a total of like ten and a half hours. A total of ten and a half hours. Did anybody drive more than ten and a half hours to get here? I didn't think so. So you, my friend, win the Road Warrior Award. Oh, here we go. For your long distance dedication right there. That is the Road Warrior Award. Witnessed. There we go. Thank you. How does this make you feel? It makes me feel uh, like my driving means something. There you go. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, we certainly appreciate you coming all the way down here. Absolutely. You bring some fun robots here, and we're always happy to see them. Absolutely, yeah. Speaking of fun robots, looks like we have Goober and Nobody. It's a tie in the arena. Oh, well, well that was quick. Go ahead and hit your ready buttons. Goober, or sometimes, sometimes known as Goober. Gaoob, Gaoob, yes. This and is, of course, a uh, loser's bracket match, so the loser of this fight will be going home. Both of these bots have fought in hard all day today. They and have no indeed. No one wants to stop yet. But unfortunately, someone's got to. Such is life. Indeed. All right, nobody to tie lining up on Goober. Goober trying to position that horizontal spinner. Oh, oh it's a great it effect. looks like. Looks like it positioned it quite well, thank you very much. Absolutely. There goes the front plow with nobody. There's there goes nice some blue chunk. Some more parts there. Oh. Oh, nice shove into the wall using uh, Goober's own weapon against him. Yep. Those hits hurt. Might have done a little damage to the weapon. We're having some cogging issues. Oh, now we're back up to speed. There we go. And some more pieces of uh, nobody at a tie. Is it my imagination, or does that weapon look crooked? Mm. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know. We'll say I it's fine tell. until uh, further evidence is brought up. There you go. Well, I think Exhibit A might be the fact that it's no longer moving. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not good for their case. Mm -mm. No, it's not. Not necessarily dispository, but you know, still. Worthy of further investigation. Okay, so nobody hits a tie, pushing, pushing around uh, Goober. 
nice little hold there for nice nobody. Nice five, four. Oh, escaped from the pin. Very nice. Squiggled on out of there. In a mere 15 seconds, we're going to see the uh, pit drop. And that's coming up in five, four, three, two, one, and down goes the pit. And the pit has opened. The gaping maw. Of the Ark Arena. Of the Ark Arena. In a world. Where the arena can eat you. <laughs> Every robot is a sandwich. <laughs> Every robot is a sandwich. Oh, uh -oh. Here comes a nice push by nobody. It's a tie. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, Doesn't Uber want this to be a tie. To escape just in time. We got 30 seconds left. Time to make some lasting impressions on the judges. Or make a big impression in the bottom of the pit. There's another pin. Five, four, three. Oh, out again. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's going on there? Are we stuck? Are we stuck? Nobody gets a tie. I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that looks stuck to me. Oh, no. Oof. Trying to work its way out of there. That's and that a is it. Very unfortunate. Was that a knockout or was that the end of the match? Oh, end of the match. My bad. That was end of the match. Okay, so this yeah, has gone the distance. Knockout. So that is the judge's decision to clarify. The okay. match is not over. So... That's got to that's got to really make it a little more complicated because it ended incapacitated. Yeah, but, but it, they're still alive. They're you know, still alive. So right. It's a it's a three minute match. It's not a three minute and ten second match. Right. So it's uh, you judge it as what would have happened or what did happen. So 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 you, you, what you're saying is you judge it on what did happen. So they yeah. they're not they're not out because they were in a bad spot, right? They yeah, could have it's, theoretically. It's not, it's not an automatic loss. Right. But they were stuck while right. they were being counted out, so exactly. that goes against them. Right. Uh, so the winner is nobody. Uh, it's a tie. Oh, the winner is nobody. It's a tie. So Very everybody wins. Or everybody loses. I'm not sure how that works. I'm fine with this robot winning over and over again because it's funny announcing it every single time. I do enjoy it. It's the little things, you know? There's Action Surge. You find yourself in a dark, mysterious metal cage. You look around you, but see no opponent. Roll perception. <laughs> well, the pit is actually the mouth of a mimic. He got a we got a what? 14. He got a 14. Oh, okay. All right. He got a 14 on his roll. Okay. Uh, you notice a mysterious cam lifter-like creature emerging from the shadows. <laughs> roll initiative. I cast disqualify. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dang it, I rolled a two. Ah, dang. Oh, well. It's okay, I've seen others roll higher. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well. All right, I've been given word that Meanie Mouse is unable to get the robot fixed. Oh, gotcha. I was wondering, I thought that was them. to me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? I, I'm sorry. You know, I thought it was funny. Okay, here we go. Action Surge and Supreme Ruler going at it. Here That's we go. Guy. Action Surge versus Supreme Ruler. And here we go. Supreme Ruler doing what Supreme Ruler do. Lift. Lift fold. and separate. Fold. And fold. Wow, oh my that. goodness. Just completely stuck. Action Surge just trying to get him into space, but Ruler is just all over him. Yep, absolutely. The drum's up to speed though. Yeah, drums up to speed, but we'll see. We'll see how well that works. Oh my God! Oh, that's awesome. There's a okay. Pin. Five, four, three. Nope. Nope. We're oh, free. Oh, oh. Nice punch by Action Surge. His Action Surge down the drive side though. Oh, okay. It seems that Action Surge has so much ground clearance that whenever Jeff lifts him, he can just back up. Ah. Perhaps we'll the... stop Jeff from taking him around to tour of the arena. Are we witnessing the end of the ground game? Probably not. Monster truck meta. Oh, I'm down for it. All right, but for right now, Action Surge. Wait. 
Yeah, action surge got thrown into the uh, into the wall there. Supreme ruler again another doing what's up. Another throw, another shove into the wall. There it is. All in all, it's just another shove in the wall. All right. In a mere 20 seconds, that pit is going to drop. And that's when Supreme Ruler well, rules Supreme. Usually. 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 That pit's going to go down in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down goes the pit. Uh oh. Here we go. At least in theory. In theory. Down goes the pit. Where did the pit go? Where's the pit? Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm sure any moment now, <laughs> that pit will drop. Yeah, this is easily the worst thing that's happened to Jeff in the past several months, isn't it? He's like, come on, where's my pit? <laughs> <laughs> where's that pit at? Oh, man. All right, well, 30 seconds remain. Oh, thank you. Luckily for action surge, the uh, pit seems to be malfunctioning. Somebody kick the pit, will you? Yeah, it looks like uh, Arena Tech Kelly Small is running over to uh, the other side. Oh, careful, that thing might open it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There, there we go. And here's the pit. All right. <laughs> wow. So, winner of the most patient award. <laughs> Another fantastic display of control bot driving for Jeff Waters Three. Jr. Yeah, I'll just I'll just hold on to this until you're ready. You know. I'll just, okay. So we're taking a look at the three pound bracket here. We've got Square Up versus Icky Mouse, uh, Draco versus Puka. Lil Regna Regnarok versus Noisy Boy. Kill Cake versus Brick. We also have Valinor versus Wicked Twister. But it looks like uh, we're going to have Draco versus Puka, it looks like. Let's see what else we got here. On the one pound ants, we got Trash Talker and White, White Fang are going to face off to see who wins the uh, winner's bracket in the one pound ants. OTG and Glaurung. The winner of that will face Ant Hide. Brazen and Bad Doctor will face off. And the winner of that will fight Lemon Pound Cake. Over in One Pound Plants, we're going to have Axlaw Questions versus Smurf Beater to see who wins the winner bracket. Loser of that will drop down to Losers Round 4. Uh, actually, they'll... I don't know where they'll go. But then we'll have, we also have Shuffle Go Burr and Mr. Grimm, Cognito Hazard. And we're going to head back to the arena now. And we've got Puka versus Draco. Blue Square is ready. How's Draco doing? Draco is also ready. Three, two, one, and off they go. Puka comes storming out of the gate with that box rush. Puka sounds very angry. Face to face up against, up against Draco. Oh, the sparks go flying. Of course. Here they come right in front of our camera. Another tap on the back. Puka separating Draco from his wheel. Draco, Draco's just gonna drive on the other one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That looks like a battery exposed, and that is a tap out. Yeah, that, that, uh, that one's pretty clear. That, that was Puka is the winner there. Yeah, we can go ahead and we, we don't even need to speed it up. We can just do this in real time. There you go. <laughs> Puka comes over, wins the box rush. Gets a couple of really good hits on, uh, there we go, at the back of that thing. I think that's probably, oh, right there especially. That's probably where that back plate got really weak. Yeah, you can see it lifting up there, actually. Here, let's go back. Right about, there we go. Okay, very slowly. We're on our way downtown. There you go. You can see that the back back of uh, of uh, Draco is already open at this point. Boom. More hits to it. There's only so much, you know, no matter how much you got that thing screwed on there, there's only so much it's going to take. So great driving, though, on the part of Draco. Absolutely fantastic driving, you know, cruising around on one wheel. And so there, yeah, he loses a wheel. He doesn't even care. He's just going to drive on the one. Boom. He's still got, he, look at this, look at this. He's just using gyroscopic procession to keep himself on the one wheel. Look at that. <laughs> just driving all over the place. 
Wow, that robot's so cool. Uh, which one? Both of them. Both of them are, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, there's where the back opens up, and then, then we got batteries yeah, exposed. I saw the battery, and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, battery, battery, battery. Hold up. No, thank you, sir. About to get extremely spicy in there. Yep, yep, no, thank you. Ooh, look at that. We have a little Ragnarok with a Santa hat. Oh, this is very festive. Yeah. It's uh, just about that time of year. Oh, in the Christmas season there. Yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Arizona Robotic Combat. There you go. Have Don't a... know what to buy that special friend of yours in life. How about something off the Team Small Robots merch page? Well, you know, I would, but it's just 20% too expensive. Oh, well, have I a deal for you? You do? I do, yes. With the code ARC20, uh -huh. you can reduce the price of your purchase by... You want to guess? I, I don't. 20%. Wow. Wow. That's the number I said before. Now it's the exact opposite. It cancels out, and now you are forced to buy my merch. Dang it. Dang well it. played. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. All right. Well, I guess everybody has to go over to TeamSmallRobots.com and purchase your merchants today. Purchase your merchants. I like that. Purchase your, I just came up with it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So it looks like Kevin and Nick are both ready. Little Ragnarok versus Noisy Boy. Let's get it on. Three, two, one, and here we go. Two deadly weapons uh -oh. up to speed. This is going to be a brutal fight. Oh, oh. We're already starting off oh, with a brutal hit. Oh, my. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Manta. Manta, did you lose drive? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like Nick's saying, go ahead and hit go me. Go ahead and hit me. Kevin's okay. Like, yeah, absolutely. He's saying, go ahead. Is he going to do it? He is not going to oh, do it. Looks like the timer ran out. That is a knockout. Your winner, Little Ragnarok. Wow. Wow. Oh, One wow. And done. One massive hit. Yeah. That was it. Wow. Did we have a... I don't, I don't know if we did that. Hmm. No. All right. So Little Ragnarok advances on... Luckily for Nick, though, if he wins his next fight with Kill Cake, Kill Cake will fight Little Ragnarok and possibly avenge Noisy Boy. Right. So here's here's the shot. This is the one and done. Boom. Now that you would you would think if you just watched that and heard me say one and done, you would think that Little Ragnarok yeah. was having a long drive oh, yeah. home. Yeah, Ragnarok was the one done there, but but no, no, the one that's done. Noisy Boy. He never he moved quiet. again. Yeah, if Noisy Boy is quiet, you know there's a problem. All right, uh, I've received word that Valinor is ready, so we're going to do Wicked Twister and Valinor. That's Valinor you're seeing right there. Uh, Give him a little... Uh, uh, just just, just kickstart it. He's just... There we go. Oh, okay, All okay. right. Looks like we're good. Hopefully it stays good. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Don't move. And three, two, right, one. We Here go. we go. Valinor has the power. Oh. Has the power. Wicked Whoa! Oh my. Ooh! Yikes! There's some more chunks out of that, uh, out of that arena for you. No, no, Valinor. But Valinor is uh, is not Ooh. moving. We don't just have a twitchy weapon. We have a lack of motion entirely. Uh -oh. oh. I see a motor spinning. A little, little saw, a little, little yeah, cutting yeah, into like the side. Some, oh, oh. oh, maybe he was just high-centered on something. Oh, I think so. All right, Valinor. Back with the from the pain, but yeah, back indeed. Yeah. Here we go, Valinor. Getting ready to make an attack here, it looks like, on Wicked Twister. Or is it Wicked Twister? Wow, Attacks Valinor the wall. backing out of the way just in time to send Wicked Twister flying into itself, hitting the wall. Yep. Valinor pushes Twister right back into the wall. Uh-oh, looks like the weapon stopped on Valinor. Maybe yep. those gremlins weren't over yet. Oof. Oh, Woo! what a hit. Well, let's see if we can get that weapon started back up, and there it goes. But what about Valinor's weapon? Valinor's weapon, not so much. Valinor's weapon is, uh, is taking the day off. There's a nice 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release that pin. There we go. Excellent driving. Wicked Twister still just... Wow. Mean. Valinor just in wedge mode is impressively uh, controlling this match. Five, Absolutely. Four, three, two, one, release. Wicked Twister back up to speed, trying to do some damage, but the uh, sloped 
piece of metal, the natural predator of the horizontal spinner, <laughs> is showing no mercy at all. No mercy we at all. We have five seconds until the pit drops. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's doing the thing. Don't do the thing. Down he oh. falls, and down goes it, the pit. There we go. This could be a deciding factor. It really could. Without a weapon, Valinor still has a lot of pushing power, and we might see a pitting. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Oh boy. Valinor pushing Wicked Twister up against the wall. Wicked Twister, 30 seconds remaining in the match. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Close enough. Another pin. And release. 20 seconds remaining. Oof. Wicked Twister getting a, getting a punch to the face. We got 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh -oh. one. Oh. That's the match. And that is the match. Wow. And this goes the distance. What a close call. Yeah. Whew. I don't know. The judges have their work cut out for them on this one. Oh, let, me, yeah. let me know if you guys need a replay and I'll play it back. But uh, that was something. Yeah, that was, uh, that was brutal. It really was. Right. While we wait for that decision, we're looking for Warpath and Bricklet, OTG and Galrong, Square Up and Icky Mouse, Kill Cake and Brink. I see Square Up. Ready to Square Up. Your winner by judge's decision is... Who could it be? Valinor. Oh, that's it. All right. Now I must pay, pay attention to this fight since my next opponent will be either a big thing with two sticks or a big thing with two sticks. <laughs> Either way, sticks of some sort will be involved. Oh, look at those eyes. Those are the eyes of a killer right there. Right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Somebody, somebody's trying to make my thumbnail for me, I think. <laughs> I mean, and that's a pretty good way to do it. Both teams are ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Off we go in this very weight fight. All right. Brickley goes straight for the wall. <laughs> and once again, <laughs> his opponent is shoving them deeper and deeper into the wall. Yep. Four, three. Oh, there's a pin release. Uh -oh. oh, no. Brickley uh -oh. is stuck again. What have they done to my boy? Oh, he's free. Hey. That's what they did. Brickley nice. is out and loose in the world, uh -oh. ready to stab, poke, and push anything it comes across. Fold, spindle, and or mutilate. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> pushing Warpath around. <laughs> Ripley like taking Warpath on a tour. I guess that makes it tour path. All right. Uh, uh oh. I don't know what's happening here. I'm not sure either. I is think that's a, a pin. Top of a robot. Oh, it's a pin. Okay. That's a pin. All right. Pin in favor uh -oh. of Bricklet. Okay. There we go. Okay. Brickley Looks like Brickley was trying to uh, to do under Warpath. Oh, now I got a pin in favor of uh, Warpath. Yep. Four, three. Two, one, release. I think that was more of a corral. If it won number one, it would be a golden corral. Ooh. Good rolls, but that's about it. I like their chocolate fountain. Oh, I'll go along with that. And then, you know, any instant ice cream is good enough for oh, me. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. All right, in a mere right, 30 like seconds. Match. Oh, okay. They were <laughs> very evenly matched. In 30 seconds, that pit's going to come down. And then we'll see what happens. Who will win? Who will get stuck oh, in the Brickley side of the arena? Another wall. Dang. Dang, we got an angry Brandon over here. The sass. Wow. Four, three, okay, oh, there's wow. the release. What sass. Bricklet, aim for the eyes. There you go. Down goes the pit. Down goes the pit. Okay. Might be starting a knockout timer momentarily. Uh -oh. Looks like it started. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's a knockout. Ooh. Your winner, Warpath. And there it is right there. There's the obscure technical glider. <laughs> OTG in the in the red square. 
Galrong in the blue. Galrong. Glal. Glal. Galrong. I don't know how to say it. G L A U R U N G. Glalrung. Glal. Glalrong. Glalrung. 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 I got a thumbs up. Glalrung. All right. Everybody's ready. Fight, robots, fight! Yeah. All right, the uh, stealth <laughs> bomber go. doing a great job of corralling uh, Glaurong, but Glaurong's hitting pretty hard. Uh oh, did we lose the drive side? Nope, we're good. All right, getting pushed up into the corner there. Glaurong finds a way out. Finds a way out. And gives a nice hit. Glaurong finds a way. Uh, find a way. There's a real high-pitched tone going on in the background at the moment. I'm just thinking really hard. <laughs> Is that the, that's not the music. Probably Ooh, another, the box. Nice hit by Ooh, and another. How many of these can OTG take? After another, after another, after another. Wow. I'll tell you, though, it takes, takes a licking and keeps on ticking, though. That might stop that noise you're talking about. Or that. That might do it too. The answer just may surprise us. Or will it? So Blarong's certainly been winning these exchanges, but uh, OTG's not really taking much damage out of it. Not so much. Well, no. I might have jinxed it because he looks like he's down at drive side. Uh oh. We're crab walking. It's real crab hours right now. <laughs> oh. Nice hit again. We also have 14 seconds until the pit drops. So it is, of course, anybody's game. We've got a couple pieces out of, uh, looks like. Five, four, three, two, one. Down goes the pit. Got a, piece, a couple of pieces there out of OTG. OTG still, still uh, taking a licking, keep on ticking. Mostly ticking. Mostly ticking. We do hear a lot of ticking. Uh-oh. Looks like Glarong might be corralling them towards the pit in I addition to dealing some damage. I believe that is the case. Are we going to get a punt? Uh-oh. Line up that uh -oh. golf shot. Four. Getting real close. Whoa! Oh, yeah. There we go. What a beautiful shot. That Teed was a, off to perfection. That was a great shot. That's that a birdie, was. I think. <laughs> I think so. Uh, let's see. All right, let's uh, check out the instant replay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to go. I, you know, it is uh, it is the end shots that I that I do enjoy the most here. I'd say. Okay, so let's start from about there. Yeah, here we go. So here we go. Glaurong getting a, a OTG a little bit closer. Putting, a little your, bit closer. putting your tee in the green. Place the go. ball on the tee. There it is. Wind up that swing. Oh. Make sure to bend your knees. Bend your knees there. Doop. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here's the moment. And boom. Bam. Off the backboard. Off the backboard. Swoosh. Swish. There Swish. it is. Sorry, I don't play basketball. I don't either. <laughs> but I'll go along with it. All right, we got Kill Cake in the red square. And in the blue square, we've got Brick. Competitors, hit your ready buttons when you're ready. Two of the most brutal horizontal beetles we have today, duking it out in the arena. You're going to see some flying robots. Absolutely. Uh, Kill Cake is wound up. Oh, boy. Here we go. Little bits of something flying everywhere. Yeah, I am minorly concerned. Oh boy. That is a lot of energy in that thing. Is, is there a bolt sticking up on... Uh, on there break? is. Is it supposed to be that high up? I don't think so. I think, his, I think that's his bolt 
on his uh, on his on weapons. His weapons. Yeah, yeah, oh, nice. oh! Whoa! Kill cake! Kill cake! Oh, it lost the self riding pole. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh boy! If he lands on the wrong side, he might be done. Yeah, he just might. He's trying. He's trying. But how do He's you trying. something like this? He is spinning so fast right now on the inside. I will be so impressed if he manages to land this if robot lands, correctly. And, oh, it doesn't look good. And Brick's trying to make that not happen, way. and there it goes. He oh heads man! Of tails. Wait, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. He's not done yet. Oh my God! Oh, he there is... we go. Stuck in a corner. There's oh a pin. no! Five, four, three, two, one. Release that pin. Come on, Kill Cake. I'm pulling for you now. Okay, he's winding up. You got to move Can a little do more it? than that. Can he do it? Here we go. Yeah, watch her uh, point that thing there. Okay. Might have to start a knockout oh. timer. Oh. We're not seeing any movement here from Kill Cake. All right, counting yeah. down. Nine, eight, oh. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's a knockout. Your winner. All right. All right. I'm gonna have to see Mr. Dobrikoff over here once you get your stuff, uh, get your stuff together, and come on over here. You have just won yourself another achievable here. I think that one's that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, I would say that's the one. If any of the matches today have been that, that's that. Yeah. All right. That was a that that was quite the thing right there, and and I think that I mean these these two bots were were very very evenly matched I thought. Yeah yeah. Huge. Um, this could have gone either way for sure. It really could have. Huge destructive power in both of them. And Just, uh, yeah, brick brick was almost out. It, yeah. it really was anyone's game. It really was absolutely. Yeah, and that right there you can see. Wait, hold on. Let's go back. Because I was wondering about that. You had asked earlier in the match, I think, nope, still poking up. We have the Dobrikovs inbound. Ah, uh, Dobrikovs are inbound. Okay, excellent. Here, let's stop this replay. We'll come over to the house cam. Okay, sir, as you are well aware, come we have down. achievables. For, uh, come on over. Come on over. We have achievables for various things that happen during the course of the event. And of all of the, of the ones today, you did not give up in the face of adversity. You were upside down. That's right. You're a full body spirit. You, you want to go ahead and give him the mic yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I tried everything you, possible. Well, absolutely. And that's, that's, my, that's my point exactly. You lost your self rider. You're a full body spinner without a self riding pole thing there, right? So you are the winner of the Mighty Pong Announcer Award. Ooh. I didn't hear Nobel Prize. <laughs> I can take it. There you go. Outstanding. You there you go. Thank you. Yeah, this absolutely. Awesome. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Yes, that, that is the award for for <laughs> lifting the middle finger to adversity and continuing on anyway. So that was fantastic. Absolutely, just uh, just wonderful matches today. Like this this is like everybody here has just been so so talented. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, so earlier I mentioned that uh, that Red, so when Red Rocket and uh, and Red Baron fought, that, that was Titanic Takedown, wasn't it? That was at Cinec. That's right. That's right. I mentioned that the loser can no longer be Red, and that's why Red Baron isn't Red. Oh, okay. So I had if forgotten Toby wins about that. This fight, does he regain the right to be Red again? I th I believe so. Okay. I believe so. We're now fighting for who gets to be Red. Despite their name, okay, okay. So there's there are stakes. This might be a grudge match, but there are actual stakes yeah, on the line this here. It's an important one. All right, they have readied up. Here we go. The battle to see who can be red. And off they go. Red Baron. Oh, it looks like Red Baron gets to be red again. Oh, nope, nope. Oh. Come on, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Uh oh. Uh oh. Red we're Rocket, moving, we're he's, moving. He's, he's going with the tail whip technique there. Um, we need to see some kind of something, don't we? 
Oh, he's still moving. Okay. Whoa. He's like, no, thank you. Red Rocket. Or not, uh, Red Baron. Wow. Wow, look at that. Doing the uh, Odium or the Malice, whichever version you'd like to call it. <laughs> And, uh, and that's it. All right. Congratulations to Red Baron. Wow. And anything but Red Rocket. Okay. Icky Mouse versus Square Up. Winner of this goes on to fight Puka. All right. Doors have been shut. Everybody's ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Icky Mouse. Heads on out of there. Oh, uh, two hits from Mickey, three hits from Mickey Mouse. Oh, there, from Icky Mouse, there you go. Yeah. All right. All right, Icky Mouse Icky with Mouse another punch. Is one and powerful jump spinner, wow, look at this. And another one. Square Up has proven to be quite tanky, but uh, oh, is boy. it tanky enough for this? I don't know. What's that piece on the ground? That's like you know, some some gear of some sort. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like Drive's working on both robots. Uh, not sure what that would be. <laughs> not sure where the gear came from. Oh, oh wheel. there is one wheel. And I've been willing to bet there's going to be another real soon here. Oh, oh, oh. He, wa he wants those wheels. I understand the lust for wheels. Oh, wow. Oh. Did Square Up finally fall? I believe so. Square Up. The indestructible tank ah. has been destroyed. Has been destroyed. In, Round of applause to these competitors. Absolutely. Wow. In just over a minute, in just over a minute, the tank has fallen. The tank was unable to soak the damage. And, uh, and there it goes. There it goes. Wow. And Icky Mouse continues. You know what this means? No. Now we get David versus David later. Uh-oh. David versus David. That's right. Icky Mouse is going to go on to fight Puka. Cool, yeah, let's do Bad Doctor versus Brazen. These are probably two of the coolest weapons we have here today. We have a spring actuated spear, I guess you'd call it, and a lifter with a heating element to stab people with. All right, everybody's ready. And the match has begun. All right, we return to the slow oh, crawl of the oh, Bad Doctor. The, the crawl of death. Here he comes. Ominously <laughs> getting flipped over on its butt. Excellent flip. Uh, but oh, here comes the glove. Oh, plug. here it comes. Light. Oh, oh. oh, wow. Look at that. Dang. Digging deeply into the printed armor. Wow. Wow, that is insanely effective. Look that, at that. That is significantly more, uh, more effective than I was expecting. That is so cool. That's pretty neat. And by cool, I mean hot. There you go. Because that is one toasty thing. Oh. There you go. All right, we oh, got yeah, a little bit of the smoke spicy. there. A little extra spicy there. A little tappy tap. But yeah, I'm not these... sure if we're famine the or span <laughs> or that. Either Are one we of those. the flames or spanking him here? Uh, yes. Por que no los dos. Yeah, you're right. Why not both? Why not? Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. We're getting hot. <laughs> wow. A little push, a little shove, and a nice flip. And a nice flip. We're gonna get some more of that. Uh... Oh, no. oh no! He has done the, the thing. thing. Oh, oh wow! But uh, graciously allows Brazen him wants to keep going. Wants it to keep going. That's right. Excellent sportsmanship from the Brazen team. It is. But in a mere 35 seconds, if I could stab things with a you know a glowy fire stick, I would do that for as uh, long as I can. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I would not want it to stop. But in uh, oh, here comes another bite. In about 20 seconds, it's gonna have to stop because that pit's going down. And uh, let's see. No, bad doctor, run! Run, bad doctor! Run! Run as fast as you can! Oh, no. uh, you know, wait, we shouldn't we shouldn't rush this count out. We should wait just a little bit. Ten seconds until the pit drops. Exactly. <laughs> There's oh, no need no. to count him out. He'll be fine. He can get go on, go on, bad doctor. You can get up. Yeah. Oh. Stage floor. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was funny. 
Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> just the going down with his ship. It's just like, <laughs> he just took the elevator down into the pit. <laughs> like, he's not, he didn't drop into the pit. Like everything else, Bad Doctor just went into the pit as slowly as, slow as, possible. as only, possible. Only Bad Doctor could do that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold but on. Yeah, beautiful performance from Brazen. That oh, yeah. fire stick is awesome. I have no idea what we're breathing. I'm sure it's bad. Yeah, but it's let's worth uh, it. yeah oh here we go here we go right there S- salute oh the last blue light there's your salute and there it goes godspeed shine on you crazy diamond oh, oh wow. my what goodness an excellent fight that was wonderful okay wait we're going we got to slow that down even more here we go and down down she goes. It does smell like burning plastic. That is true. I could do this all day. There we go. Right down. Boom. In the blue square, we got Mr. Grimm. In the red square, we got Shuffle Go Burr. Shuffle Go Burr has been on an absolute rampage today. Absolutely. Can Mr. Grimm put an end to it? I don't know. Oh, we lost some parts. But off of who? Oh, I, that's the entire weapon cracked in half on Mr. Grimm. Uh-oh. Is he putting it into the terror? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little less confident in that now. But then again, anything can happen. You never know. You never know. Two things are certain in this universe. Death and Shuffle's going burr. That's right. That's right. That's Shuffler's. Shuffler's going to shuffle. Burr's going to burr. But Mr. Grimm's going to Mr. Grimm. Yeah, let's see what that does. He's doing Mr. Grimm stuff. He's trying to reattach his weapon somehow by driving <laughs> into it. You know, hey, anything can happen. You know, I bet you could get Brazen in here to uh, heat up both of the robot and the piece and then maybe weld them together. That would be cool. That, yeah. That's an achievement we'll never give away there, I think. Mr. Grimm, shuffle go burr. Man, shuffle go burr, making a heck of a racket on that floor. There we go. Shuffling noises, burr noises. Shuffling, shuffling burring. There's enough. Burring, shuffling. <laughs> there's enough. There's enough noise for two robots, but only one robot is really making the noise. Yep. Oh, we got a buck twenty-five left. And that means in a mere twenty seconds, you're gonna have that floor drop. You're gonna have the pit drop. And when he does. Oh, that's when Shuffle Go Burr is at their most potent. In a mere 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down goes the pit. All right. uh, Any of our competitors here can make use of it. Mr. Grimm trying to push Shuffle Go Burr around a little bit. I wonder what the little shuffle feet would look like in slow-mo. Because they're, they're going to town. <laughs> they are going to town. It's a little we'll, hard to tell what's going on. We'll check that out here in a second. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I watch where you point that bad boy, though. Yeah, um, yeah shuffle go burr. And Mr. Grimm. Pretty much locked. Like, they, they, they're both trying to push each other, but neither one of them seems to be able to get the... Uh, the upper hand, really. The upper hand. Oh, there but we've only got nine seconds. At the beginning, that weapon destroyed. But this is all going to be over here in three, two, one, and that's the match. All right. And, and that's it. Match goes the distance. Our judges at arena side are going to decide our winner. Oh boy. Now this is going to be a real tough one. That's going to be. I would not want to be deciding that. So let's see while they're deciding that. Okay, all right, the judges are conferring. All right, we have come to a decision. Your oh. winner by unanimous judge's decision Ooh. is... Okay. Shuffle go burr! Hey, 
shuffle go Burr moves forward. We're looking at Ant, uh, Ant Hyde, sorry. This is a tiny baby version of uh, Rawhide. Taking on Fang 101's Glaurong. There's a nice massive hit. Absolutely. Glaurong starting things off with a bang and another bang. <laughs> Ant Hyde doing the, the Ripperoni dance for a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. There's another solid hit. Glauron winning the majority of these exchanges so far. They are. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no. But Not that one. Tables. <laughs> Opponent's wheel. Vant hide. Looks like Glauron's winding up. But, oh, Glau oh, okay. oh, but there it is. That yep. was a nice hit. Uh-oh, that looks like a wheel hub that just broke off. Could it be? Looks like the clamp for a finger tech hub. Uh oh. Don't want to lose that. That means your wheel's about to slide off. Yep. We'll see how that goes. And oh, that's the tap like out. out. Okay, so I think we're about to start a fight, but after that, I'm going to need you again. So let's come on back to here. Yep, we are powering up some robots. Cognito Hazard and Nobody to Tie in our plastic ant weight division. Looks like the cage is locked and loaded. All right, competitors, go ahead and hit your ready buttons. Two, one, and off they go. Now we have a fight. Cognito Hazard wins the race across the uh, across the arena, and it's prizes. Getting hit with a vert. <laughs> getting hit with a, <laughs> getting hit with a vert. Yep. Okay, driving upside down, kind of skadoodles away there. Skadoodling. He's a lot of skadoodling. Good, good term. Thank you. Cognito has him trying to come back, get underneath. Yeah, try to get around the scary vertical spinner, maybe go to the back where there's no spinning death blade. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, put a, put a death blade on both. You know? Oh, good idea. <laughs> what was that, Counter Revolution or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Didn't go so well for them. But Cognito Hazard seems to be doing a pretty good job. They are locked oh, yeah, together. Look at that. Five, four, three, two, one. Release that pin. Ah, there they go. Pin has been released. Nice maneuver by Cognito Hazard there. Yeah, absolutely. There's a little lift. Ooh, and a hit. Ooh. And there's some more skadoodling there. Gotta get out of there. Cognito Hazard and his classic and iconic skadoodling. <laughs> there's another solid hit from nobody. From nobody. <laughs> 28 seconds until the pit drops. Ooh, he's gotten around. Around the back. Cognito has, oh, uh oh, there's a piece of the uh, lifter, I think, that just came off. Riding up the vert, probably getting scratched up all over that undercarriage. <laughs> We've all been there. That pit's dropping in five, four, three, two, one. Down goes the pit. Oh, boy. Here we go. Now, here's where, where the uh, proverbial rubber meets the road and the actual rubber meets the arena floor. So if you were one of these competitors, Pong, would yes. you be the one who uh, goes, oh, there's a pit, I'm gonna drive on the opposite side, or would you say, hey, let's go hang out over here. I know a cool place we can hang. <laughs> it depends. If I, if I was winning the all of these, these engagements so far, right, if I had the floor power, right, if I'm an offbeat, right, with the magnetic wheels yeah, yeah. Or, or something like that, right, then I would probably go ahead and, and, and give it a go. Now, if I'm not, if I'm a uh, if I'm a uh, warpath, for instance. Okay. No, no, no. I'll just I'll just go to the other side. Thank you very much. <laughs> and really hope that I don't get punted all the way across the arena. But this one's going to come into the station here. They, so we, we got, got nine a here. Five, four, three, two, one. Release that upside down. Three, hand. two, one till the end of the match. And we're stuck in the walls, but and the match is over. There it is. Okay. All right, so what happens next? What happens next? The judges get to decide. The judges get to decide, absolutely. Oh, here, while we're, while we're delivering, we're gonna need Jesse over here, if you can. If you're in the middle of working on something, I can dig it. 
Okay, here we go. He's coming on over. Here comes Jesse. Jesse. Here, have a mic. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that this went to you guys. Okay. <laughs> because you'll, you'll get it. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so on the show, we frequently joke about us being a medium deal. Okay? A medium deal. Okay. Yeah. We're not a big deal, but we're a medium deal, right? Okay. Well, you're in the one pound ant class. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and look at this. Look at what happened. Look at what happened. You were right smack dab <laughs> in the middle of the losers round. Yeah. In the middest class. So congratulations to you. You are the medium deal. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's how I live my life. <laughs> you know, hey, there's there is pleasure. There is happiness. There's good to be found being a medium deal. That's I can awesome. tell you from personal experience. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> no, thank you. Absolutely. All right, we received word from the judges, and the winner of that match was... Here we go. Cognito Hazard. Cognito Hazard. There we go. Some ant weights loaded up. All Trash right. Talker versus White Fang. Trash Talker versus White Fang. White Fang closest to the camera in the blue square. Trash Talker in the red. Three, two, Up one, fight. Go. Both here of we these go. weapons are absolutely terrifying. And here it is. Case in point. Uh-oh. Can Trash Talker himself right? Oh, and then the top right, the top panel of uh, White oh. Fang is not as attached as I would like it to be. Yeah, it's not. If it was not. my robot by chance. It's not. And Trash Talker seems like he just might be ready to, yeah, there, there, there you go. There's a big hit. Hey, the top's still on. Oh, well, that, that one bolt is doing the Lord's work. I'll tell you what. Hop, skip, and a jump. Right back into the waiting arms of Trash Talker. Another big hit. Uh-oh, and there is a tap down. out. There's a tap out. Congratulations, your winner, Trash Talker. There it is. All right, that means Trash Talker is our winner's side finalist. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and away we go. Warpath versus Gimli. Uh oh. Just the strangest matchup. That is the strange. Those two bots weigh the same. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Has Warpath done the thing? Oh. It appears to be back on its feet. Whatever those are. Those, what, those, those whatever those are. Back on its foam. Back on its foam. <laughs> this is the weirdest looking match. I love it. Uh oh. Oh, Warpath no. continuing to do the thing. He's stuck again. Oh, no. He's been giving a little, little bit of a nudge uh -oh. there by Gimli. Uh oh. He's doing the thing again. Is Gimli stuck? And again. But is Gimli stuck as well? It looks like he is. What happens now? I don't know. Well, heck. <laughs> oh, yeah, heck indeed. I, I don't know where this goes from here. Because both bots appear to be high centered. I There's, mean, does this, does this qualify as an unstick? Gimli seems to be stuck in the pit right there. Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh, well, now Warpath is still moving. I don't know, is this a, is this a, is this a count out? I don't know. I guess we're gonna see how, how much uh, movement Warpath has here. But then Warpath is stuck again. This is a very confusing match. <laughs> you know how often I say I'm glad I'm not judging. Right? Uh-oh, oh. okay. So even though someone's out, I assume it's Gimli, but I don't know. Is it Gimli that's out? Or is it a double knockout? Gimli is out, okay. All right, so I get, put your hands together for your winner, Warpath. Any, oh. That's a, you know what? Yep, I think you're right. I think you're right. All right. Warpath, once you got your bite, you got to come on over. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I kind of I got to tell you, that's, so here's the thing. When somebody shows up with uh -huh. a robot made from foam, hot glue, mm -hmm. and a coat hanger. And hopes and dreams. You don't really expect that guy to go that far that's a great with point that robot that's a really great point and you know what that's kind of that's kind of where we're going with this thing here all right 
Back again. All right, so here we go. We've got the uh, the uh, builder, driver, owner, operator of uh, of, of Warpath right here. Now, the, as the I'm sure <laughs> the lovers, the dreamers, and me. As I'm sure you're aware, we've been giving out achievables all night, right? Okay, so you win. For, for that, there was no reason that this should be going this far. There's no reason whatsoever. It, it costs like three dollars outside of the electronics. I'm not lying. It's free foam, hot glue, and a coat hanger. That's it, and some duct tape. You gotta take that out east and uh, and and get disqualified. Okay, so uh, so I would like to issue you, my friend. This is the honorary shuffle go burr. <laughs> Anything no can happen award. No way. And you win the anything can happen award. <laughs> you have gotten that achievable. There you go. This is crazy. Because anything can happen, and it just did. I was not expecting this at all. I thought I was going to go 0-2 and, and be done by lunch. That's why you have that. Because <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen in yeah. combat robotics. Keep the dream alive. Keep yeah. the dream alive indeed. Yep. Yep. This one is named after... Shuffle Gober. That's right. Some of their amazing achievements. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Anything can happen, and it usually does. There it is. That's I think right. up next we're going to have Axolotl questions and Smurf Beater. Ooh, okay. Smurf Beater and Axolotl questions. All right. In the red square, we got Axolotl questions. In the blue square, we got Smurf Beater. That's appropriate. <laughs> And here we go. Axel of questions, wins the box, box rush. Heads on over. Flips, uh-oh, uh-oh. Flips Smurf Beater on its head, and Smurf Beater's weapon has just been completely disassembled. Smurf Beater ain't beating any Smurfs right now. Yeah, that weapon just became ablative. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure weapons aren't supposed to be ablative, but well, here we are. Too bad. And that was a tap out. Yep, there we go. Wow. Wow. A very, very quick win. Absolutely. I think that was like 30 seconds total, or 20, 27 seconds total was that match. That was a quick one. Wow, we'll go ahead and watch that the replay. Not. I don't even have to slow the replay, replay down. It's, you know, just watch it in real time. There it is. Again, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Right there. There's the hit. Oh, dang it. I did, the, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. Okay, there we go. We'll come back to that. There we go. That's what I wanted. Boom. There's where, <laughs> there's where things turn. Like here, here, everything is fine. There, and things are not fine. Not fine. Not fine at all. <laughs> Gets flipped over. There goes the other pieces off in the background of the uh, of the weapon of Smurf Beater. The Smurfs can rest easy tonight. There's nobody beating any Smurfs this evening. Not in this match. All right. Do we have a brick? Brick is ready. Okay, if brick is ready. Brick is ready, and Ragnarok is ready. Let's right. roll. Here we go. Brick and Ragnarok coming at you. All right, Red Square is ready. Three, two, one, fight. Here we go. All right, Ragnarok with a couple hits on the back of Brick. Brick trying to get around. Oh, and they meet in the middle, and the bots go flying. Ragnarok is turned turtle. Brick looking for a good place to hit, finds one, and throws itself across the arena. Ragnarok over in the corner. Oh, gets thrown across the arena again by Brick. Just got upright. He's, oh, another huge hit by Brick. And Ragnarok's just trying to get turned up on his wheels there. Come on. Oh, another hit, another chunk taken out of the wheels. Oh, Ragnarok goes flying directly towards us. Again. Boy, Ragnarok can't catch a break here. Yeah, no, Ragnarok is struggling here. Can I catch a break? Can Brick knock it over? Brick is just 
Oh, hey, there, there we go. Back on his feet. Hopefully he can stay there. <laughs> Ragnarok. Shrugs off another hit from Brick. Oh, but Brick sneaks around the back and takes the takes another chunk out of the wheels. Oh no, sorry, takes the entire wheel <laughs> off of Ragnarok. Ragnarok limping around upside down on one wheel. Answers to the name Lucky. <laughs> Impressive that he's still still going. He's still going, absolutely. And in a mere six seconds, that floor is going to drop. And I don't know what's going to happen then. But Ragnarok is still going. He's still moving. And down goes the pit. This has been a great any... showing for Oh, Brick. no. Don't do it. There we go. Okay. Ragnarok. Ooh. Still spinning. Still spinning. Oh. oh. Huge hit from Brick. Oh, but Brick's weapon has gone silent. While Ragnarok's is anything but. Ragnarok trying to move, or uh, uh, Brick trying to move, down to one wheel. So they're both down to one wheel. Ragnarok still holding its own, tipped upside down. The motor you hear right now, that's Ragnarok. Going long and strong. Still, still scoring hits on Brick. We've only got about 10 seconds left. And 10 seconds remain. Oh, this is gonna be another one for the judges and I do not envy them because we got Ragnarok still with translational movement, ball spots down to one, one leg. And that's the match. That is the match. That is the match. My goodness. That was a, that was a good one. That was, absolutely that was a good one. Look at, look at all the damage on the floor there. Every, that's, that's at least one wheel from each robot. <laughs> we ended up with one wheel operational on both bots. Ragnarok had the operational weapon. Ragnarok spent the entire match upside down, but never stopped spinning. So I mean, you know, is this the uh, embodiment of spin to win? I don't know. What do you What do you think about that last fight? Do, do I don't able know to, either. You don't know either. <laughs> I yeah. just got here. I was in the bathroom. Fair enough. That but, happens. Uh, wow, it looks like I really missed a doozy here. You did. You absolutely did. Okay, so here's the fight, right? We're We're <laughs> going to go ahead and play this back while they're uh, while they're deliberating over there. Some absolutely enormous hits, and we were expecting that. We've been expecting oh, this yeah. match oh, yeah. quite some time. And we knew it's going to go this way. Now, now see how uh, how Ragnarok's uh, upside down right now. He's going to spend the entire match that way. Oh, we have a decision. What do we got? All right, your winner by judge's decision is Brick. The winner is Brick. Okay. The winner is Brick. All right. Uh, is Icky Mouse ready? Icky Mouse is ready. Ooh, this will be a fun one. What's uh, which one's coming up here? <laughs> He's like, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Let's see. Uh, Icky Mouse and Puka. Oh, okay. That's yours next. Okay. Icky Mouse versus Puka. Here it comes. I was just about to. Oh wow! I've lost all my all my uh, co-hosts. <laughs> I, I lost my alternate and my alternates alternate. <laughs> That's all right. You coming over? Is that what's happening? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Neither do I. Yeah, you're going to be great. Piece of cake. All right, so put the headphones on. There you go. What do you think? You feel official yet? What's that? Just about. Oh, well, you know what it'll, it'll cap it off if you pick up that micro microphone right there. That helps. There you go. All right, so joining me is, team, is Toby from Team Borkerbots. Hello. Hello there. So let's see. Uh, so now... Now you, are, although you're competing in this, okay, you got headphones on, you got a mic in your hand. We must stay non-judgmental. We must stay completely, no favoritism whatsoever towards any, any competitor. All right, this is the way. This is the way of the microphone. If you, if you don't, if you don't stay completely unbiased, I, I might be rooting for David. No. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> You're going to do fine. You're going to do fine. You have to stay completely unbiased, and you have to talk directly, directly into the end of the microphone. The there you there go. go. It is an end-addressed addressed microphone. There you go. Got it. 
Because if you don't, if you don't stay completely unbiased, I mean, what kind of an announcer are you? That would be stupid. Okay. Anyway, let's head back over to this camera right here. All right, here we go. We got Puka in the blue square, and we got Red. Uh, we got Red. We got Mickey Mouse in the red square. Three, two, one, and off they trot. Here we go. Oh my goodness, Puka getting the drop on Mickey Mouse. David, David oh, David. oh no. David make it, scoring some huge hits on David. I think the drum is winning. Yeah, the, yeah, David's drum has stopped, but David's drum is still going strong. Ooh, big hit from David. David gets a huge hit on David. David getting thrown up in the air. And that's a tap out. David has tapped out, which means David has won. Congratulations, David. Congratulations to David, but also to David. Yes, it was a good fight. That was a great fight between David and David. So uh, David did, in fact, win the day. It was it was really close there. I thought David was going to win for a second, but then, uh, then that didn't happen. <laughs> in the chat there, uh, kind of going a little bit nuts there, which is perfectly fine. You guys can, but as an announcer, I feel it's important to stay non-biased. That's why I don't drive a bot. What's that? Until we get a camera bot, that's true. So who won? No, Puka won there uh, from a, a tap out there by Icky Mouse. Okay, we're getting the scores updated here. Okay, scores apparently are updated here, and we'll go over to those scores, which are now updated here. Okay, so that it means must be that. Uh oh, that is you. I have to go. You got your people need you. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Oh, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna go try to not catch on fire right now. Good plan. Go with that. Not looking forward to it. Uh, well, you know, you can do this. I have faith in you, and Thank the you. other guy, because I'm non-biased. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to welcome back David Small here. Yeah, you get to keep the name David. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there you go. I love being David. There you go. Oh, so uh, William Flagg is asking if we allow firebots. No, we do not. Right? Nope. Uh, too much plastic, too scary, too expensive if things go bad. Yep. But we do allow, uh, we do allow the uh, the glow plug. What is that? Yeah, thing? yeah, the, uh, whatever that is, heating elements. The heating uh, elements. If you want to like strap a soldering iron to a to an RC car, that's fine too. There you go. We what just uh, we want to make sure we have a, a safe arena that isn't melted. Right. Um, or on fire. Or on fire. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want that. You know, over in Vegas, you have that steel kick plate around the whole border. Ours we do. is all plastic. So if someone gets pinned against the wall and you start torching them. We're gonna run out of kick play. <laughs> We're gonna run out of kick that's play. That's a little quick. scary. You yeah. want you want that. You, you know, after seeing we, some hits like that, you don't yeah. want this stuff getting soft. No, <laughs> no, we really want that. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's another shot of, uh, of what we don't want. Let's uh, let's end the thing over there. There we go. That's what ah, we yes. don't want. <laughs> that's what we don't want. Fortunately, that's only one layer of it. <laughs> So my late saber on wheels would not be welcome. Yeah, that's, that's the case. Uh, somebody said earlier that I, that I was biased against David, and I guess that's true. I was, I was rooting for the David. Oh, okay. But both of you were David. Oh, okay. So, so still, you were supporting one of us, but you were very against the other. I was against, uh, no, I was for whoever, uh, whoever won. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and for whoever lost, because they're both, you know. There you go. I'm for both. There we go. Okay. Looks like we've got the uh, return of Brazen fighting Lemon Pound Cake. Ah, uh, here we go. This would be the aforementioned glow plug. See if we get another uh, spicy bite. Three, two, one, and off they go. Here we go. My former co-host over there. Mr. Toby. Mr. Toby. He has shown he is uh, quite the capable driver of this little uh, zippy control bot here. Absolutely. Yeah, lemon pound cake over there, doing the Lord's work. Doing Brazen. his best to uh, dodge the spicy tooth of Brazen. Very spicy tooth indeed, yes. Oh, yeah. He's uh, showing off his spicy tooth underneath there. Some people have a uh -oh. sweet tooth. Uh, Brazen's got a spicy tooth. He's got a spicy one. He does indeed. A little sky cam view there. We'll go back to the sky cam because they're in the corner there. The cornery corner. The cornery is corner of them all. There's a clamp. Uh oh, Look there's a clamp. 
Oh, here we go. Things here are comes heat. the microwave. It's getting hot in here. All right, so you can hold for 30 seconds, I believe. Oh, you can hold for 30? 26. Uh-oh. 25. 24. 23. Oh, oh, oh uh, there we go. Release. Very kind. A very kind release. What? <laughs> Brazen uh, currently looking for another uh, another place there, uh, trying to trying to get their uh, their their Bernie mitts, their their, their flaming mitts. No, this is this is getting worse. All right, but anyway, <laughs> lemon pound cake has got Brazen up against the wall there. Oh, but here comes the the heat. They they're both trying to push each other. Oh, they're so close, evenly little, matched. Little dab, little dab of the of the warm stuff there. Dab of the warm. <laughs> it's just gonna get sillier. I'm sorry. Nice spicy bite. Come oh, on. Very, there we go. Yep. That'll melt your plastic right there. Couldn't believe how much evil our bad doctor was 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 smoking. Oh yeah, that that was. Okay, here we go. I think that's why a bad he's a bad doctor. He's smoking during his practice. Oh, what is he? What is he from the 1950s? Come on. <laughs> oh, well, raise look. the roof. Raise the roof. Raise. <laughs> Oh, and, and you know, while we're over here watching for the, uh, the on Firewatch here, the pit has dropped. So lemon pound cake. Ooh, might make the magic happen. Might make the magic happen, but so might brazen. Uh oh, uh oh. Getting awfully close there. Oh, everybody's getting awfully close here. Oh Come boy. On, little nudge. Little nudge. It pushes as good as, as a nudge. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Say no more. Oh, but who? Oh boy, almost did the Toro. Oh, it's so uh -oh. close. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Anything can happen. Still anybody's game with 17 seconds on the clock. Oh, no, wait a minute, no. No, it didn't happen. Oh, okay, there, there we, go. we go. We're good, we're good. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match. Nice flip at the end, and a little bit of smoke to uh, send Pound Cake on their way. Absolutely. Okay, so we do have a, a winner in that last match. Ooh, who is it? Okay. The winner of Brazen versus Lemon Pound Cake is Brazen. Wow, congratulations to Brazen. Brazen in the sun. There Bring he is. in the heat. Brazen, you have won. Brazen there you the go. All right, here we go. Shuffle Go Burr versus Cognito Hazard. And I love them both equally. Oh, me too. What a coincidence. Three, two, one, and off they go. Cognito blasting out of the gate. Absolutely. Charging face first towards Shuffle Go Burr. Here we go. Okay, you know, we're doing the shuffle wacky thing where it kind yep. of jumps around like a bucking bronco, <laughs> except with a deadly drum on the face. Shuffle go burr, shuffling its way towards Cognito Hazard. Cognito Hazard looking for a place to do a little little shoving. There we go, a little bit. Not quite a flip, but a shove. Yeah, you count those for something. Yeah. Something just flew off of something. Not quite sure what that was. I would assume, yeah, it's purple, so it's, uh, that would be off of Cognito. Yeah. Shuffle Go Burr, continuing to run after Cognito Hazard. A little bit of a push and a shove there. <laughs> there was a hit <laughs> and uh, kind of a lift. Ooh, can we get Ooh. a clamp? We'll try. Oh, oh there's a flip by uh, Shuffle Go Burr. Uh, shuffle Go Burr. That's right. 30 seconds until the pit drops, though. Oh, boy. Oh, the crowd has started chanting Shuffle. Uh oh. What's going to happen here in 20 seconds? That pit's going to drop. Make Ooh, that nice uppercut to the chin before Cognito could get the grab. Uh-oh. They are dangerously close to that pit over there. Oh, they got plenty Nine, of time. Don't worry. Eight, seven, All right, now six, not so much. Five, four, three, two, one, and down goes the pit. All right, let's see what these competitors do with that new development. 
This is still anybody's match. Still anybody's game. Well, listen to this. <laughs> the shuffling feet of Shuffle Go Burr. Uh oh. Oh no! Wait. Oh, okay, I have orange there. Oh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of orange too, flying off of. Uh, can we put it back down? You can put it back down. Okay, lift your arm, still lifting. So taking some more nibbles out of the back there. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nibbler's gonna nibble, nibble. But but this this train's pulling into the station here. Eight, six, five, four. Three, two, one, zero. And that right, is the, the match. match. That's the match. That is the match. Cease. Robotius, stand by. All right. Do we already have a judge's decision? Uh, I didn't hear. Oh, it. Yeah, should I do it? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, all right. And the winner of that last match is... Shuffle Go Burr. Congratulations. There Shuffle we go. go Burr. Shuffle Go Burr. There it is. There's your winner right there. Shuffle Go Burr shuffles on to fight another, to shuffle another day. Looks like on our plastic ant weights, we have the top three sorted. It'll be Axel Auto Questions, Smurf Beater, and Shuffle Go Burr. Oh, there we go. Okay. But who will get which place? The we'll answer. To find out soon. The answer. Just may surprise you. That too. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So we've got, uh, let's see, Action Surge and Brick ready to rock and roll Action here. Surge. Yeah, there we go. Brick is in the blue. Action Surge is in the uh, red. Go ahead and hit your ready buttons when you are good to go. Okay. Three, two, one, fight, and off they go. Here we go. Oh my goodness, a huge hit from Action Surge. Oh, but a hit right back from Brick. Okay, uh oh, uh -oh. wait a minute. Weird. Action Surge, are you okay? Action Surge, you all right there, buddy? Okay, all right, we're there moving, we go. We're all right, and we're back. We're okay, good. Everything's good. Action Surge still in the match. Taking a moment to get its bearings, but still in the match. Oh, oh. a massive hit from Brick sending Action Surge flying across the arena. Yep. Brick found some bearings. Oh, 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 oh. massive hit. Oh, wow. That was a huge hit. All right, so how many of these can Action Surge take? It's still going. Do we, oh, and hey, its weapon came back. There we go, it was stopped for a second. Right, yeah, he fixed it, I guess. And he broke it, really it again. Hard. Yeah, I broke it again. I think I see a belt falling off. Ah, uh, that'll do it. Surge's weapon, yeah, there it yep. is on the ground there. Oh, well. It was a fun nice while it blue flying at us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immune to those. If it's smaller than a quarter, I don't even see it. <laughs> Action surge. Hitting itself against the arena there. Oh, oh, oh wow. That what was a, a lot of plastic. I don't know what it was, but that was a lot. Oh, there goes Brick across the arena. All right, Brick seems to be okay still. Weapon on Action Surge is back. Yeah. Guess uh, redundant belts is a good move. There you go. My goodness. Those are some beefy spinners on those two. Absolutely, wow. Here comes Brick again. They call it Brick because it hits like one. It does. Looking for another spot. Both of these two have taken some huge hits. There's going. Oh, Ooh, getting a little close to the pit there. Oh, the world is that? Again, and really oh, close boy. there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, Brick playing with fire here. Absolutely. 45 seconds left. 45 seconds remain on the clock. Action surge still continuing to surge. Weapon has stopped on action surge. Weapon has not stopped on Brick. But not hitting that hard either. Is the, is the weapon still going? Oh, it is. Okay. Seems like it's smaller. Not sure. Yep. No? Okay. All right. No, no, no. We're good. 
Yeah, 13 it's, seconds left in this match. Yep, and here we go, rounding the corner. We are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that is the match. All right, round of applause for these two competitors. Wow, and it has gone the distance. So again, I'm very, very sorry to those judges for having to judge this bad boy, but here we go, that's what's happening. Some huge hits on, on, the, on the part of both of these bots. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially Brick delivering these massive blows, sending both the robots flying across the arena. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, Action Surge did a pretty good job of uh, you know not not many robots can take that many massive hits and keep going. That's true. Okay, we have a winner. All right, uh, by unanimous judges' decision, your winner is Brick. All right, put your hands together for Brick, the winner of that last cut, last fight. Red Square is ready. This Here we is go. This a grudge. It is not Valinor and uh, Supreme Ruler. <laughs> All right, off we go. Half note. Half sharp. Half sharp, thank you. There's a fun hit. Half sharp versus go oob. This thing is just so fun and wacky. Doing cartwheels across the arena. Yep, and, and then the top fell off. There it is. Yep. It's not a half sharp fight until the weapon is somewhere the robot is not. <laughs> Absolutely. Go get him, Goob. Get him, Goob! Yeah, there you go. Supreme Ruler has injured the chat. Uh-oh, we got a pin. Whoa. Pin. Huh. Three, <laughs> two, one. Release that pin. <laughs> release, yes, release that, that, that iron death grip that uh, Half Sharp had there. Somehow. 30 seconds until the pit drops. The full body spinner all of a sudden. The unintentional full body spinner of Half Sharp. I see a lot of spinning. Is there gonna be so oh, Goober's still goobering. Still goobin'. Still goobin' after all these years. Goober's gonna goob. They are indeed. Down goes the pit. Oh, the pit is down. I bet you one entire dollar this match is gonna end in a pit. No bet. <laughs> no good call, bet. Good call. No bet. Oh boy. Finish come on. him. Finish him. Oh, come on. Don't you let that thing out of there. What are you doing? Get in there. Gentle, gentle. Gentle. Just Slowly. A little, little tappy tap. Just a little tippy tappy tappy tap. Yeah. There we go. Oh, no, go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my goodness. And uh, Goober takes the win. Looks like Warpath is ready to go also. Here we go. Go ahead and hit your ready buttons when you're good. There we go. All right, now we have a complete floor. There we go. Thank you to the broom crew. Here we, Here go. we go. Warpath from the blue square. Low, low tide, tide from the river. everywhere. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> low tide bouncing everywhere, absolutely. Okay, here we go. Low tide zooming across the arena. Can't even, there he is. There's one. There we go. Digging into that oh, foam. Taking a big old chunk of that foam out of there. It's a blade of foam, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I got to say, though, when I was fighting Warpath, it was a lot of fun just to rip all the foam off. <laughs> See all the little bits everywhere. Yep. Carve a gimli shaped hole into a, <laughs> a gimli shaped into a wheel. Oh, no. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh, What's going still, on? We're still kind of moving. I don't know if that's a enough little or bit. Not. Uh, that coat hanger is not having a good time. It's really not, no. 
Not doing too well. There's a nice solid hit. Wow. A little poke and a prod over there. And to encourage him towards the pit, maybe. Watch out for that pit seam. That's how Warpath gets you. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that's enough movement or not. We're not moving uh -oh. too much here. How are we doing? What are we doing? Are we moving? Not know. sure if the weapon is down on low tide or if he's just conserving battery power. Just pushing him over there. All right, I guess this I is mean, how we're going to play this game. All we got to do is wait another 30 seconds, and uh, that pit's going to drop. Yep, we might have to start a KO we timer. Might, yeah, we might we start that. We do this officially, because it has been a while. It has been a little while since we've seen a lot of movement. I mean, it probably should be a count out soon. Let's see. Or we can just wait 12 seconds and see a big funny thing happen. Yeah, that's true. That would be pretty funny. Okay, let's wait that tight. Let's right, go ahead. Yeah, I guess we're doing that. In five, four, three, two, one, and what? Oh. What has happened? Oh, boy. Oh, no. There, there we go. go. Okay, all right. All Woo. right. Congratulations to Warpath. Yes, congratulations to Warpath. Sorry, low tide. <laughs> no, low tide, low tide. Well, congratulations to Warpath for, for, for winning in yeah, our hearts. Yeah, and getting uh, second place. So that means... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Your fairy on. weight champion. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me get over there. Uh, 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 get the thing and then the thing and the stuff and then over there. Okay, boom. Your fairy weight Damn. champion. Let me update this real quick. Oh, we're With got... low tide as your winner. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is the tournament. Congratulations, Nick Dobrikov. You are the ARC December Robo Rumble 2023 hey. Fairyweight Champion. You're number one in fairies. Okay, so now how does that stack up then? So now we have uh, in second place, Warpath. Okay. And then in third place, uh, Gimli. In third place, Gimli. There it is. Okay. Outstanding. Low Tide, Warpath, and Gimli. Those are your uh, are your champions for, uh, for, the, uh, for the fairies. That's right. Absolutely. Very cool. Wicked Twister. Wicked Twister. Are you ready to fight? Yeah, let's let's fight. There he is. Wicked Twister's always ready. Versus Puka. Hey, that's you. That is me. Neat. I'll be right back. Okay. Puka versus Wicked Twister. And off they go. Oh my god! Wow. Wow. Oh my Okay. Puka with a flurry of hits. Just pounding Wicked Twister. I believe that was three times. Good grief. But Wicked Twister still going. The sparks flying. Weapon on weapon contact there. If they hit that same spot again, we might be done for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here comes Puka again with another huge hit on Wicked Twister. Hitting the roof again and again and again. Puka is just, just going to work. Oh my goodness. Another hit. Oh my god. It's like DJ Khaled. Another one and another one. Swinging a miss on that one by Puka. Don't worry, he's had plenty. <laughs> Wicked Twister. Walking a little, a little swerve in there. Oh, and another huge hit. Both robots colliding. Puka coming out the winner. Wow. Titanium sparks shooting off of both of them. Good grief. Wow. Some absolutely enormous hits, but things that may have gotten a little bit quieter no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Here comes Puka again. Puka ain't, Puka ain't done yet. Oh, my goodness. In a mere 13 seconds, that floor is going to drop. I don't know if we're going to need it, but we might, because both of these bots show no sign of slowing down. Sparks continuing to fly, making it really hard for me to pick a thumbnail, as the floor should be dropping. The floor should be dropping. There it is, the floor has dropped. But what happens next, I don't know. We're gonna flip back over, okay, no we're not. We're gonna stay on this camera here. Puka continuing to just throw Wicked Twister around. 
the judges appear to be in danger. Oh, my goodness. Hit after hit after hit. But Wicked Twist are still twisting. Not getting really a chance to do much, but Wicked Twist are still twisting. Edging its way over towards the, uh, towards the pit. But we've only got about 15 seconds left in this. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, there it goes. And there it goes. Puka takes the win. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a finish that was. So how glad are you that you didn't have to judge that? I, I Look, both bots are amazing, but I don't feel like that would have been a hard, a hard one to judge. That's fair. Puka That's a fair point. was relentless. Absolutely. I kind of hope there's not an angle where you see my face because it was just me with my mouth open the whole time. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> and I was true. like, Puka is not smurfing around over here. <laughs> That's true. Good Lord. Let's, let's pass it back over to him. Oh, my goodness. Here, let's, let's, let's go look at some of those hits. Good grief. What was that all about? What? You're back, huh? Oh, yeah, you know, I just show up, do my thing, come back. Did you, did you black out for a second there? I, I felt like I was about to. My legs were shaking, my hands were shaking. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. You had so many ridiculous hits. I think that I was, I was a little concerned. I was... Yeah. I'm glad you're not, you weren't a horizontal spinner because that, that, we might have had a couple more hits there. So when you're, when you're fighting a robot like this and you, you send them up into the ceiling and then you mm -hmm. send them up into the wall and then right. you have these massive hits after massive hits mm -hmm. and it gets back up and comes back at you again. That's right. terrifying. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to build a drum where the weapon is one pound almost uh -huh. and uh, spin it. 250 miles per hour and uh, wow. see what happens when it touches other spinny pieces of metal. <laughs> well, and, 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 and we saw that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, all right. We've readied up. Here but we yeah, go. It is uh, plastic ant time. Plastic Smurf beater ant. versus shuffle go burr. Let me update this real quick. Go ahead and hit your ready buttons. And the pit is up. Red, blue, red, and red are all ready. That's good. That's everybody. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Vert versus Vert. One's a little more shuffly than the other, and one's a little more smurfy than the other. <laughs> right you are. All right. Smurf beater. Got Shuffle Go Burr in a little bit of a corner there. Cornery corner. Oh, a couple more pieces come flying off there. Waiting for the time to strike. All right. Smurf beater getting ready to smurf, smurf up things a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always smurfing time. Oh, yeah. Spinner. A little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, dulling the uh, dulling the plastic of Shuffle Go Burr, just a little bit. It's all part of the plan. It's all know, part of the plan. Sharp edges. It'll let you do better engagements in the future. There you go. Yep. I don't know if that's actual strategy or not, but it kind of sounds legit now that I say it out loud. <laughs> sounds legit. <laughs> Probably isn't. <laughs> Never stopped us before. That's true. That's true. Absolutely not. It's all a big conspiracy, folks. I've seen the documents. Oh. No. Uh oh. Ooh, that oh. is one sad Smurf meter. That's not good. I don't think it's supposed to do that. No, it's very funny though. A big flail with a spinner on it. A flail with a fun a, idea. A spinner flail. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Could be good. Could be yeah. good. Um, looks like he's still going for it. So uh, he's he, he ain't tapping out. No, no. No, no we uh, Mama didn't raise no quitter over here. There you go. To be fair, this is a loser's bracket fight, so uh, you know you might as well give it your all before you go home. That's right. You never know. Someone might catch on fire. Someone might stop moving. Anything could happen. Wires come unplugged. Yeah, it that's all right. All sorts of things happen. And in 10 seconds, that pit's going to drop, too. Ooh, that's right. And we know what happens there well. because anything can happen. By anything, we typically mean someone falls in a pit. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the specific thing that we're talking about. Might need that part. Yeah, well, not anymore. I don't think so. Weapons are optional. Weapons apparently are optional, yeah. But uh, speaking of weapons, though, shuffle go burr. Still shuffling, still burring. Yep, yep. Well, half shuffling. We got a half shuffle. Yeah, are we down a shuffle side? I believe it's we are. kind of moving. Like every once in a while, I see it take a step. 
but yeah, we're mostly just crab walking here. A little bit. So, 30 seconds left on the clock. Is one of these bots going to be able to get the other one of these bots to the other side of the arena? The answer just may surprise you. Will it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it could, it could, because anything could happen. Yeah, it's for sure. And it, but it's got to happen here in the next 10 seconds or else it ain't going to. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's and the that's match. the match. Round of applause for these two competitors. What a match. Absolutely. It is once again judge time. Mm. Factoring okay. damage, control, and aggression to select a winner. Mm. This will decide who gets third place and who goes on to fight Axolotl questions for the crown. Oh, there we go. All right, we have a winner by unanimous judge's decision, and that would be... Shuffle Go Bird. Shuffle Go Bird taking the win. All right, so that means that Smurf Beater would be third place. That's right. Okay, we've, so, so, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. First time our competitor. Is that I right? Believe. I was gonna ask that. Yeah. Okay. Sh shows up, gives it his Smurfing best, <laughs> gets third place. Absolutely. That's freaking fantastic. There yeah. we go. Oh, we got a grudge match coming up. Here we go. Okay. Glaurong's ready? Awesome. Oh, Glaurong is ready. Okay. All right. After this grudge, we're going to do Galarong versus uh, Brazen. So, Brazen, make sure you're ready, too. Looks like a shuffle go squee. Kiltacular. Thank you. Kiltacular. Thank you. All right. Blue square ready. One. And away they go. Kill Tacular. Oh, beaten to death with a Santa hat. Oof. What a way to go. Oof. I love the eyes. I love how Shuffle's eyes are kind of sideways. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. I only see the ceiling. I only see the ceiling in two different directions. <laughs> Oh, if, if I if Kiltacular's face was my face, I'd be getting super dizzy with the uh, constant back and forth <laughs> of, the, uh, of the blade going up and down. Wow. <laughs> oh, tappy, tappy, tap. Oh, nice little hit there. A little uh, wedge action from Kiltacular. Kiltacular, of course, being uh, both a overkill reference and a Halo reference at the same time. Oh. You get your kill streaks in Halo, you get a double kill, triple kill, and then an overkill, and then a Kiltacular. Oh. So, what's better than overkill from BattleBots? It'd be a Kiltacular. I see. I see. That's where the name comes from. Oh. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Some fearless. Beating with that Santa hat there. Wait, maybe we should, we should switch to the epic music. Here, let's do epic music. There we go. Oh, look at this. Now Ooh, this fight's now a lot more exciting. Heated. Oh, man, look at that. The struggle. The match to end all matches. Beaten to death with a Santa Claus hat. Shuffle go squee. Kiltacular. A battle for the ages. A battle for the ages. Absolutely. Eight seconds until that bit drops. Oh. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here goes the pit. <laughs> Fearsome competitors. Able to fit in a shoebox. Here goes Shuffle Go Squee. We're getting real close to that pit. Getting real close to that pit. Oh, careful, Kiltacular. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh-oh. No, no, no. Ooh, oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh. oh, boy. Ooh, good save. <laughs> We're getting real close here. Excellent oh. driving from both competitors. Oh, oh. So well, close, you say that. You say that. Here we go. Here we go. What's going to happen oh. next? Oh, boy. Shuffle goes squeeze. Just so heavy. It better happen in the next 25 seconds. Here we go. Hurry up. Make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All the good things happen. You get a push, maybe. When you make things when you make snap decisions. And we got oh. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. That's the match. Oh, but what? Uh, oh, wow. On the edge. So close to the edge. Oh my goodness. Shuffle goes squee getting as far away from that lip as possible. <laughs> run away, <laughs> run away, run away. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Oh my goodness. What a fun grudge. Oh, that was fun. Up next, we're looking for Glaurung and Brazen. Okay, we are powering up. Is ready. There we go. Let's get this party started. Here we go. The Three, two, one. The lights are on. It's robot fighting time. There it is. All right. That uh, drum of Galrong putting in work, sending uh, Brazen flying across Ooh. the arena. Wow. Wow. But uh, tit for tat. Now uh, Galrong's the one flying. Is the scoop bent on Brazen? Well, it doesn't matter because Brazen yeah. right now has got uh, got a nice bite on the metal. Uh -oh. I don't know if it's gonna do any good though. He's he's got it warm, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice uh -oh. solid hit. Uh oh. Oh, that's Brazen gonna run into some trouble. Yeah, we got a little bit of a bend in that chassis there. <laughs> That'll put a bend in your chassis. I don't know what that means. I'll but, tell you when you're older. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh oh. Oh, I don't know if Brazen's gonna get older. Good point. <laughs> With a couple more hits like that, but we'll see. Anything yep, can happen. Blarong's been absolutely ruthless all day. Yep. This fight is no exception. One minute in. We've got a nice solid collection of hits here. Absolutely. But uh, Brazen really wants to get that glow plug down. Ouch. Ooh. I think that glow plug might have just had yeah, it. It might be gone now. That might be, yeah. Uh -oh. mm, I don't think it's there anymore. I think the glow plug has left the building. I think Have a nice trip. See you next fall. I think it left the lower atmosphere. Good grief. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone on the ISS, please watch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you see something very hot coming towards you. Oh, we're grinding into the underbelly of Brazen. Ooh. That All left side right. is kind of pent up. He's not looking too good. Some more grinding. Ooh. A little bit of grindage there. Getting some bolts underneath that are probably going to be very annoying to remove later. Mm. And the pick goes down. Oh, ooh. oh boy, Almost that was close. Falls in. That would have been a good hit. Still a nice solid oh, damage though. Oh, nice, wow. nice punt. He's got some good accuracy with these hits. <laughs> Fell a little short, but got good punt all the same. Here we go, Valinor trying to line up his shot again. Glauron. Glauron, oh, thank you. Glauron trying to line up his shot again. Oh, Brazen's wiggle, wiggle. waving. Hi. Waving the way of red flag, uh, white Brazen's flag. Brazen's waving. There oh, we go. That a is a tap out. out. Yeah, right, that was a tap winner. out. Your winner, Wrong. Wow, Wrong takes the win. <laughs> white Fang is ready to go. We can do that, or we can do another fight. Charging. Okay. Um, we can do Puka and Brick. All right. Can't wait to do this again. Yeah, the earlier fight uh, we had uh, we had Puka and. Uh, was it was that Brick earlier? No, that was Wicked it, Twister earlier. Wicked Twister earlier. Now he's fighting Brick. That's Completely right. Completely different robot. Don't even consider them the same. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. They look very good. And off they trot. Here we go. Puka versus Brick. Puka, Puka again, taking no prisoners whatsoever. Uh, oh oh. Uh, did he do the thing? He has oh, not done a thing. We, we, we're good. We're good. However, Puka is strangely quiet. Does not uh -oh. sound like we have deja vu of the uh, last fight. Yeah, and Brick is not very quiet. Uh oh. <laughs> but Puka don't care. Hey, you still feed the drum. Still feeding the drum. Oh my goodness. So Brick is spun up. Puka unfortunately is not, but that isn't, I don't think that's gonna is, stop Puka. Is Brick having some uh, mobility on the right side? Is she? Uh, Puka hasn't given anybody a chance to find out, but let's see. 
Right now we got oh, a pin. Another pin. Four. And time to release that pin. There we go. Is he back in action? No, he's not. Okay. The brick is still spinning. And in a mere uh, 30 seconds, we're going to see the pit drop. Puka is zipping around that. No, with, without that uh, drum spinning, there's no gyro. So he can put that robot wherever he wants. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, it makes him much, much more maneuverable. Not a lot of damage, but definitely able to, uh, able to get around. But right now, you better get off of that, because in a mere 10 seconds, that pit's going to drop. Figuring out the angles there. Three, two, one, and here comes the pit. Boom. Pit is down. Puka versus Brick. Oh, dangerously, dangerously close. Wait, is that running again? No, it's not. When that pit's open, you, you really got to be cognizant of which direction that blade's spinning and where you need to be. Absolutely, yeah. Because you can, I've seen bots pitted from, from across the entire arena. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. Looks that like is, Puga lost some drive also. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, well, well. Well, he lost in drive. He gained in a, in a spinner, so, I mean. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, oh, oh no. It's oh, like no. It just Don't. pulled him. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no. Oh, That's and that is the match. Oh, my goodness. Oh. All so right. I, let's... I never judge, and this is why. Uh huh. I, I don't. I don't want to tell you who I think won. Uh, well, I, you can tell me. You're an announcer. Who do you think won that? You're not judging. This is just who you think won. If I was the judge, it'd be a tie. If you, well, you can't be a tie. But if I was a judge, get out of here. Who do you? Who do you think won? I'm. 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 I'm the actual announcer. I, I have to be unbiased. <laughs> A bias, what is a biased announcer, you know? Are they really if, announcing? If I had to pick, I think I would slightly give it to Wicked Twister, but I, I wouldn't feel comfortable even really saying that. Okay. I, I could make a really good argument for Puka, too. Oh, uh, the answer uh, was no, a Brick. Wicked Twister. It was Brick. And, uh, and that is your winner, of course. They, the winner is Brick. Put your hands together for Brick. Beating out Puka. Oh, oh hey, uh, David. Right there. There you go. Boom. All right. I, I think that just shows you when, when you have a nasty weapon like Puka has and that weapon goes down, it, it's going to be a tough fight, it is. especially against a monster horizontal like that. Absolutely. Oh, we got White Fang versus Trash. Oh, this is this is the final. Yeah, that's right. Oh, we're going to switch to final music right there. Oh, that's final. That's final music right there. Thank you so much for, yeah, feel free to sit in. Yeah, if absolutely. you want me to. Yeah, please, please. Yeah. All right. This is your final between White Fang and Trash Talker. Here we go. Trash Talker is a big angled horizontal. It's horizontish. White Fang is a, uh, is that a hub motor? I don't I know. I, I believe it's an egg beater. Egg beater hub motor. Oh, there we go. We gotta push that button right there. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, Huge hit. Oh that, no. Uh oh. That's not looking good Upside, for Trash Talker. It is not looking good for Trash Talker at all. Oh no. Trash Talker got exploded. <laughs> that, that, he's not wrong. Trash Talker. It, uh, it looks like Trash Talker's taking a little nap over there. It, upside it does. Down. It does. Now are we gonna and we got to tap out, I think. And we got to tap out. That's I it. Like, I need a like wow. a nap or it couldn't move. Wow, 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 wow. That was a one, one big hit. That was a huge hit. Oh my goodness! Wait, so I, I just I just hit the instant replay. Hold on, let me stop and restart it because we missed it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the next. There it is. Okay, here we go. One hit. <laughs> I, 
One hit up in the air. You know, I, I think and White Fang did the perfect hit. It, it's a horizontal. Mm -hmm. And anytime you catch the very tip edge of a horizontal and hit it up, there's a good chance you push that shaft out. Right, yeah, and uh, that looks like what happened. You can, you can see that they're still traveling together. If you look at the shadow on the floor, if you look at the shadow on the floor, right here you can see where their paths are different. You can see just by the shadow right there that, that he's no longer got his weapon before he even hits the ground. And, he, and, and sure enough, there they go, they hit separately. Something else rolls off stage right. And there you go, and, that, and that's it. I mean, after that, what are you gonna do? You don't have your weapon, that basically is your self-rider. And, uh, and that's the way the, the cookie crumbles there. That was a final. That, and that was a final, absolutely, yeah. You, you know, a lot of times we want to see a, a nice long fight, a knockdown, drag out, yeah, absolutely, but yeah. Knocking somebody's weapon out, I mean, that's just as good. That's that's, that's it, that's yeah. A hit. That's game over there. Okay, that's that was the plastic final. Oh, right now, plastic final. Well, let's let's quit our our Sh shenanigans. Go burr. Okay, who do we got for the plastic final? Let me get back over to the camera. There we go. Oh, we got axolotl questions versus shuffle go burr. Here we go. You sure? Okay. All right, red square is ready. Finals music. Here we go. So Axel out questions versus go. Shuffle Go Burr. Here they go. Axel out of questions has uh, got a little bit more maneuverabil maneuverability. Yep. And that weapon, I mean, just an absolutely just just killer weapon on Axel out of questions. For a plastic ant, come on. So I did notice one of those first little hits, it flipped uh, over Shuffle Go Burr. I'm curious if with a walker system, if it flips controls uh, when they get flipped over also. The if same it, way if wheels it do. If it flips the controls around? Oh, it might, it might, I don't know. But if you're tank steering, you know, oh goodness. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. How are we doing there? You okay, little buddy? You okay? Come on, Shuffle Go Burr. I, I think, Don't leave us. I think that's the, we're, we, can we call that the final corner? For oh, the finals? It, I, it sure seems to be, doesn't it? Oh, oh, you gotta give him a little But not nudge. yet. Give him a little nudge. Come on, wake up, buddy. Come, Come on. on. Oh, no. That's it. And that is the match. That was the plastics. That was the plastics, yeah, one pound plastics. Let's see what happens there. Let's see what that gives us here. Uh, one pound plastic, that's what we're after. All right, so your winner, Axolotl Questions. There we go, Axolotl Questions, Shuffle Go Bird takes second, not too shabby. And Smurf Blaster, Smurf Beater, Smurf Beater. Smurf Blaster, that's something completely different. But there we go. There's your match. There's your winners right there. Axe Law Questions, Shuffle Go Burr, and Smurf Beater. So Trash Talker fought White Fang. Yeah, okay, so yeah, White, oh, they're gonna fight, they're gonna need to fight again. Yep. We had talked about that earlier, that's right, because both of them went all the way through the winner's bracket. Oh, uh, yep, so it's a bracket reset. Wow. Uh, this next fight will decide it all. Okay. Looks like they're still working away over there. Okay. Um, someone tell me what the Chaos Rumble is. Just everything in that pile? Yes. All right, so yeah, we're doing a rumble here. It has been dubbed the Chaos Rumble. It has beetles, it has ant weights, it has plastic ant weights. Probably kitchen appliances in there. A whole kitchen sink. A whole ki oh, the whole sink, wow. There's a, a Christmas box with a hat and four wheels. I don't know if it moves or if that's just, you know, static. Well, I guess we'll find out. Last one standing, or maybe like five minutes. Whichever comes first. Something like that. There you go. Ooh, gotta get that, that door shut, there we go. In the blue square is a whole bunch of robots, and in the red square, a whole bunch of other robots. All right. Let's and, rumble. And off they go. There's some robots. Oh, yeah. They're robots hitting each other. Oh. Ooh. I don't know who, who hit what there. That was a good hit, though. Did someone hit half sharp, or did the half sharp hit itself? The I, answer. I see Low Tide fighting for his life in here, just a fairy weight in the beetle world. <laughs> 
the uh, ant weight of brazen. We got double or nothing driving around. Uh oh, Mr. Grimm has just lost his uh, weapon. Oh, I see Shuffle, shuffle goes squeeze is stuck on her face. Oh no. Oh no. Looks like only one Shuffle Pod is working too. Jeez, there's just so much to, going on. It's like, what do you focus on? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I see Brazen trying to get a grab. <laughs> Hopefully the glow plug is working again. We may as well just do one of those. There you go. That's what's going on. What happened to Piano? Are they just stuck in the seam? Oh, I'm not dead? sure. I don't know. I guess we'll like find out when the pit opens. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that'd be hilarious if they just kind of hang out above it. That would be funny. Double or nothing over there. Well, it's not double or nothing. That's double or nothing. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely bullying everybody it runs into. <laughs> that is kind of its bag. Oh, hang on. There's two double or nothings. Yeah, I was just going to say that. That's why I was Quad like, wait. Quadruple or nothing. <laughs> double or double. <laughs> Quadruple or, or nothing. Wow, that's a... Oh, wow. Double or nothing suplexing uh, Brazen. That was cool. What is this pink dome in the middle? Uh, is, that is, is that a, a research center? and development for a uh, plastic ant oh, in okay. the future. Yeah, I was informed. See how uh, durable it is when you throw it into this. There you go. I think that's the basic idea. The uh, Santa Christmas box... It's doing a lot better than some of the real robots. <laughs> still, yeah, what even is upright, that? Still has all four wheels. This, that's just a box. Oh no, we got Goober stuck on the pit now too. Oh boy, when's that pit coming down anyway? In about 45 seconds. Okay, all right. Yeah, everybody just pile everything that's dead on the pit, and we'll just see what happens. Yep, It'll just be a big old garbage disposal. <laughs> Bulk pickup day oh. in 32 seconds. Bulk pickup in 32 seconds. I love it. Low tide's having some uh, spin up issues. Shuffle goes squeeze back on her feet, but not moving, unfortunately. Uh oh. We got 10 seconds left until uh, that pit comes down. Oh, uh, I feel Six, bad for poor piano. Five. Four, Piano, three, two, one. Down goes the pit. All right. Piano's oh, still good. piano is still good. Double or nothing to uh, make sure that doesn't uh, uh, last <laughs> until double or nothing comes in. And there, there they go. There we go. That's yep. one in the pit. One in the pit. That pit's gonna be full by the end of this. You know that. Right? Yep, yep. <laughs> Should probably note that grudges don't count towards the uh, slam dunk award. Ah, okay, good. Good to know. So, oh, there oh. goes the uh, Christmas box. Delivering the Christmas oh, package. There you Christmas go. Christmas canceled for another year. Womp womp. Christmas is canceled. That's right. Rip. All right, we're just in a big old pile in that one corner, apparently. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh. Oh no. Oh. For whatever is going on, Brazen's winning. Yep. We got the hot plug. Oh, oh no! Up in there. Somebody just drove into the pit. Was it low tide? No, no, low tide's still there. Who fell? I don't know. It looked like one of the double or nothing. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh yeah, don't want you moving in the pit. That is not built oh. to the same spec as the rest of the arena. Oh yeah, so don't do a, that. a good chance you just burst through the uh, <laughs> through the wall. Yeah, that would be bad. Don't do that. All right, only 30 seconds remaining on the clock. This 30 thing, seconds remaining. This thing is winding down. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! All right, there's a lot more little robots at the end of this than I was expecting. Yeah, Actually, that's interesting. Are we entirely out of beetles? I believe I we, are. we are. Wow. All of the beetles are now Ooh, in Brazen the pit. about to uh, make a drop off real quick. Yep. <laughs> when, just, uh, shuffle goes just, Oh! oh! accidentally delivers himself as well. <laughs> I am also trash. Here I go. <laughs> All right. Um, into the bucket. I think we're extending this match to just last as long as possible. Yeah, this All right. is... Yeah, so oh, okay. All right. To the death. There we go. Last bot standing. Keep on trucking. Somehow, Half Sharp is still alive. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> Half Sharp did not destroy its entire self. 
We got Mr. Grimm. Oh, and don't forget about the wheeled thing over in the corner. Oh, wait, a I, I did forget about the wheeled thing in the corner. And the R&D uh, plastic shell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kind of hanging out there. I did miss them. All right, here we go. What's happening? Somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to either push someone else in the pit. Yeah, you guys should all have a little pit party. Yeah, just just hop in. It'll be great. It's fun. There's there's cake, uh, candy, free candy. Oh, oh so a little close. close there. A little close. Oh, oh down to no, Mr. Grimm. Mr. Grimm. It's like this is down to half sharp and low tide. <laughs> one in, one was one wheel from the factory, and the other with one wheel from circumstances. All right, well, let's both inch our way closer and closer. Get get on in there. Just just snuggle up to that pit there. See what happens. It'll be funny either way. It'll be funny either way, absolutely. Oh, so close, so close. What's going to happen? Is this still anybody's game? <laughs> this might come down to battery life. <laughs> it, might, it might. It very well might. Here we go. Ooh, getting close. Half, half, uh, half sharp. Half sharp. Oh, so, so flipping close. Come on, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this just might, this is a one legged man winning a butt kicking contest. <laughs> oh, look. Well, they've right. agreed. Looks they like just, a treaty has been declared. Yeah, they just, they just called a truce. They're both gonna share Good first point five place. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for friendship and sportsmanship. Aww, Good job, everybody. Go. The, the real winners were the friends we made. Because the real friends were the pit people we dumped along the <laughs> way. Were the pit people we dumped <laughs> along the way, absolutely. Yep, uh, we don't really DQ people for taking too long. Yeah, so huh. that's very nice of us. It's a thing that might have to change in the future, but. Depends what happens. Yeah, there you go. As of now, I don't see a reason. No. Oh, and here they go. Supreme Ruler versus Valinor. The moment we've all been waiting for. Beetleweight Finals. Here it is. Who will come in first? Who will come in second? Who will we have to disqualify? Oh, and by finals, I mean winner's finals. Winner's finals, thank you. Yeah. Loser of this gets to fight Brick. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens. Here Supreme we go. Supreme Ruler ruling supremely. Absolutely. Supreme Ruler gonna, gonna rule. And he's got... Uh, Ten. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. He's got Valinor up for a second. No, Valinor him back flipping down. him over. Valinor flipping him over. I but, just... Uh, ruler is invertible. I just want to hug you. Let me... Let me... Let me, let me love you, Valinor. Into the wall. I, I gotta watch where you point that thing. There we go. Um, wow, Val Valinor is gets... flipping over <laughs> Valinor. In a yep. Very smooth and slow motion. It's Absolutely. Weird to watch. Yeah. It, it, it is an absolutely amazing amount of control there. It is. But now Valinor is a tough cookie too. Like, no, no doubt about it. No matter who oh, wins, yeah. both of these are absolutely fantastic bots. All right, we've got 30 oh, nice seconds. There. Oh my goodness! 30 seconds left until that pit drops. That's right. We've had some little holds like this, but we haven't had a you know a classic supreme ruler. You're stuck on me until I decide to let you go kind of moment. Uh, I don't know. We might have one. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. There we go. He's got to practice his uh, pitting approach. <laughs> he does. He does. Nice. Oh, my goodness. All right. That pit is dropping now. Oh, there goes the pit. The pit is open for business. Jeff says target acquired. Target acquired. He's standing up and everything. Shipping method selected. Yep. Time to get delivered. Oh, he's on the way to your house. There it is. Beautiful. Into the pit. Oh, my goodness. I believe that is four pittings by Ruler today. I believe it. That's a lot. <laughs> I believe it. Trash Talker versus White Fang. In the red square, we've got White Fang. 
And in the blue square, we've got Trash Talker. Let's get some All the Marbles music going on here. Red square is ready. Blue square is ready. And off they go. All right, it is Ant Weight Finals time. Trash Talker, White Fang. Ooh, wow, huge hit. Nice hit to start things oh, off. Oh, but can Trash Talker get back on its feet? The answer, come on. Spin. Got to keep, keep spinning. Just keep spinning, just keep, uh oh. Uh, oh no, did Trash Talker do the thing? It might have thinged. It might have thinged. All right, we need to see some movement from Trash Talker. Looks like we're starting a knockout timer. Okay. All right, that's the match. And that is Your it. Your Ant Champion. Wow. White Fang, congratulations. White Fang takes the win. And a quick round of applause to Brandon and Trash Talker for second. Absolutely, absolutely. So there are your champions right there. We got White Fang in at number one, Trash Talker in at number two, and Glaurung, right, at number three? Glaurung at number three. There we go. Oh, we got a grudge match coming right, up. It looks like it's grudge time. Entering into the red square is my favorite robot ever. Brick and Twister or, or Brick, one of those two. Well, when we're done here, I need to take a look at that thing because uh, you, you shouldn't be able to hit something so hard so many times and have it not die. It's Elven Magic, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Mithril. <laughs> His opponent, Banshee team member Caleb Hecht with Crescendo. It is indeed getting kind of hectic. It's Mid-Cutter versus Mid-Cutter. Oh, boy. The thing says low tide versus low tide. I hope Nick wins. <laughs> All right, which Here we go. cutter will cut the middest? Oh! All right, Crescendo landing a nice hit. Oof, another big one. Oh! Yeah, let's put another couple chips in, the, in oh, that no, glass we're still, there. We're still spinning. Still spinning. Oh! Another hit. Getting a little bit of feedback. Is it me? Yep. Usually me. I don't know where to point. It's a tricky one. All right, well, uh... Looks oh. like the weapon might be disabled on Wicked Twister. I believe it is. Crescendo still coming on strong. Yes. Crescendo lining up for the next hit. Wicked Twister's weapon is down. And Crescendo still going strong. Crescendo is indeed still going strong. Oof. There's more hard hits there from Crescendo. That's a tap out from Wicked Twister. All right, congrats to Crescendo. Absolutely. Shout out to Wicked Twister. You did kind of get beat by two Banshee team members today. It's not, it's not something that happens very often. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta bring it up. We don't normally do that, so yeah. you know, hey. <laughs> and uh, we have Bricklet in the arena. And we have, what is that? Is that uh, Red Baron? Yep. Yes, it is. Who is uh, allowed to be red again. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep, yep. yeah. One back the right, the right to be red. All right, we've got some grudge match action. Brickley and Red Baron. Red Baron converting into a vertical spinner for the majority of this fight so far. <laughs> and uh, doing a pretty good job. <laughs> yeah, actually. Why is he changing directions? How? Yeah. Guess, yeah, the wheel's rotating. How does that work? All right. Oh, okay. Back to horizontal oh, mode. Okay. Would have been very funny if he was just uh, doing that the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
Yeah, use your uh, weapon motor for a quick escape. hard hit there. Uh, that didn't really save them, but, you know. Bricklade is stuck in the floor. Brandon's <laughs> going to yell at me again. <laughs> and I'll say, hey, start your own event. And then he'll say, I do have my own event. He does have his own event. Yeah, that's right. Which you should all check out January 13th in Las Cruces, New Mexico. There you go. We have uh, New Mexico's first combat robot event ever, question mark. Possibly. Possibly. At least in, you know, recent years. Come on, everybody, get back in the Red fight. Baron there we go. Oh, it looks like a drive side is out, so it's only partially the arena's fault. Well, let's see, because in 15 seconds here, the pit is going to drop. So, are we going to are we gonna crab walk over to the arena? Is, is Red, Red Baron going to just go ahead and sit on top of there? We don't know. We have four seconds. And down goes the pit. Boom. Okay, here we go. Bricklet or the Red Baron. Trying to trying to get over there. Works. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Getting very close to the edge there. The arena killed my motor. Uh oh. Oh, that was dangerously close again. Okay. Red Baron. He's sitting right there. You got 15 seconds on the clock. Who's going in that pit? The answer might be no one. Aww. But it might be someone. Yeah. 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 Four, two. One, no, and that's like no the match, one. and zero. All right. I was right the first time, zero. Yep. Round of applause to these grudge competitors. There you go. Bricklet and the Red Baron. All right, so we're just looking for Valinor and Brick. I heard five, ten minutes. Five minutes, okay. Okay, yeah, I guess we can do another. Yeah. All right, Beetle Rumble 2, Electric Beetle Lou, let's go. Here we All go. Right, I think everybody's ready. And All right. Here we go. Choose one more. Oh my God! Wow. Starting what? The bang. Oh brother. Everything. There are certainly things happening. That, Lots of things are happening. Right yeah, now. a lot of things are happening. That's Definitely. what's happening. Several things even. Double or nothing. Yeah, a little grindy grindy up the top there. Roll for uh, the uh, action surge. Various bots are hitting other various bots. You see. Various bot hitting going on everywhere. Yeah, we got all kinds of bot stuff. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that was, but it was pretty looking. Oh, crescendo going for a ride, but it's still going. Still keeps on trucking. Oh, but there's double Ooh, or nothing. Nice oh, uh oh, or nothing. That's Cres a belt on the ground. That would be crescendos. Good yep. <laughs> good, good hit. Crescendo trying to uh, slide the belt back in, maybe reattach it somehow. <laughs> Not if uh, Action Surge takes it first, though. <laughs> this belt's mine now. Okay, yeah, that just belongs to Action Surge now. Enjoy uh, your belt. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling for the pit, but the pit's not. It's not time yet. Yep, we gotta wait a little longer. And now, oh, there, it is. Okay. there it is. The pit is now open. Crescendo Ooh. getting a little close. A little close. Ooh, double oh, nothing. Careful there. Just barely missed that pit. Ooh. 
Pitt is still hanging out there, wide open. Are any of the spinners active? I don't believe so. No. No, they're not. No spinners active. All right. Everything's a wedge. Yep. You're all, we're all wedges. I'm a wedge. You're a wedge. Belt on the ground. Someone's going to lose their pants. Ooh, uh -oh. Crescendo getting a little close there. Getting a little close. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, that Ryan, was a crescendo. No, no, that Ryan, was crescendo. Kill. Drops in. Oh, that was a crescendo. Yeah, roadkill. Yeah. yeah, crescendo's still in it. Both double or nothings are in it. Action surge is holding on strong. Crescendo, I'm still alive. Oh, uh -oh. Looking uh -oh. kind of dead. Looking a little bit dead there. Oh, poor Crescendo. Ah, uh, it's nap time. Oh, but hey, hey, he's up, he's up. He's, nope. I'm okay. not tired. He's taking a nap, resting his eyes, you know? Yeah, no, he, no, he's not tired. It's not bedtime yet. He's gonna keep on trucking. Maybe he's a little bit tired. No, he's not tired. Maybe a little tired. Uh-oh, oh. action surge getting pushed around by double or nothing. I'm sure there's uh, an alliance between the two double or nothings. I would hope so. Somebody put something in the pit, my goodness. Yeah, double or nothing hanging out. Oh, Ooh, oh, getting a little close there. A little close. Uh oh, uh oh, and, and crescendo. crescendo. There we go. Crescendo goes down, but now will the two double or nothing? Will quadruple or nothing be able to get action surge into the pits? I mean, they've got the double the chances. Yep. One double or nothing seems to be down a drive side, though. Oh, uh, well. That evens the odds a little bit. Okay, so it's triple or nothing. Sure. Here we go. Oh. All right, we'll do a little bit of the, bit of the old rope-a-dope there. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, who's roping who? The answer just, oh, there it goes, nice the answer. Word. Not some fantastic driving there yeah, with the double or nothing. Nothings. Oh yeah, so wait a minute, now what happens? One double or nothing versus the other double or nothing. I could uh oh. Oh this this would be yeah, this is father versus son here. Father uh -oh. versus son, double or nothing coming out of double or nothing, double or nothing lining up on double or nothing, but double or nothing needs to watch out for double or nothing because double or nothing's got that blade wedged angle, but double or nothing isn't moving because the double or nothing hit that double or nothing did to double or nothing. Now do rap god. <laughs> <laughs> double or nothing, unfortunately, just sitting there while double or nothing is circling. Congratulations, double or nothing. Congratulations to double or nothing. There it is. But don't forget, also shout out to double or nothing. Also, yes, absolutely. Shout out to double or nothing for sure. Oh my goodness. You were what else what was that? You might have been feeding people back earlier. That's why. Oh, was, yeah. my bad. You're, no, you're good. All right. My goodness. What, what a match. So we have uh, Valinor versus Brick. Winner takes on Supreme Ruler. Yeah. Oh, we're readying up. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. We got some finals music going on here. It is Beetleweight finals time. Not sorry, third place time. There we go. Loser of this fight gets third. Winner goes on to fight Supreme Ruler for it all. That's right, we got Brick in black plastic. Oh! Woo! And Valinor, closest to the camera right now. Good grief. Valinor, the uh, Huge vicious hit. four wheel drive Peter Bar vertical spinner. Yep, absolutely. And Brick is the black horizontal. There's another big hit. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Brick. 
stuck up that against the wall. -like. That was a very uh, angry sound. Did we lose both weapons here? Are both weapons down? Oh, that is a tap That's out. A tap. All right, congratulations to uh, Valinor for moving on to the finals. There we go. Wow. We've had some really fast fights tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got going on here? We, we got, got Kiltacular and then uh, some kind of vertical spinner. Kiltacular. What's the name of your robot, Brandon? Yeah. He said, I don't know. I'm just gonna say Brandon versus Kiltacular. There you go, Brandon versus Kiltacular. I don't know, I kinda like, uh, uh, uh. All right, uh, he's doing a fairly decent job. He's uh, uh, engaging Kiltacular. Kiltacular with that overheaded ax. Tapping uh, on the head repeatedly. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Kaboom, kaboom. Knee tapper. Oh, okay, thank oh, okay. you. Okay. Knee tapper, that's the name of it. Killtacular versus knee tapper. Knee tapper. Killtacular is the one with the axe. Knee tapper is the one with the spinning vert. Is uh, in the middle of doing a thing there. A little bit sideways. A little bit sideways. Converting from a vertical axe to a horizontal axe. <laughs> horizontal axe. Oh, a hop and a jump from knee tapper. Just in, you know, in general, away from the, the, the mic. I, I keep it right where you see it right now, and, oh, and, and it does it. <laughs> and every time it just does it. Yeah, uh, and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, like, it's like magnets. Getting closer. Oh, can't explain it. Tacular. Tappy tappy on knee tapper. Tap 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 tap. Tap 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 tap. Oh, the pit, by the way, is down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh hey. Too. <laughs> All right. Congratulations to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a very stylish exit. Sometimes you want to just be with your friend, you know? <laughs> you know, that's what it's all about, being with your friends. There yeah. you go. All right, the box is loaded. Who we got in there? Okay, so Goober and what's that one? Crucis Crusher. Crucis Crusher. All right. And they, they've traded drivers. Okay, so Brandon from Team Treacherous is driving Goober. Morgan from Team Ponderous. Ponderous or Ponder? Ponderous. Okay, excellent. From Team Ponderous is driving Crucis Crusher. This is an exhibition match only, so please, no wagering. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it on this camera over here. Wait, should I try being the camera person? Let's see how much I suck at being the camera person. Here we go. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, my gosh. Let's see, one of these is probably a zoom, I think. Yep, there we go, okay. Oh, this is pretty slick, actually. Wait a minute, hold up. Now, I'm, I'm definitely having trouble narrating at the same time. But Cruz's Crusher, oh, we gotta zoom out. There we go, zoom out. Ooh. A nice hit by, which one was that? Dang it, I forgot. Goober, there you go. Nice hit from Goober on Cruz's Crusher. Ah, uh, there we go. I am not good at this. <laughs> 
Goober taking a couple of hits there from Bruce's crusher. Oh, oh, the parts have gone flying. Whose parts are they? Uh, that looks like some parts of Cruz's Crusher there. I probably got this all goobered up. Oh, that's right. Okay, got it. It's time for me to hand this back to the uh, to the real camera operator here. I have done a completely crap job. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> oh mercy! Chunks are flying off Cruz's crusher. Oh boy, yeah, it is pit o'clock, but we've only got 26 seconds left in the match. No one's been in the pit just yet. The Cruces Crusher is minus one meal. One, one meal? I don't know about that, but one wheel for sure. And then Goober. Ah, oh, and that is the match. That is the match. So I think it's safe to say that uh, Goober, I think, was probably uh, the winner of that, I guess. That was just an exhibition though, so who knows, you know. The real winners are the friends that we made along the way. And also the people that beat the other robots. Those are really the, the real winners here. Okay, here it is. Wait a minute, we need some final music going on. All right, here it is, the big final. We've got Valinor versus Supreme Ruler. This is to see who is first and who is second. We are readied up. All greased up and ready to wrestle. Here we go. All right, off they go. Supreme Ruler with the box rush. Oh no, don't you do that. You get out of there. Get, get out, out. Jeff, get out. Get out, Jeff. Right now. I will get out. Lift the arena, Jeff. Lift the arena. Hulk smash. Get out! Come on! This cannot be happening. Oh, oh. no! Oh. Unstick, yeah. Maybe an unstick. Can you push from the other side, maybe? Rock it back and forth. No! Oh, no! All right, now pull them apart. We'll do the next fight. Yeah, oh, there you go, yeah. Okay, so that's right, since it is a double elimination. Wow. Wait, hold on, let me get over this camera, there we go. Jeff is literally, there we go. Wow. That's Jeff's strength right there. Yeah, 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 they had to bust out the Jeff strength on it, my goodness. Okay. Wow. Okay, so. Here's the deal on that. We are gonna reset and do this over again, because, well not do it over again, but since you Jeff has- sides Oh yeah, you guys should-, should no, no, no. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, since, since this is a double elimination and Supreme Ruler has only lost one single time, they gotta fight again. Cause he has not yet been beaten twice. And they're readied up. And here we go for all the beans. There we go. All right, that's a lot more supreme rulery there, rather than doing the javelin there. <laughs> All right. Supreme ruler. Got Valinor up on the forks. Little push and a shove. Uh oh, wait a minute now. Is the we oh are we oh. stuck? Stuck deep in the heart 
of Valinor there for a second. Looks like we've managed to unstick. Taking him on a, on a grand tour, giving him a supreme ruler hug. Oh, another lift. All right. We are already a minute through this match. And in one more minute, 48 seconds to be exact, we're gonna have that pit drop. And Valinor's weapon does not seem to be weaponing. Oh. Oh. There you go. Showing it off to the camera there. He's got him up on his side, taking him for a ride. Are they stuck together? And, it, and they, they, they all do appear stuck together. Let's see if we can. We are pausing the match. All right, the clock has stopped. We're going to do an unstick real quick. Someone's very cautious approaching the rig. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the unstick has happened. We got a minute and 19. So in 19 seconds, once this match starts back up again. And the match has just started back up again. So 15 seconds from right now, you're about to get that pit open. And that's gonna mean the difference between first and second. And here comes the pit. Who will it be? Will it be Supreme Ruler? Will it be Valinor? I mean, Valinor's trying to avoid, avoid this warp by any means necessary. He's doing everything he can to stay out of that bad boy. Oh, oh but here it comes. Oh, boy. Valinor's trying to stay out of it. Oh, uh oh. You're in a bad place. And there it is. And there it is. And that is all the beans. There he is. There is your winner and champion. Jeff Waters with Supreme Ruler. There it is. But now, also, also, somebody please put their hands together for Valinor. Coming in second. That ain't no slouch right there. Also, put your hands together, somebody. Brick. Brick came in third. Right? Yeah, Brick came in third. There we go. Absolutely. That was, a, that was a, just a fantastic night there. Man. Woo! All right. Um, so I'm just grabbing trophies out of the box and we'll get what we'll get and someone will uh, <laughs> receive them. All right, so first up we have third place in fairy weights. That's uh, Gimli. <laughs> third place in plastic ants is Smurf Beater. Yo. Third place in ant weights, we have Glarung. Say hi. <laughs> All right, third place in beetles, Brick. Congratulations. Here you go. <laughs> Ooh, we have second place in Fairy Weights, Warpath. <laughs> Come on down, Kyle. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> second place in Beetle Weights, Valinor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make this as awkward as possible. Fairy Weights first place, Low Tide. You're welcome. Second place in Ant Weights, Trash Talker. Yeah. Ooh, a first place. First place in Beetle Weights, Supreme Ruler. Good job, dude. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Awesome, awesome. First place in ant weights, White Fang. <laughs> you need a serving tray for all these. <laughs> there you go, congrats. Second place in plastic ants, Shuffle Go Burr. <laughs> <laughs> First place in plastic ant weights. Axe a lot of questions. I did it again. He did it again. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> All right, that should be uh, it for the regular ones. Then we have our wacky awards here. We can start off with the most destructive award. So this is the robot we thought uh, just caused the most damage and havoc throughout the entire event. Mm. We decided on Brick. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on down, Brick. That's a pretty solid one, Brick. There we go. Awesome. It spins. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And then, of course, with most destructive is most destroyed. Mm. We, we, this time we had go to Leech, but I don't think he's here. Oh. It's okay, I'll mail it to him. He'll get it. There we go. <laughs> Most innovative robot. This is uh, people who like to push the boundaries of what's uh, possible or doable in combat robotics. Uh, something weird and wacky that you don't see very often. We decided on Brazen. Yeah! yeah. That's a good choice. Who is also not here. Uh, it's a terrible choice. They're disqualified. Okay. Oh, I get to mail a lot of trophies. All right. Coolest looking robot. This is uh, ones that look pretty very artistically designed. We went with Ax a lot of questions. <laughs> Look at that cute little face. <laughs> Look at it. Aw, little guy. He's a smile. He's a little guy. He'll destroy us all. <laughs> He'll destroy us all. All right, and then uh, the Slam Dunk Award. This is the person who achieved the most pittings. Supreme Ruler, get back up here. <laughs> surprise. Okay, and then we have two more here. Mm, what could it be? Ooh, these are very expensive looking acrylic ones. Ooh, what, whatever could it wow, be? Wow, that is nice. There's 3D engraving and everything. Dang. That's just the uh, the Delica Scylla Gel, and I don't want to eat it, so. Fair enough. Uh, let's see here. It says, world's best broadcasters, Pong and Tim. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank but you. there's more. There's more. There's more? What, what more could there possibly be? Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. There's some, there's some unwrapping. Furious unwrapping. Oh, and batteries. What is this? It is a light-up stand. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. A light-up stand. There we go. Excellent. And batteries. Here's the other one. Thank you so much. And hey, I want to say a big special thank you, even though he's part owner of this award. I want to say a big special thank you. Oh, is this for him? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I was you just each about get to say. one. There we go. I can hit, hit it over. There we go. Right here, sir. Thank you for you everything guys really you take, do. Because uh, well, what we do we is we have a competition. You know, we fight robots. We, uh, we see who wins. We run a bracket. But what you guys do is you turn our competition into a show. That's right. Into a production. That's right. And we can't thank you enough for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There, there you go. Let me get out of the way. Let me get out of the way. You, you, go, over the, no, you go over there. Get, get, your, get your thing. There you go. And, there he is. And, and I couldn't do anything. That I could that I do without this person right here. I mean, he has been on his feet today for ten and a half hours, absolutely doing the Lord's work through through what about like three, four, five shows now at this point, something like that. He's been doing an absolutely fantastic job. So another round of applause yeah. for my man Tech Tech Tech. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. There but you don't go. worry, you get a light up base too. Yeah, you gotta light up light up base as well. I think is that one it? Or did I already hand you that? All right, I think okay. that's everything. <laughs> Thanks all for right. coming. Hope you had fun. See you all next time. Hopefully, Sounds like good. the spring for the next Arc Robo Robo. There you go. All right. Well, 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 well. Thank you so much for that again, David. I really appreciate that. 
I want to say a big thank you to uh, all the sponsors of the of today's event here. Uh, Combat uh, Ready Robotics with for the space. We got Finger Tech Robotics for the uh, prizes. Uh, Team Small Robots. Again, you can use Arc Twenty, uh, and you get a special uh, discount of twenty percent off on all purchases on Team Small Robots. Also, we want to, of course, thank Danny Dental. We really appreciate them. And of course, this whole thing is on behalf of the Sin Shop, a maker hackerspace in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. Make sure you check us out, sinshop.org forward slash discord for more information on the shop. World's best broadcasters. Look at that. That's pretty fancy right there. That's some stuff. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I leave, before I leave, because I haven't pushed the button yet, an extra big special thank you to the world famous award-winning Art Ninja, uh, literally without whom none of this would have happened in the first place. Oh, that's true. That is true. That is true. But have yourself a fantastic evening. On behalf of myself, Tape Tech Tim, Arizona Robotic Combat, and the Sin Shop, of course, have yourself a fantastic evening, and we will see you on Monday.